and, and if they had said something, I had to get it. But the fact that, they, again, and again, I don't need that at my plant. I told Sarah, I said, But you know what? It's always going to happen. There's okay. always, well, you, well, you know what? And, and I got to catch them. Uh, you know, if somebody will tell me, they got to catch them. Ridiculous. And then Ferguson and C. Bum, the guys that sit up right beside you on the other yeah. side of the wall, they came and sat with well, Marion and all that uh, at your table. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. So that was good. And some people from the village. Check, check. Ar, ar. Pre present. H here. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, any check, check. Check. Yeah, that's me there. Mrs. McQueen. <laughs> Smoking in the New Orleans. Uh, I'll find you. Ah. Yeah. Acre and him use this. Acre and him use this after us. That's why. All right. All right. Good morning, everybody. Right. It's uh, Friday. It's six oh nine. Yep. Move it. Move it. Move it. We have made it to the weekend. We are here. T G I M F F. You want to jet to the promos land? I just took you down. Al, I like I want you to go on a date. He was headed at the terminal gate. How was your default? No. Los Angeles. We heard that, Josh. That a boy. All right, uh, let's get this party started. We are uh, on the road. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Although this is close for me now. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. About, uh, well, seven, eight minutes for me. And it's close for me if we're not back in Conway. Because uh, we were back to back <laughs> Conway, so I was able to, uh, uh, and, and knowing that the fellows were setting up, makes it so much easier. I'm going to send them all an email letting them know we sure do appreciate it when they do uh, stuff like yes. that, when they can. It yes. means a ton. Thank you. And to get Charles out on a day like this, you know it must be Friday. Make it to the telephone. Los Angeles. Well, welcome we're, back we're, to you. Uh, thank you. Uh, we're not in the Los Angeles. We are in, in the west part of Little Rock. West Little Rock. Uh, at Coffee by Design <laughs> West. Yes. Uh, the owner is an old teammate, Razorback teammate of mine, uh, Steve Wortman, who is a, a, a linebacker from uh, Moralton. Uh, this is one of those stores, Roger, you come in. Even if you came here to get something, you're going to find something else to get. Like, I think I need one of those. <laughs> I know. To include I, that root rubber made. I, I, I was looking at some of those over there. Were you looking at the fans or what? Were you no, the at? big trash can. Oh, I know. I yeah, don't know why. The, everybody needs a brute, uh, giant brute. I, I, I told it. It's Rambo behind you all. Where's the see? Where's that? Where is that one at? Where is it? Oh, that, oh, I see it up there. Right. I right see, there, I right see there, it. Right there, right there, right there. Where is Rambo? The gunbow holder. It's a gunbow holder. They got, bi they got bikes here. I mean, they got everything oh, here. I mean, they have a absolutely. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that, Rod. That's a gunbo. They uh, they say you can uh, build it from the floor up here at uh, Coffin and Lumber. Well, this is actually Coffin by Design West. The original Coffin and Lumber Roger, was back in 1952-53. Was that on Asher? Yes. And it, was that and it's the, still there. there? It still is. Yeah. Was that the cat that uh, wore a tuxedo? Old Man Coffin? No, I don't know if it was Old Man Coffin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, know, there was some of them like that. But I want to say there was a commercial where a guy was building a fence or doing whatever, and he was wearing a tuxedo I don't know. I don't, for that some reason. That was before reason. my time. I don't, I don't know. But What's I, that? Right over, um, okay, good. I tell you what I need to get. I somehow have don't. Is that GIT? Again, this is where you, you you look around and go, wow, I need that. So I need a better flashlight. And I, the, yeah. if that one's got 18,000 lumens. You know, you want to get the hot lumens. Darn right you need the lumens. These so, are the ones that uh, uh, point at those burglars wearing those ski masks coming to your house <laughs> on the commercials. Oh, look at the size exactly of that. Well, not only can you. That's a weapon, up, you can, Yeah, you can knock some. Oh, look at the size of that thing. What does that thing cost? Look at that. Look at the hell that is. You can go online. <laughs> okay. You can go on our uh, webcam now, which is on Twitter. Oh, my Facebook. word. Look, look at that. that. This is like one of those. Uh, give me, was, give me a price. It, it's the TV commercial. Price that, on, uh, I'll check. What is it? What is it? Price <laughs> check? Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> 
Price check on all three. Let's see what the cost is on that. I think I need one of those. Um, uh, you need one of these just to have it. Are you serious? 180. Man, I'm sure you get wow. They got a coupon? Uh, but you know what, though, Roger? You can see for like a mile on that. Dude, I mean, look at no, that. No, it's that, the commercial you see on TV. 180 bucks. There you go. So Chuck is here, by the way. Wow. So we're here. We'll be here for four hours. But Chuck That's Gatlin, fair. our promo guy, is cooking eggs for everybody. And so... Roger, this goes back when I first heard he was going to be out here. I said, that's what Stanley and I used to do back in the early 2000s. I remember. So if you want to drive up here, Chuck Gatlin, who I don't know if he has any cooking experience. He's been doing this for the point for two, three hundred years. I have tons. You have tons? Okay, all right. I've cooked hundreds and hundreds of fried egg sandwiches with Petty Jean Below. So here's the deal. Mm. If you try the egg sandwich for free here and don't like it, you got a Burger King right next door. So you got you got <laughs> it does not turn out the way you like it. So uh, we'll have our normal guest. Will Raj. anybody go to Burger King, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> Will anybody go to Burger King? No. Dang right. uh, here's the difference. I don't make it your way. I make it one way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, here, cheaper, go, cheaper, go, That's what it is. I mean, I'm in. Literally, Stanley and I did this in 2002. We did this 20 I years remember ago. the first time Tommy sent me out on a rent a car <laughs> yeah, to disrupt you. I, I, I know. Josh, well, yeah, that's that, is, right. that is actually true. So Tommy yeah. Tommy was doing the show with Roger. I'm still embarrassed by I, it. I remember. You you ambushed. Uh, you guys were at the uh, 430 uh, uh, along where that uh, commuter parking w- was. Yeah, what did you do? Did you throw something at us or what did you do? I can't remember what you did. I'd rather not. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what no, Tom, Tommy we told We tried Roger. to disrupt. Yeah. Was Tom- Crawford there? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's what it was because Crawford had left him, and yes. Crawford had done uh, uh, <laughs> the first. Absolutely. I think I probably went out on a cocaine run as well. That's what Tommy sent me out to kill two birds with one stone. Hey, go do that, and then go to Town. All right. Uh, anyway, we're gonna have our normal Friday well, show, but we'll have, well, yeah, that's exactly right. Chuck Gatlin will be cooking eggs for I'm free. I'm pulling the curtain back. My God. I know. Well, listen, listen, I get uh, he's, he's, hey, it's, yeah. uh, open book. Oops, open book. Oh, open book. I know. Yeah, yeah. Open yeah. book. Well, um, We'll have a Bo Mattingly in, in the, on today, brought to you by UMS Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, uh, Danny West, H.A. Trailer Sales, Heather Baker, of course, AY Magazine, and AMP. Uh, Terry Connor Johnson will jump on with us. we got the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame tonight. I'll be emceeing that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go over the list of names going in. I can't wait to hear about that. You know, another thing, Baz, when we're talking about this place right here, you know, what a great, uh, uh, if you will, dovetail from yesterday's show yeah, at the true. expo. Yeah, true. You learn to do all that stuff. You come yes. here and well, get it. You know what you're getting. You Hello. Know, you know what, the, you know. You know you get, hey, uh, yeah, yeah, I just love seeing the keys. That, that just, that's old school. I need I need three copies of keys, please. You know what? And how, how long was it before you realized two things? Number one, you can tear that tag off your mattress. Yes. It's yours. And when it said, do not duplicate on your key, you went, well, I got to have another uh, one. No, that's It'll right. work. So, so, by the way, somebody yeah, says, hey, sorry. Roger, yeah, rich man was having a single nail delivered. Man went to drive the nail and bends it, and Butler asked, shall I call Coffin again, sir? Is that? Oh, very good. Thank I, you for I, that. That was obviously before my time. Okay. But, um, so, several things. We'll do, we'll do that. We'll visit with the folks from Coffin sure. today. It is their big spring giveaway. Uh, also, too, um, I mentioned the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame tonight. You got the Razorbacks at South Carolina in baseball uh, tonight at 6. You got the Razorback softball team hosting uh, Alabama, number 15, today as well. Uh, big announcement yesterday for the Razorbacks. We'll go over some other games coming this weekend in Central Arkansas, too. Kenny big announcement Payne. for the Razorbacks? Uh, no, just uh, some other other games coming up oh, here in okay. Central Arkansas. Uh, Kenny Payne uh, was announced yesterday. You know, Josh, that was the one we were, we were talking about that where we thought Musk might be headed to Louisville because they were firing Kenny Payne there. Right. I didn't realize the background. I guess he was at Kentucky. Um. He was fired at Louisville after going four and twenty-eight and eight twenty-four the past two seasons, but he was at Kentucky originally, correct? Uh, yeah, he was. He was with Kentucky before he went to, I believe, the Knicks. I yeah, he was ten, he ten the... seasons. He was ten seasons with Coach Cal at Kentucky, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I think uh, obviously they have a strong relationship there, and um, I would think that's I a good. I would think that's a good hire, right? I mean, I would have. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. know each other. Yeah, Kenny Payne they was pretty each. highly regarded yeah. as assistant. Like, yeah. uh, he, that's why he got the he got the Louisville job. That's right. So, gotcha. So yeah. He stayed for ten years with him. So yeah, yeah, that's right. He knows him well. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, uh, the, the gymnastics teams they go down in flames yesterday. Did not have a good day. I think they finished last in the semifinals. At least they were at the national championship well, round. Down in flames. Yeah, they did. They. Uh, I don't know what they fell off the beam. Uh, it was not. It was not a. Uh, it was not a good day. They got pummeled <laughs> off the horse. It was not. See a what good, I did? That's very nice. It was no, not a good day. Me. Nobody gets me. Um, also, too. Uh, by the way, six six one one zero three seven is the text line. The uh, the D three auto text line. 
Um, yesterday, last night was a crazy day for me. Thank you for for closing out the show there, Roger. That was Will McIntyre yesterday. Nice. I heard a little bit of. Will's it. great. Yeah, yeah. Will is great. We, uh, he's in Fayetteville. Justin's in oh, Port. I heard, yeah, the delay. Josh is, yeah. is yeah, in Little Rock, people, and yeah. I'm in Conway. So we're there. Monkey. So. I, I don't know. Well, it could have been. Well, could Fortunately, Josh and and uh, uh, and and Justin uh, helped with that, uh, and we got in, got out, and and uh, hopefully it was uh, comfortable for him. I did find out, and of course, you saw a text where Joe Klein asked me, yes. "Did you just?" And I'm thinking, set glasses. Yeah, it, it, let me tell you something. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I didn't know. I don't was think he it's not glasses? a rule. Was no, he... he said no. Yeah. But I think some uh, you can. There, what made you think that? What made you come Because of watching the game Friday, or excuse me, uh, uh, Wednesday. In, infielders wear them, but I'm not. No doubt. Yeah, I've never well, that's why a, I asked, a, a because I saw who, the, I forget the pitcher from uh, Wednesday's game, the the, the second Tech. game of Texas Tech, look up and have to point, and it was a ball that Stovall dropped even having glasses in the yeah, infield, dropped yeah. that and, and, and a run scored, I believe. But I'm just wondering, do they wear them? Shut it, Joe. Shut it, Joe Klein. Now, in, in, in major leagues and all that, at least, uh, I had to do some double-checking. You know, I got hothead and just wondering, you know, uh, yeah. what was going on. But it, it's up to the umpire, you know, for a lot of reasons. I think Josh even mentioned one. As long as it's not a distraction to the batter and all that. But word, the umpire way. needs to see your eyes and the catcher needs to see your eyes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Um, so that was a fun day yesterday. Yeah. And then, uh, Roger, I went down to Dallas. I'll talk about it a little bit later. It was really a great day at the Star. Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones, Josh, are in the war room. And so uh, Stephen came out uh, and, and, and visited with our winners, took pictures. I thought it was very nice. I mean, the room, the war room was full. And they're in, they was basically. Wait, basically are, they in, are they in full what, yeah, draft uh, mode? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, it's, it's amazing. They have to be in the war, they have to be they, in the war room they, for it? They've got a cool war room set up. I mean, it's a huge, I mean, of course, it's decked. Everything there. It's obviously one of the, the wealthiest or the wealthiest yeah. sports franchise in the world. Everything they do, they're spectacular. The way it looks, the presentation. Dak Prescott was there yesterday doing some promos and stuff. And anyway, the kids got to see Stephen Jones, and, and Cliff was great in his gold jacket. It was really just a. You know, so, in the picture that you sent, why were there three guys there? Because we, uh, what it is, it's Cliff Harris was the top small college football player in America, defensive football player in America every year, and we gave one away for each. Division, division, division two, division three, and NAI. I should know. That. It's about five hundred colleges all together. Which yeah. one was the guy that works at the prison? In the yeah, picture? guess what? Guess what he told me yesterday. It was guy on the right. He goes, I said, hey man, I'm so glad you were able to get off. I said, how's it going? And he said, well, he said, they, they told me when I was trying to get off that they also couldn't get to my, uh, wouldn't let me go to my my sister's wedding. <laughs> so he said, I'm out of here. So he quit. Is that <laughs> nice? Quit. Well, good for them. Yeah. Well, again, I said, listen, you'll find he already got him another job. I said, well, I said, listen, that's okay. You know, it's these are important dates in your life. You really need to be at. No, it. you have to yeah, be yeah, there. Yeah. And the other part of it is, is that is an important response, uh, job. And, and I'm only outside looking in, and I'm thinking that if you're, everybody needs their time off from working in one of those facilities. Yeah. Well, he, so he, if you he, if he, you quit yeah. and somebody else has to come in. It could, you know, it could well, mess with your brain. Let me in my you, opinion, these think about this. Think about Wachita, uh, Henderson State, uh, Harding. That's Division Two. That's the highest of these small colleges. It goes all the way to NIA. These kids are walking into the number one sports yeah. uh, franchise in the world, the and world. they come out blown away. And then, of course, they got these big trophies. Even Stephen Jones came out and said, "Man." He said, that, that's, uh, that's, those are impressive trophies. And just the whole visual was great. The kids were, the parents were there. They were very humble. So, uh, you know. Do you see they, any of those guys going to the next level? No. I, now, one of the winner of the number, the Division Two winner is coming back. He's got the first time we've ever had oh, a my junior winner. Okay, so very the good. The other guys are seniors. Well, good so. for him. He he might, what might a great can, story. Yeah, he might can play some pro ball. The guy. Well, I want to hear, I, I want him to so that he can one day I tell know, that story I know, I know. about the uh, quitting the prison. No, that wasn't him. That was the that oh. was NAI. That was the lowest level, yeah. Oh, I thought you said. No, that was that was the lowest level guy. Uh, take all that out, <laughs> post, Josh. Okay. The other thing, we came back and um, I did a, did a, a sports uh, Hall of Fame reception, which we'll you know, I'll be emceeing that tonight. And then we went over and saw ZZ Top and Leonard Skinner. Big yeah. crowd last night, seven eight thousand. Right. And I'll tell you, Roger, I am not a giant fan of either band, but man, I'll tell you, hearing some of their hits, I'm like, man, these it, it just to watch everybody, and most of the demographic was fifty plus. And uh, and some you saw guys that were sixty to eighty, sixty to the seventies, and they're rocking like they were thirty. Well, when I saw the picture, one of them flipped her uh, and show beer on the other side. Of the, I'm thinking, yes, that was great. Those are old dudes that drink beer still. Absolutely. Listen, the, you know when ZZ Top played uh, "Sharp Dress Man" and "Legs," it took me back to my 1980s and sure. uh, when MTV had just sure. come out and that, and "Sharp Dress Man." You know, I don't know, if, Josh, if you've seen that video. Videos were just coming out in the 80s. 
and that was a great video. Remember they spun they 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 spun their uh the guitars and they oh, you know, absolutely. they pointed that way. Everything and, crazy yeah. about it. Yeah, and the dude's voice man. I can't remember that. I just went blank on the name. Good? The guy who was still alive. You know the other one died uh, not long ago. He's still he's seventy four years old. He's seventy four okay. years old. He's about going. I mean, I mean, the, in the camera, he can do it in his sleep. The now. camera stayed on his guitar almost the whole hour he played. And it was just good old rock and roll. And Did people you get to were enjoy going it? crazy. Yeah. You sent pictures I was and video to us. Yes. Of course you were tired. Did you enjoy it or were you just taking videos for everybody? Uh, no, I, I thought it was just interesting to watch the reaction. Of the, these are 65, 70-year-old no, no, people. It. Did and they you were jamming. do that without just videoing everybody? And, and do I, just, I, I do that sometimes just to get the, the, the <laughs> to hear the people being engaged and to think, know. you know, back in the day, we didn't have rock, rock and roll bands that would go till they're 70. You know, back when we were growing up, you know, you, you didn't see a lot of uh, rock and roll bands that were. Well, they, they were still around. new. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they were we, all we reached new. this point where we see these 70 yeah. year olds get now out they're there. they're like, yeah. And then Leonard Skinner, I kept seeing in my, I kept saying to myself, you're a cover band. It's not Leonard Skinner. It's not Leonard Skinner. Well, you're a cover band. You got the brother, you know, uh, you know, got one Van of the, Zant, yeah. yeah, with the Van Zant brother, but he was never in the original band. No, I'm telling you, Roger, he took over for yeah. Uh, you know, Justin Moore. I think Justin Moore feels like Leonard Skinner's his 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 the one of the best, one that, of the greatest yeah. bands of yeah. yeah. And I tell you, after listening to their music last night, I got I got thinking, man, I tell you, they are. I forget how many. It's Southern Rock. I yeah, get it. Are you it, off the Eagles now? No, 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 no. Two I, 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 yeah. yeah, but if I'm telling you, yeah, that's right. I think yeah. that's right, Roger. Yeah. But I'm telling you, when it comes to Southern Rock, I mean, hit after hit after hit after hit. And you know what? They were all from the 70s. Yeah. Those dudes wrote all those, did all those songs. Yeah, in, and, you know, in, in half a decade. That, that's right. Yeah. And before they died, yeah. I'm like, man, yeah. I mean, there are a lot of great, and it, there's a lot of these things. They're great Josh, songs. I mean, Josh, you, you, yeah, for us growing up, that was sort of what everybody heard, man. So everybody knew the songs, and it was uh, it was pretty powerful. The other, you'd had another. Speaking of uh, Southern Rock, uh, the Almond Brother uh, sure. found one of the founders, uh, Dickie Betts, died. He was eighty. They did a little tribute to him. Wow. I, when, when did that happen? Yesterday. Well, it's funny you said that because uh, at, at trivia last night and and talking back and forth with Steve Qualls and uh, and Melissa, I thanked her and and I said thank you, sweet Melissa. That's an Almond oh, Brother it, song. It is. I can't, you know, it is. That's exactly right. I had no idea. I'm telling you right now, there's a part of me that's psychotic. Yeah, somebody says, uh, yeah, Leonard Skinner is a tribute band now. That's basically what it is. And I'll that's tell you, they, they, they sound great. I mean, it sounds like the original. For the tragically white of Skinner? <laughs> Chuck, would you, you agree? I mean, it's still, I mean, none of these guys are the original guys. But yeah. listen, if they can go out there, you, you do have a Van Zandt. Which... Well, if the Eagles can do it, why not Leonard Skinner? Well, oh, oh you can that again. Oh, 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 hey, oh, you've oh, got oh, original oh. members there. Dodd Henley is the only and you have a, well, original member. Is yeah, it? But, but you have is a, that, see, I don't know. They talk to me. Well, see, is that right? Yeah. yeah. He's the only one still no, Wait a minute. He's not giving. Henley? He, he's not giving. He's a, the, no, he's the only original member. Yeah, but but he, uh, what's his face has been with him since. Joe Walsh yeah. has been there since Will you Hotel please sit California. down and let people see Joe, your kind of... Uh, Joe, uh, Joe uh, Walsh uh, was with the original band. He may not have been the one who started, right. but he, he was with the original band. Joe Walsh replaced... Um, in the, in 1970s, like six, right? I think it was 76. No, not, maybe, it, maybe before that. Hotel California yeah. was his first album. Hello. Yeah, to me, he, which he's is, in. Which right, was the fifth album. Listen, and here's something that the Eagles have, Josh, uh, that Skinner doesn't have, and that's a harmony. Let's give it to him. There are seven bridges road. Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We're, we're as close off of the, to being brothers as brothers can we're be. We're off with of that. the lyrics a little bit. There, are we? Yes. I don't know. Somebody says Leonard's getting his tribute band now. All the reason, we, we know they've all passed away. We know that. But so that's okay. Vince Gill travels with Eagles now, yes? Yes. All right, good job. Awesome. And I dig Vince. I yeah. dig Vince. There's nobody left from the original band. One guy, John Henley is the only one. Don Henley. Don. No, 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 no. I mean, from Leonard Skinner. No, there's nobody. No. Okay. Where were you? All right, all right, so my take on this is you probably need to get rid of the band. Though. Like, they have to retire. Well, it's well, a tribute no, band. That's what I'm saying. No, it's a you don't get band. rid of the band. I don't think well, you can't be called Leonard Skinner. That's what I said. Well, no. well, listen, you know how many temptations there are? Well, that's there's true. three that's temptations. temptations group. That too. People that's want to hear is, the music. Is Glenn Miller still with the Glenn Miller Orchestra? I love Glenn Miller. There's nobody left from the original group. But here's the deal, Josh. Josh, stop being ridiculous. I think that's fair to say. I do. I, I think what, what is fair to say? To say it's not Leonard Skinner. No, no, Leonard he said Skinner. to get rid of him. Well, not, you don't name him. You no, don't name no, him no, 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 Leonard Skinner. You can't use the name Leonard, Leonard Skinner. Skinner. Yes, you can. Uh, the brand part, it, 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 it's the brand. is still there. It, it, exactly. But it's the brand. It's not about the band or who's in it. It's about the brand. The brother never played with the original. All right, let me do this. 
So if if uh, uh, Chuck Gatlin comes and buys this store, Kaufman uh, uh, by Design West, yeah. and does not want to change the name so everybody knows everything is still the same and all that, and it's his, does he change it to Chuck Gatlin by Design? He could. Or does it? He could. Or do you leave it Kaufman? Leave it what it is. It's okay to do but that. You're buying if the you buying the brand. I think, I think, you see what I, I'm saying, well, No, I think store and music's different, band though. I don't know. Well, no, no, wait, no, wait a minute. It's no, all no, about the brand. It's the brand real. to what he's saying. I would feel uncomfortable saying I represent the Eagles if I was not, if I'm covering the Eagles. Not I, if you're I'm, making a couple hundred thousand dollars <laughs> well, they, that's a, what they a, are. a month. Well, I mean, like a football team, you know what I mean? It's like Dak Prescott and Troy Aikman play, they play quarterback for the Cowboys. It's not like I play guitar for Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner is a group of people that came together to, to make music. What, I, I, you know, I would like it to a band. Where here's the thing, that's, here's that's the how thing. it started, yeah, Josh, but what it became was a brand. When you get to that level of music, you're a brand. You're not a band you anymore. Keep the name the you're not a band, Randy. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird, though, when I, you look up there and I, 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 I kept going, you're not Leonard Skinner. You're not Leonard Skinner. You're, you're, you need to stop feeding into Josh's. Uh, I, I, just, I, I, to I, dismiss. I, I thought I would, you should be like a brother's of a family. No. Leonard Skinner family. You, you, Leonard no. Skinner family. Well, yes. Wait a minute. Here's the only thing. You can't <laughs> the, the, all the guys from uh, uh, what's the name of your band? Southern Freight. Oh, okay. I was thinking of the other one back yeah. in the day. What, what what was that? It was Canvas. Okay, excuse me, Canvas. Uh, so Southern Freight. Are there anybody from Southern Freight that was with Canvas, other than you? Me and one other guy, Ron. Okay. Yeah. Is Canvas still out there? No. Okay. You could you conceivably use the name Canvas if you wanted I wouldn't. to? I'm asking you, could you? Um, no. Why couldn't there, you? There, there, there you go. No, no, no wait a minute. No. But but let, let me finish. But let me let me, let me if, finish. If could you is that name owned by someone other than you and the other cat? No, nobody owns it. But like if me and Chuck wanted to keep Canvas going, mm -hmm. or if Chuck singer Chuck wanted to keep Canvas going mm -hmm. with totally different people, then yes, then it would Wait, still be Canvas. Chuck yeah, singer Chuck Gatlin. <laughs> by the way, boys, in the D three text line, I'm not sure if you are seeing it. I'm seeing it. Yes, of, I agree with Just for sure. once, I agree. With yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what? No, no, and, and, and that's okay. I completely disagree. As long as Van Zant, who was the brother who took over for his dead brothers, mm -hmm. once he's gone, you can't just start a new band right now and call yourself Leonard Skinner. You can't. But this guy, this guy, and and these other members that have that have taken over, that have been there for the decades, yes. they're still going to be able to use yeah. it, and you're still going to go and see them because. But still you know that it's say, not Leonard. As Skinner. long as Van's, at, well, yeah, I mean, you you know that it's not Leonard Skinner to me is the original band, just like you said with the yeah. Eagles. I, I, we all agree, but I think you guys are just being way too uh, uh, too. <laughs> Too much of, too dismissive well, I just, on it. I get when, it. When I, I mean, you're too purist on some things, and in other things, you. Wait, no, 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 no. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Don't don't take it wrong. What I'm saying is, is I, I just. I'm don't. not offended. No, no. <laughs> listen, you can't call. You can't take anybody. You're going to call it a different band, or you you know that those other bands aren't there. I don't know if there's but one original temptation there were three at one point and each one of those three had an original member and they all could be the temptation now money. if all of them are gone and dead uh then there's got to be an asterisk by it you've got to know but we're old enough to know well they're all dead yeah. but you're still gonna go play the music because yeah. you're a pothead we are here at uh, coffin by design west it's, it's on highway 10 just past taylor loop the exact address is um uh, where is it at here? I think it was 1409. We'll get it's it. It's 14900 yes. Cantrell Road. Yeah, basically just at the intersection of Cantrell Road. You know Cantrell what? And, and I don't know if they should be able to use 14900. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they've got everything you can imagine here at yeah. Coffin by Design electric West. Electric bikes. They, can, they do. they got electric bikes. Right they can there. build it from the floor up here. CoffinLumber.com. Check them out. Uh, we'll visit with them coming up shortly. Also, Bo Mattingly coming up at 7 o'clock. Uh, and uh, a lot of hog baseball and softball in the Arkansas, Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. We'll mention who's going in tonight. Baz, why did you go to the concert if you're getting so angry that they have <laughs> the action? Thank you, I, I, thank I, I you, I just Lister. feel like they're taking advantage, yes, taking they're advantage of the taking dead advantage. members. I can't believe I spent all this money to go to the band that I knew <laughs> had nobody there anymore. Two points. <laughs> all right, 632. <laughs> Join us for the 20th annual Double B's Barbecue, May 11th. Teams from all over will compete for the coveted Jim's Razorback Pizza Grand Champion Trophy. Get your tickets at buzzbecue.com. This is Sports Center.
Tonight, the field of 16 teams for the 2024 NBA playoffs will be set after a pair of play-in games. First at 6 o'clock on ESPN, it's the Miami Heat and the Chicago Bulls. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the East, the Boston Celtics. The Heat will be without Jimmy Butler tonight. In the Western Conference at 8.30, it's the Sacramento Kings on the road against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans will be without star forward Zion Williamson. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the West. Western Conference, the Oklahoma City Thunder. The NBA playoffs officially tip off tomorrow afternoon. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center. Buzz weather with KARK's Pat Walker. A stray shower is still going to be possible today. We'll have a cloudy sky and much cooler. We'll see temperatures only to the mid to upper 60s. Tonight it stays cloudy, about a 20% chance of a shower. And still a little cooler will drop down to around 52 degrees overnight. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. Riverfront Steakhouse Special, dinner for two for $60. 10 ounce filet, fried shrimp, two sides, and our famous salad bar. Only $60. Good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Did you know 21 people fall victim to overdose every minute? The Parker Gill Foundation believes a combination of prevention and recovery efforts are vital to ending opioid related overdose deaths. How can you help? You can make a cash donation or bid on a raffle item. Log on to ParkerGillFoundation.org to view and bid on auction items. Help save lives from overdose in Arkansas. For more details on tournament or foundation mission, go to ParkerGillFoundation.org. Hey, folks, Roger Scott here. And, yes, I know you hear me promote many of our beloved clients on the bus, and they are all special and dear to me. So to all those clients, I say thank you. In fact, my wife thanks you as well, along with our Amazon delivery person who comes by the house every single day because of you, and we appreciate you. But let me tell you about a client that has been near and dear to my heart for over a decade, a very special client who's become a friend to me and my family over the years. In fact, they've become like family, too. Yep, that's right. Of course, I'm talking about Gravely. Mowers. I've been a proud Gravely mower owner for years, and I've used everything from theirs from a 21-inch push mower to their 72-inch commercial unit, including my favorite, the Z2 Heavy Duty 60-inch. Mm-hmm. And now, it's the best time of year to get a brand new Gravely of your choice. Why, you ask? Well, how about 0% interest over 48 months? Are you interested? Sure you are. So join the Gravely family if you haven't already by stopping by at your local Gravely dealer today, like Chapel Hardware in Pine Bluff or Hoko Turk. Enrolling. Right now at Ford Thompson, Smith & Wesson Shield, 2.09 millimeter, 269.90. Beretta APXA1, 9 millimeter, 199.90 after $50 mail-in rebate. CCI 9 millimeter brass, 50 count box, 12.99 at Ford Thompson and Sherwood. <laughs> After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. See Gary Elmore in Lone Oak, Justin Stewart in Malvern, or Drew Self in Hot Springs. Mark your calendar for the Criminal Justice Institute Strikeout Opioids Day at the Arkansas Travelers Game on April 20th. Explore the Arkansas Overdose Prevention Program booth for essential prevention resources and learn about naloxone. Dive deeper at narcansaw.com. Want to reach the show? Well, give us a call or text at 501-661-1037. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem. Hey, let's go to Simmons Arena and talk to Michael Marriott, okay? Hey, we're pleased to announce the Sonny Bono <laughs> Over the Hill and Through the Woods Tour. Oh, my gosh. I, I saw Michael Marion last night. As and I asked, I said, when, when, what day does Joe Cocker come into the arena? He had heard, he heard us that day. Sure he did. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, listen, thanks, everybody, for texting. We yeah. appreciate all your input. Yeah, it was a fun concert last night, regardless of the argument. It was great music, man. That's going to be was... our question of the day. That's going to be that's got to be our question. And what of the day. what is it? If, if all the original band members of a band band have moved on, are you okay with a group still using that band's name? 
Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'd be curious. I, I, uh, I think most people would probably right, be okay with it. But. I it's, it's uh, well, I want it to be one. if yeah. there's any. Uh, all of them are moving along. But Van Zant and I don't know whom else uh, 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 other than that, I don't know if I should have used who or whom, uh, have been with it for 30 years. Yeah, they, they've been, it's almost like some of the, uh, so, yeah, they, they've been touring with so it for they, a long time. So Van so Zandt, but, and them. Van Zandt has got right. DNA of this. He's, he's, he's a brother. So, yeah. so somebody's reporting. Well, I wonder what Justin thinks this. Well, yeah. and he's going to be the one. And here's the thing. Whatever Justin says is still his opinion. I just yeah. think we will listen to his and go because he's a ba- because he's got a band. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And we, we, yo, for, we will listen to him. We will listen to him yes. for the and make the, our own decision. That's exactly right, <laughs> as, as well as what uh, what mine is. And I've got a guy right here or, or a lady, uh, whomever, thank you, on the D3 text line uh, that talked about the Oak Ridge Boys and saying that the Oak Ridge Boys are still called the Oak Ridge Boys, considering they aren't any of the original. That, there's no that, original Oak Ridge that Boys? That I don't know. Yeah, I know yeah. they're, they're, not all of them are dead, yeah. but if none of them are performing. Yeah, I, that's just stuff funny about that one. I would do the same application for me on that one. Well, uh, I just feel uh, weird. Let me ask you this. Uh, how, uh, Michael but, Marion, if you're listening, how many people come to see that Foreigner uh, uh, cover band that you have? That foreigner, you know, because he has those. Yeah. How many people come see oh, they're, that? They're, if they but, sound but, close but, but enough, but they sell like it. they sell themselves as a cover band. I think if that's the, the Japanese guy that sounds like Steve Perry goes out on his own and starts singing Journey songs, yeah. It's, it's sort Will of, you still go it's listen? Sort of, it's sort of, listen, there's nothing about going and listening and enjoying it. It's just sort of how you're selling yourself. I would feel comfortable, uncomfortable going, I'm doing Roger Scott trivia tonight. No, you're not Roger Scott trivia. You're David Basil. And don't you try to beat Roger Scott. If you <laughs> if you are doing it for me while I'm sick or gone. No, that's different. Yes, you can right. still say I'm doing Roger that's Scott trivia. Once you're gone, I will never do. I would never. Justin, <laughs> jump over here real quick if you can. Jump on with us for a second. We got a razor. If you go to the, the go to our cams, Raj, yeah. you see a Razorback helmet oh, sitting on it. the table. Mm-hmm. Sure this is did. a new style helmet. You know, this is a lot more uh, modern compared to what I played with. Uh, excuse Does it me. Have so a much. line in the back. Does it have like the uh, it, the ridge in the back? It's got ridges. It's got r- r- yeah. It's, it's got all kind of ridges. Helmet. Yes. Uh, Justin Wartman is here with us. His dad and I played together at Arkansas. Steve Wartman. Good morning, Justin. How are you? Good morning, guys. How are you? Uh, so you played for under Bobby Vitrino, correct? That's correct. Uh, did you play linebacker? No, I was not big enough. You were DB? Yeah, I was DB. Okay. And then uh, actually sophomore year, or I guess redshirt freshman year, I switched to slot receiver. Okay. So I got a lot of, a lot of reps behind Joe Adams. Never. So know. did you So you play with Ryan Mallett? I did, yeah. Yeah, so Ryan Mallett is one of the uh, f- folks that's going into the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. Obviously, his mom will be there to speak on his behalf. But also uh, Peyton Hillis is going in tonight. You have a couple Razorbacks, Jason Peters. Oh, very good. He's not going to be there, but. Uh, yeah, so so uh, you played at Morrillton High School? No, I was uh, I was here. Oh, here you were here. That's right. Your dad here. was here. That's right. Yeah, I spent three years at Catholic High. Okay, and uh, transferred out my senior year. Played at Cabot, and then went okay. to U of A. How was how was Bobby to play for? He was uh he was tough. Yeah, yeah. It's what yeah, everybody. Were you does. ever on the receiving end of a chewing out by him? Many times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> many times. Yes, but well, you, we've, you, we've heard about our, our buddy. Uh, uh, Morgan Linton. Yeah, Morgan Linton. We talked yeah. to Linton before, yeah. and he talks about it. But it was, and, and there's probably a different Coach Petrino than there was. Yeah, I think uh, now. Then, I think so you know, too. but still tough. Yes. Have, yeah. you, have, have you ever run across him since? Uh, I'll tell you about that. No, I don't think I have. Uh, when he left in, I guess what 2012. Uh, I was out in 2013, so no. Since then, I haven't ran into him. Uh, well, he he does seem like as Roger said, he does seem a little more. He still gonna shoot people out and cuss them out and all that kind of stuff. But he does seem overall a little bit more mellow than he used to be. Roger, look here. So Chuck, we're here uh, at Coffin by Design West. He's got his own apron with his own picture on. It. Sure does. Look at that. Well, You're here's, about you know, here's a- the arrogant. Let me ask you. Th- oh let me my God. let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Should, let me. Should he be able to wear that? Because that picture has hair. Yeah, that's true. Look at that's that. That's not the original Look Chuck. at that picture. He almost like Tom Hanks there. Look, look like Tom Hanks a little bit there. It is almost Tom Hanks, a, a crackhead you know Tom Hanks. You know what that good for nothing Craig Steele says? Well, he says I look like Craig O'Neill. <laughs> yeah, I see a little bit of Craig there, too. There's a part of so, it. So Chuck part is cooking a free fried eggs uh, sandwiches here. Burger King's, forget you. Forget it. 
Come on, yeah, come, come by Coffin by Design West. Also, awesome. thank you, Chuck. By the way, we have the thank Liberty you, we have the Liberty Bowl program too. Uh-huh. Yes, uh, Josh, that was a game. It was what five degrees, Roger? You were there, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like five or eight degrees. It was cold. Yeah, it was miserable. It was miserable cold. It was miserable. Came down to a final what kick. What do you mean the Kansas the one, right? The one recently? No, this was uh, who you guys? That was Eastern Carolina. Eastern Carolina. They missed five field goals. I think. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It was the competition of the kickers. Yes. Game. Yes. Uh, well, listen. So, hey, th- thanks for having us out. This store is a really unique store. You know the. Coffin Lumber Story, it was originally opened in the 50s, early 50s, off our own Asher. Correct. Imagine one of the earlier ones in, in, in Central Arkansas, probably not many. And then you guys have had it for all these years, and then you've opened this kind of shop, which really is different than the lumber yard shop. Yes, yeah. We, um, we started in the building materials world and slowly moved our way into the door and windows and then kind of went out and said, hey, what do we, how can we make the builder's job complete? And, uh, you know, that idea was built around our floor covering, lighting, hardware department. And, of course, we implemented the hardware store for the West Little Rock yeah, location. Yeah. So Great location out here at West Little Rock, right at Taylor Loop Road. Yeah. And how many years have you been out here now? We were open in August of 2015, so you're just a, shy of 10. You're a big green dealer, big green egg dealer, rather, and mm-hmm. uh, steel products. You've got those. And, I mean, Roger, was, we were looking at look, steel look, look, you got bikes with helmets. Electric I mean, bike, I mean bike. look at that. It's almost like you have Frank a hatch. Well, well, yeah, just what down the street? Yeah, what do you not have? You got hats for sale. I mean, you, I mean, patio furniture. You got keys. We like keys. Can we make some keys? <laughs> yeah. Can we you make, make all the keys, keys you want? Can I, make some keys. I always felt Roger the key maker. This like on Matrix. It was always if you were a key maker, you were pretty. You had the power. Because you know how you look at that. This, and, listen, and back then, the dude did it by hand. I know we he were, did. He, he did. had to do it all. Yeah. Here it's all. You can set a button and then check me out. You can. So, so you're you're giving a you're doing a big giveaway, big spring giveaway too. Give us the details on that. Yeah. So we're giving away three items or three giveaways here. Um, we've got a steel package, so it's going to include electric blower, electric trimmer. Nice. Um, and then we we're going to have the big green egg, like you said. We're going to right. be giving away a large big green egg. It's got the uh, side paneling on it. Eleven hundred dollars value. That's green correct. Egg. Okay, yeah. and they're great. Okay. And, uh, what I love about the big green egg is it is not just a grill; it's also a smoker. Yeah. So yeah. they've kind of fit both departments there, if you will. Gotcha. So, and then the final one is we're going to be giving away a thousand dollar flooring credit to uh, anybody that's looking to remodel or, or do something with a new house. How, how do you have – Is it, have you been taking applications all week for this or interviews for this all week? Correct, yeah. Okay. We've, we've basically been welcoming our walk-in traffic. Okay. Anybody that's heard about this promotion going on over the over yeah. the air. Right. Um, and then at 10 o'clock today, we're going to draw and – Very nice. And we'll call you, and if you, we hope that you hear and you're listening here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, before we go to break, I wanted to ask you, you're married, I would presume? Yes, no? okay. yes I am. Uh, so, Roger, I saw today where um, apparently uh, Reba, uh, is her nickname, uh, her husband calls her a particular deal. Um, calls her a particular it's actually nickname? Boyfriend. Yeah, she, he calls her tater tot. What is what is something funny or interesting that your significant other calls you? Uh, Justin, do you have oh, a wow. nickname? Wow, Ooh, I mean, Roger and his wife—he she he calls her love lover. Love lover, some of love lover. Up. There's what, other ones. And what was the other? There's PG, can... and then there's uh, other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's yeah. safe words. Hello, hello. Uh, well, you so, know? Yeah, it seems like there's one that you also say on a regular basis. Um, sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. sweetie. Uh, it's just uh, sweet. Anything sweetie. come to mind? Yeah. So I think, well, that I can say on the air. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, the um, and he's not going to judge you because I know his. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa's name is Mort. Okay. And my yeah, obviously the last name is Wartman. And so Mort my, Wartman. Mort to work. <laughs> so so my wife has kind of like combined it. So when yes. she's trying to get a hold of me, she'll she'll yell my grandpa's first name, Mort. Oh, I yeah. like that. I yeah. like that. And I I've kind of just accepted it. It's sure. It's okay. So uh so send the send us and in you and those Jessica? Today. Uh, I'm her. I'm not a sugar daddy. That's right. That's I don't right. have enough money, but I'm a sugar cube. Sugar cube. I'm a sugar, sugar cube. cube. Sugar cube. I, can, Very good. I can afford Very good. What do you things. call her? Uh, I don't know if I call her anything. You know what? Two things. Number one, either you're lying. I don't or know. Or number two, I don't uh, know. I don't uh, have a nickname. Why for can't her. you be? I, why can't you show a softer side? I need to come up with. It's more fun to have nicknames. It yeah. is. It's more fun. I guarantee you, Justin's got a ton I, of them. I, I love it when Roger accidentally <laughs> like sugar lips. I love it when Roger accidentally calls me love lover. I, I have, really and that's the only reason he knows about that. <laughs> he accidentally sent me. He Such accidentally silly sent me a boy. Text. That's right. And, and he, oh, how sweet love lover. <laughs> oh my God, I do want to just punch you. Uh, it is uh, six forty-seven. We'll come back here and visit more with Justin. It's uh, Coffin by Design West. Uh, come out and check him out. It's a big spring giveaway. Mm-hmm.
David Basil here for Jones & Son Diamond and Bridal Fine Jewelry. At Jones & Son, when you shop for an engagement ring, you get the benefit of shopping with the largest selection of rings in Central Arkansas. Jones & Son also carries the biggest brands in the business. At Jones & Son, shop their new collection of Jones & Son branded engagement rings. These Jones & Son rings are high quality at a fraction of the price. They're also fully customizable. They can modify any design to suit your needs. Jones & Son is located at 1121 Rodney Parham Road. Of course, they've been there for over 35 years. Same address same phone number for over three decades. Finding the perfect piece of jewelry to match the occasion can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be, and it's not at Jones & Son Diamond and Bridal Fine Jewelry. Find the right diamonds for that special occasion. Jones & Son invites you to come by and shop with them in person or online at jonesandson.com. Owners Darrow and Jacob Jones are the best father-son jewelry team in America. Tell them the guys at Morning Mayhem sent you. Jones & Son Diamond and Bridal Fine Jewelry. Jones & Son is located at 1121 Rodney Parham Road. Hey, it's David Basil, and the annual Luxury Pool and Spa 20% off store-wide sale is going on now through this Saturday. Don't miss it. This sale includes everything store-wide, including patio furniture by Fisco, rebates on pool life and Baco Seal pool chemicals, and even spas like the one I have at my house are discounted lower than truckload pricing. Daily giveaways include PK Grills and Luxury Pool and Spa $150 gift cards. It's a 20% off store-wide sale going on now through Saturday at Luxury Pool and Spa in Conway and Russellville. Check them out online at LuxuryPoolArkansas.com. There are no ordinary days in Arkansas. Hike to inspiring summits, bike on world-class trails, or fish in sparkling waters. Or see some of the world's top art collections and explore historic sites dedicated to everything from civil rights to rock and roll. After that, eat some award-winning barbecue and sip a local craft beer. So go on, get out there, and explore what the natural state has to offer. Find out more at Arkansas.com. It's Justin Aker for my good friends at Serta Pro Painters. And right here in central Arkansas, you can get exactly what you need from a painting standpoint, and you can get it from the folks you trust and believe in. Each Serta Pro Painters business is independently owned and operated. And it comes with free estimates. You get great communication along the way and professional painting. There are certain things you should attempt on your own. In my opinion, painting is not one of them. Turn it over to the right folks at the right price. It's Serta Pro Painters. Online at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. When choosing a painting professional, the choice is simple. Choose happy. Choose Serta Pro Painters. Okay, class, so we all know that E equals MC squared, but what about F and G? What are they squared, huh? Um, this is advanced English lit. What happened to Miss Eileen? Okay, so I'm not a teacher. I'm an optimum tech. When it comes to connectivity, we're experts. If millions of communities rely on us for internet and mobile, you can too. Optimum. Where local is big time. Visit Optimum.com today. Whiskey Myers, live in concert. Friday, May 3rd, Simmons Bank Arena. With Lucas Nelson and Promise of the Real and Reed Houghton. On sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Whiskey Myers Live. Hi, I'm Hunter Bell from Bell Chevrolet, and I want to tell you the real reason it's better at Bell. Our people, our family, and our community that drives us to be the best. We're proud to offer our biggest inventory and lowest prices on every single vehicle, from the all-new Silverado to the all-electric Chevy Equinox. We're going to find you the perfect vehicle with a buying experience like nowhere else. Our commitment is to you every day. Shop Bell Chevrolet and bellchevrolet.com today. Together, let's drive. Tune in each week to Out of Bounds to hear from team captain Kendall Biggs. Omaha is the goal, and we're looking for a great season. Kendall Biggs is brought to you by Stephen Elmore with Shelter Insurance. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, see Shelter agent Stephen Elmore or give him a call at 501-537-0959. Listen to the radio? Don't worry. You can catch Morning Mayhem live every day. Just download the 1037 The Buzz app. The, uh, just like Jesse James. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no sunshine. Oh, uh, that's a good uh, chainsaw right there. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, sing it, bad. Come on. Oh, you still want to symbol? Change symbol? <laughs> it is uh, 652 here at Coffee by Design West. I want to thank the Wartman family for having us out here. Justin, 
uh, former Razorback number 21. Is that right? <clears throat> I played at Cabin under you played under Ma Mike Malham and Bobby Petrino. I did. Two tough nosed coaches. Yes, yeah. Malham prepared me for Bobby Petrino. Well, I thought he did. Yes. And uh, it's, but I, I, I do. I will say, Roger, these are some cool helmets in the reflective. Oh, logo. I love them. Yeah. I, I love them. I mean, oh, look, it, look, it, look at that. Look at that. Chain. Oh yeah. Oh that's wow. There you go. Yeah, that's a Star little special edition. The Star Wars face yeah, to face right. mask. That's you right. Know. Uh, Rod, you want to say something? something hey, yeah, last night I uh, um, had a great time at Mainline Sports Bar. Thanks to everybody that came out. Saw some new people. So, a cat named Micah that listens to us, lives in Hot Springs. Wonderful. Uh, his wife and, and her friend, they work at Children's. Uh, these are good people that are there. Seabum and uh, uh, Greg Ferguson from Boudreaux came down with Marion, sat there. New people from the village, some other folks. We had a great time. As always, the first family of trivia was there. The Qualls family. Thanks to sweet Melissa. Sweet yep. Melissa Qualls and her friends, Monica. Uh, Chips was there. She's been there. She's a new lister. We appreciate Monica. She's a a, a, a wonderful person as well. Just a, a sweet disposition as well. And Susie Spilker was also there. First time Susie, Susie Spilker. Was there. They're all listen, they're all they're all related. One guy Susie Spilker. Susie Spilker's uh, uh son is married to Donna's, and they're all just all they just all been family forever and ever. So thanks to Melissa Qualls uh, for always being there and support me. Thank you to Susie Spilker and of course Monica Chips. Thank you, yes. thank you, thank you. I saw a ton of people that listened to her last night. Of course, you know Justin is is a lot of our audience is at the Leonard Skinner and uh, ZZ Top. Yeah. So I don't want by somebody to listen to you guys every morning. I said all right. Thank and then, you. Hey, funniest thing. I'll let I'll let that. Well, no, I'll just go ahead. We wanted to we wanted to beat the great been a long day, so it was probably ten thirty. And so the last song was Sweet Home Alabama, which, you know, hearing it, hey, look at that guy right there. The old teammate, Steve Wartman. <laughs> um, the last song was Sweet Home Alabama, but there was an encore. I'll give you one guess what the encore was. Uh, for, uh, it was Skinner? Yeah. Yeah. If it's not if, Oh, Freebird. Yeah, so it's funny. As we're walking out, it, guess what was just just all throughout the year? Lighters? Yeah, there we go. Freebird. Oh, I've said Freebird. Freebird. <laughs> of course. Oh my gosh, it was so funny as we were walking up the stairs to to do that. Those so. guys will accept the fact that it's still Skinner as long. And again, with Justin Moore, Justin Moore's gonna have a lot of clout in his opinion on this. But I'm not gonna well, say there, Josh listen, is wrong there, there was, there was or some, you're wrong. There was some great music last night, a good time. And uh, our show sports hall of fame tonight we'll find out who all the folks are uh, going in. You one of your old team, teammates, Ryan Mallet. Yes. Uh, obviously is going in yep. and um uh, Obviously, lost him way too soon as hit in his life. But what was he like? What kind of guy was he like when your time around him? He's he's probably the most intelligent quarterback I've ever been around. Huh, very yeah, nice. He really was. He he could he could take a playbook and virtually dissect it. Uh, anything new Petrino well, was throwing at him. You make the argument, not if not yeah. the greatest, one of the greatest ever to play at Arkansas. Still, I think he still holds records. I guess at Roger. Yeah. Uh, I did want to say, obviously, we, we'll be giving away stuff at ten o'clock. But you have to. If you want to have a chance to win those three thousand dollar items, you need to come by the store and fill out a, a deal, right? That's correct. Yeah, we've got we've got uh, raffle tickets, kind of the old school way of yeah. doing it. But um, stop by the store here. We've got them at all three divisions: flooring, lighting, hardware to fill out. So we're going to do the drawing at ten. You know what? Today, you know, today is that weird day, Roger. Do you know what significant? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. You saw what happened. Well, it was well, first it's like thirtieth anniversary well, of. Uh, Oklahoma bombing. That's right. And then, of course, you know what happened? I think well, Ruby well, no, 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 no. It was actually, I was going to say, that was 95, the Oklahoma City bombing. Right. But two years previous was that was, Waco? Was, was Waco. And what about Brett, Ruby Ridge? Somebody I, tell me, where was I, Ruby Ridge? I didn't see that in my list. May, I, I keep getting those all together because I, know, I think they all played. And, well, yeah, I don't know about whatever. the Hitler yeah, thing. There's yeah. a Hitler angle. But the Ruby these, Ridge whatever. thing, I think that I set off some of the other ones. What is it, Josh? Idaho. Is that is that was that where they is that where that was done? Well, I want to know what date. So it was a fifty-one day. August twenty-first. Uh, way off. Uh, this was the day it burnt to the ground uh, it, it, in Waco, and then it's also two years later that idiot uh, uh, Tim McVeigh. I remember you know exactly killed? where I was. One hundred sixty-eight people killed, nineteen Kid, children, four hundred ninety injured, and of course we all thought it was a terrorist act. It turned out to be some Looney Tune yeah. uh, American. I know. U-Haul. Yeah. Uh, he was, was in the military. I think the original location was actually supposed to be in Little Rock. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I think, I think that's right. right. Yeah, that's Roger, right. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you just an extra credit. Josh, don't don't say it if you know it. Forty-five years ago on this day, what year? I think that? Roger will get this, Justin, in less than three 45? seconds. What is forty-five? Nineteen seventy-nine. Nineteen seventy. April. Just, now, listen, I'm just telling you, Justin. Okay. He will get this maybe less than one second. Okay. Forty-five years ago in nineteen seventy-nine on this uh, on this day with the first pick 
of the NBA draft, who was chosen? It was a, a tragic Magic Johnson. Boom! Without, without, without no hesitation whatsoever. Forget about Nothing it. to it. Very easy, easy. Josh, do we have any Corky's <laughs> gift certificates? I'd like one, please. And he, uh, of course, that changed the NBA. You know, it wasn't. You know, him no and Larry doubt. Bird came in the league, and it was just. It, oh, just, you know what? I want to. Who was number two? And then I want to know. You sent me something. I get chill bumps all the time. It's that secretary at Oh my the gosh, that dominant. Was I want to who came in place and show. I want to know. I Good Lord, those they out. were so far behind. What, what a chill dominant bump. performance. You was. ain't seen nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justin, I, well, are we going to get your dad on a little bit later? Is he going to be? Because they say they, the word is he doesn't want to get on the mic. Well, I think you got some pull with him. So yes. Well, we'll see. Well, nice. well, thanks for having us out here today. We'll Thank get you in a little bit Thank later you. as well. All right, sounds good. Go Hawks. All Go right, Hawks. we're right past Taylor Loop. Uh, if you want to be a part of the show, don't forget six six one one zero three seven. Brought to you by. Uh, this? We have a new sponsor. DC3. That's what you call it now? I'm calling it DC3. <laughs> uh, and I think that's, yeah. Uh, D3 Auto, yeah. yeah. It's, it's uh, 7 o'clock here on Morning Mayhem. No matter what you do, oh, you were finished. We can't be stopped. Oh, well, allow me to. It's cool. 1037 The Buzz. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? KABZ, Little Rock. Hello, Buzz listeners. It's Chris Zender, and I've got some big news. Fletcher Dodge has big discounts on all new Ram, up to $11,000 off new Ram 2500 and up to $10,000 off new half-ton Ram. But that's not all. We got 0% financing on new Ram Bighorns for 72 months. Yes, I said 0% for 72 months. Or how about $10,000 off new Jeep Gladiators? And we have the new 2024 Jeep Compass four-wheel drive for only four twenty four dollars a month with zero down and no gimmicks. We're getting new inventory every week, so come in and let us know what you're looking for. We're ready to make a deal. We have pre-owned vehicles starting as low as $199 a month at zero down. Don't worry about your credit. If other dealers have told you no, come see us or apply from anywhere at FletcherCredit.com. Fast, easy, and simple approval process. And let us help you get into a new or pre-owned vehicle. Vehicle. Shop Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood before you buy anywhere else. Come see us in person at Fletcher Dodge on Warden Road in Sherwood. Or shop online at FletcherDeals.com. The best seats of the game don't always require tickets. Sometimes all you need is a pair of earphones. And 103.7 The Buzz. KABZ Little Rock. Buzz News with KARK's Claire Kreitz. The Arkansas Supreme Court ruled in favor of additional testing of the West Memphis Three evidence. Damien Eccles, Jesse Miss Kelly, and Jason Baldwin were convicted in the 1993 deaths of three boys. DNA testing did not find any evidence linking them to the crime. However, they spent 18 years in prison under an Alford plea despite claiming innocence. Arkansas State Police concluded the two officers involved in the shooting in Hot Springs were justified for firing back at their suspect. It happened last month during a trial traffic stop on Albert Pike Road. Both officers have been released from administrative leave. Two crypto mining resolutions passed in Senate committee and now head to the Senate floor. These bills would give local city and county governments more power over the sites once they're built. They also offer various solutions to reduce the noise issue. This is Claire Kreitz for the Buzz Radio Network. Now you can watch all your favorite Buzz shows streaming live on our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter pages. 103.7 The Buzz, your multimedia fun and game station. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center. Buzz weather with KARK's Pat Walker. A stray shower is still going to be possible today. We'll have a cloudy sky and much cooler. We'll see temperatures only to the mid to upper 60s. Tonight it stays cloudy, about a 20% chance of a shower. And still a little cooler. We'll drop down to around 52 degrees overnight. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. Riverfront Steakhouse Special, dinner for two for $60. 10 ounce filet, fried shrimp, two sides, and our famous salad bar. Only $60. Good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Edwards Food Giant presents Razorback Baseball color analyst and Drop Tom Sports co host Rick Schaefer every Tuesday morning on Morning Mayhem. Rick will share his special take on Razorback Sports with the guys each week. Edwards Food Giant, the meat people, the only stop you'll ever have to make for your family's groceries. Roger Scott for the Carpet Barn. People, uh, people, people. 
G- give me less than a minute. Listen up. When the Carpet Barn has a sale, it really has a sale. The Carpet Barn in North Little Rock and in Conway are having their annual spring sale. Starting April 22nd and ending May 3rd. Quality carpet, quality flooring, quality hardwood, tile, and LVP. What's the constant here? Quality. I'm talking about first quality flooring, not second when it's in pieces. I'm talking about the flooring specialist at the Carpet Barn. Properly measuring your area to be covered. The Carpet Barn. Flooring specialist since 1968. Do not miss the annual spring sale. Locations in North Little Rock on Mama Boulevard and in Conway on Oak Street. Both stores open on Saturday by appointment only to do some one-on-one with you. No distractions whatsoever. Check them out online at thecarpetbarn.net. It's The Carpet Barn. Congo Fireplace and Patio, Arkansas's premier casual outdoor furniture store, is having their huge spring sale. With Arkansas's largest selection of outdoor furniture, there's no better time to stop by and save on name brand dining groups, seating groups, chaises, gliders, bar and counter sets, with new collections arriving daily. Plus, Congo always has the best selection of grills and ceramic smokers in the state. The spring sale is going on now at Congo. Family owned and operated for over 100 years. Shop local and feel the difference. Congo Fireplace and Patio, I 30 Whoa, Howie, that's a lot of diamonds. What's going on? We're about to launch the biggest natural loose diamond event we've had in the history of Robert Irwin Jewelers. Any shape, any size? Yes, natural loose diamonds for any budget. Plus, get a free men's wedding band with every natural loose diamond purchase. Zero percent interest for up to five years. See a store for complete details. It's the biggest natural loose diamond and bridal event this weekend. Little Rock location in the Pleasant Ridge Town Center. Robert Irwin Jewelers, home of the meant to be guarantee. Upgrades are welcome. Red tape. One in three businesses will get caught up in it, and they'll be penalized by the IRS for mismanaging their payroll. Because when you're handling payroll, HR compliance, and those constantly changing tax laws, that red tape can get sticky in a hurry. At the payroll company, we free you from that tangled mess and get you back to business. The payroll company. Less headaches, more than payroll. Visit morethanpayroll.com to learn more. Hi, I'm David Dunn with Central Arkansas Truck and Trailer. Arkansas's most trusted, highly rated, locally owned, and family operated heavy and medium duty diesel repair service. From Fords to Freightliners, specializing in suspensions, transmissions, brakes, DPF systems, and complete engine rebuilds. Tired of paying high dealership prices with long wait times? Let Central Arkansas Truck and Trailer get your truck back on the road where it belongs. Take exit 7 off of I-440. That's Central Arkansas Truck and Trailer. Hey folks, Trey Johnson here with HJ Trailer Sales in Hot Springs. Spring is coming and everyone is getting ready to get outside. So if you need your trailer serviced or repaired, let us help you out. Or you may be needing a trailer to get your golf cart to the golf course. Or you need a trailer for work. Or if you just need to buy a new trailer for recreational use. Let us help you at HJ Trailer Sales with one of the best service departments in the state. Visit us in Hot Springs or check us out on Facebook or at hjtrailersales.com. Roger, did you know that Oaklawn Sports is the mobile app that lets you bet anywhere in Arkansas? Anywhere. So I can bet the over when I'm in Dover. Indeed you can. I can take the underdog in Dogtown. Absolutely. You're telling me I can bet on the pigskin and piggins? Yep. Hoops in Humnoak. Baseball in Bauxite. Long shots in Levac. All of the above. Anywhere, huh? Any- Nice. Easy to use and even easier to fund. Bet with confidence. Bet with Oaklawn Sports. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Hamburger, the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Oh, well, allow me to retort. Live from the Oaklawn Hot Springs Studios. What country you from? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English and what? Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. Say what again? I tell you, I tell you, say what one more time. Here is David Basil, Roger Scott, and Justin Moore. All right, it's 706 here on the April 19th. We're at Kaufman by Design West uh, on Highway 10, just past Taylor Loop. It's their big spring giveaway. They're giving away three items worth over a thousand bucks. You still have time to register. Just got to stop by the store, and they'll show you what to do. Um, good folks here. Uh, basically, you can build it from the floor up. Yeah. Uh, uh, started with Kaufman Lumber back in the 50s. My old Razorback teammate, Steve Wartman, is the owner and his son and daughter involved. Good people here. Uh, Roger and I will probably find something to 
We you already got a, you already got your eye on that flashlight. I, I do. It's an ultra do. flashlight. Yes. It, it it concerns me what you're going to use it for though. <laughs> uh, and then um, uh, I mean all the skill stuff that they have here. Yes. Uh, it's yes. fantastic. I mean, listen. <laughs> fantastic. You smell that? It smells. Yeah. Oh, that's testosterone. Uh, tonight I'll be emceeing the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Carla Crowder, Glenn Day, Al Flanagan, Butch Gardner, Jeff Glassbrenner, Ed Harris, Peyton Hillis, Eric Jackson, Jason Peters. And Ryan Mallett uh, will be inducted tonight. It's always a neat deal, and a lot of the former inductees will be there. So uh, looking forward to doing that. you got Razorback baseball and softball this weekend. Uh, number two, Arkansas is at number 21, South Carolina. Razorbacks uh, softballers host number 15, Alabama. Kenny Payne being hired yesterday, that's a big deal. Yeah. I think that's a big hire for Coach Cal. Where are we at in your portal for linebackers? I heard him talking about it with a double I, R. Yeah, there. I think they will probably they will probably add one or two. You know, same thing with they'll probably have one or two offensive linemen and defensive Well, you said that when the, the, when the portal opened, the floodgates would happen, and, and we'd start seeing some. So, And you're more tuned into that stuff than I am, even ahead of the game. So. Speaking of emceeing last week, Weekend, Roger. I was up in Fayetteville for the red and white game, the Dick Weber uh, celebration service, and mm -hmm. then uh, did a, uh, I did a charity event with our next guest, who was the MC of that, and a uh, very uh, obviously he's professionally trained in all things. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's all things Bo Mattingly. Let's mm -hmm. check in with him now, Josh. He's made his mark on college sports media, both in Arkansas and around the country. His storytelling abilities on the screen and over the airwaves are unmatched. It's finally time that Bo joins the mayhem. Brought to you by UAMS Health, the official orthopedics and sports medicine provider for Razorback Athletics. It's Bo Mattingly. Good morning, Bo. How are you today? Man, I'm great. Uh, fresh off my uh, debut performance with the Leonard Skinner band. Um, <laughs> Shut up. Um, man. I'm a tired, but, uh, what a know, pump. I was listening to y'all, and I was yeah, just yeah. thinking, um, I don't know. I mean, if, if if I showed up to see David Basil, and it wasn't David Basil, how would I feel? Yes, that's my point. But exactly. you knew going in it was going to be still a stand-in. It's still going to be a stand right. It's funny, Bo. I'll tell you, Roger. He was I, still going to be good-looking. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't mentioned this, but but when I'm in the Leonard Skinner deal and with ZZ mm -hmm. Top, yeah. you know what comes to mind? I think of Tommy Smith. I think of all y'all's listeners back in Magic 105, sure. how and that was those And listeners. every one of those guys said, the band's still Skinnered. Let's rock. <laughs> I know. That's I'm, look, I'm looking around. I'm, Bo, I'm looking around the venue, and yeah. half the dudes in there are 60 – to 70 years old. And you know yeah. what? They're still doing, they're still got their hands yeah. up in the You're air. Right rocking. They These got, are some of the most rockingest great grandpas. Uh, I'm all. saying we're all we're all old guy, old dudes up yes, there. Yes, sir. Three bit <laughs> uh, sweet home Alabama. I will say this, listening to Sweet Home oh. Alabama, I thought, man, I wish we could have, I wish Arkansas That's had a, a great song. You know, of course we have Justin Moore on our show, Bo, as you know, and, and, and Justin's been wanting to do a song. He just it hadn't hit him. You know, Chris yeah. Stapleton came out with Arkansas, yeah. and that's a good song. It's not sure. on the same level as Sweet Home Alabama. Sure. Sure. Hey, listen, man, I enjoyed doing that event with you last week. Congrats to the Fayetteville Library and, and what they're doing up there. And I, I, it makes me want to do some stuff down here with the Little Rock Library. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the Fayetteville Library is, is uh, really evolved and, and um, has so much innovation in it, you know. And I mean, they've got a, a simulator. You can learn to get a CDO license and drive a track and trailer. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, we've heard of flight simulators. You can get like a, a truck and, and drive that. Which, uh, that was great to be involved. Corey Beck was there. Yep. Um, uh, Baz showed you showed up, and it it was cool. It, who would think that you could have a golf tournament in a library? Uh, <laughs> yes. A, a putt putt golf tournament, but it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Happy to be involved with it, and. Uh, we had a blast from the past with Mitch Mustang. Yes, up. look good. That remember him? There's a, yeah, still good. a film out there about about him and and uh, his journey. Uh, former quarterback at Arkansas that ended up transferring to USC back when Gus Malzahn was the offensive coordinator at Arkansas. Houston Nutt was the head coach, and, and uh, man, there were some great players uh, at that time. Yep, yep. Um, some great memories there and and then obviously a lot of drama around it but uh but yeah it was a great time Baz. it was a uh, great there, there's not a better mc in the world i think tony robbins is 1a david Basil, <laughs> no uh, number one that was yep. you, that but, was uh, you. Uh, both of them have banana hands <laughs> it's an infusion of energy <laughs> it's an infusion of energy for sure no and, doubt uh, 
vast. How many how many events do you MC a week? Like five? Four? <laughs> no, it, it sometimes it comes in waves. Well, two of them is in the I, I, I'm looking forward to tonight. Yeah, the the Sports Hall of Fame one's a really cool one, yeah. and I always yeah. enjoy that. And then uh, I, I've got a couple of hey, listen. It's one of those things I've done so much. And listen, Bo, you do it too. You I mean, you're good. Roger's great at it as well. And <laughs> when you've done it, the, my main thing when I do those things is, is uh, it, it just like you were the other day. It's keep it moving. And try to try to pick a spot to be funny here and there, and, and pick out something important. And uh, well, I mean, it's easy for Roger and I because when we show up, we just say, "Hey, David Basil couldn't make it." <laughs> That's exactly That's right. How we open. But uh, uh, so it's so, th- 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 and then we go. So here's a video of him. <laughs> I will say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will say, Bo, obviously one of your babies is Hogs Plus, and I have to imagine that the cow hire uh, has been a uh, manna from heaven just from a content standpoint and what you have, guys, what you guys are going to have going forward uh, just in all the new recruiting news and, and getting to know Cal. It just sort of gives an infusion of energy to the whole program. Yeah, I mean, it's the Hogs Plus is awesome. I think, it, 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 you know, we, we have a busy world. Um, you see a lot of it on social, but like if you want to dig in and watch behind the scenes documentary type things, feature stories, like what it's like with Bobby Petrino in the quarterback room, um, getting to know Cal, getting to know the, the coaching search, uh, the video with, with Hunter Yurichek, the as far as the interview that I did the day after um, the hiring where, where Hunter said, you know, it was, it was, it was just a really intriguing process, how it went down and, and what's true, what's not, all those things. Um, you have some access there that some of it you get later yeah. um, on podcast or whatever. <clears throat> but with, with Hogs Plus, it's around $8 a month, and it's 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 fascinating. You do a seven-day free trial if you want. But if you, if you love the Hogs and you love finding out things you don't know and seeing behind the scenes, it's like a mini Netflix yeah. for Razorback fans. And, you know, Cal's busy right now. Yep, I mean, yep. he doesn't have – you know, I, it's my understanding – that Cal is is going to to all of the recruits' homes, and that could be transfer portal, it could be freshmen, it could be some of these guys that were committed at Kentucky. Um, but but his, uh, my understanding is his approach is to go to a home. He wants to go see everybody at their place. Yeah. But he also wants to make sure everybody's in the room. So don't don't have me meet with mom and dad and and the player, and then the agent and the, right. the AAU coach come in next week. I want everybody in the room. I need to know what everybody wants. We're going to tell you what how this is all going to work, and and he's been really good at it, obviously for for fifteen plus years um, as the number one recruiter in the country by far. Uh, we're visiting with uh, Bo Mattingly, brought to you by UMS uh, Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. Yeah, I mean, just think about you go from you adding Bobby Petrino in the mix and and all the angles and storylines there, then you throw Cal in, so. Uh, for for the, for Hawks Plus, it obviously, and for all of us who, who do this for a living, it's obviously it, uh, it's it's a nice gift to have. I did want to say yesterday, Bo, you are one of the great storytellers. I was down in uh, Dallas yesterday for our Cliff Harris Award uh, presentations, and I want to thank everybody who was a part of that. Right, Lindsey and Jennings, who is the presenting sponsor, and Greg Catcher for getting us down there, and uh, Simmons Bank, and just it, it was a team effort. But seeing seeing Cliff Harris down there with that gold jacket, yeah. When you they said this is the this is the most valuable sports franchise in the world, and it was so cool and it happens every time when we're down there with Cliff. When you walk in there with a gold jacket, yeah. everybody in that building, even if you're too young to know who Cliff is, you look wow, that's an NFL Hall of Famer. I mean, it's it's one of the great calling cards yeah. if you know what it is, sure. and it's almost like wow, and everybody's just like hey, let's just start clapping as Cliff because there's only 371. There's only 371 mm-hmm. of those, and he's—I think he's number. Amazing, I know. Smaller, uh, but it's just the beginning of the, the you know NFL football back in the 20s or 30s, and I think he's number 333. But then you think about it, Roger and, and Bo. You got Cliff Harris, you got uh, from Arkansas. Yeah. You got Dan Hampton, you got Willie Rove. Um, yeah, uh, even though Steve Atwater's different, you got you got Jimmy uh, 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 Jerry Jones. I mean, you've got a lot of representation in the NFL for the Razorbacks from the, from the, state, from the state. state of Arkansas. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I just it's just really cool. Is Clyde, Scott, Clyde Scott in there? Who, who's that? Clyde Scott. Clyde Scott. Uh, I don't think he's in the NFL Hall of Fame. Yeah. I think he's in the College Football Hall of Fame. Okay. But just sort of cool, Bo, just to see, you know, especially the story of Cliff Harris. Sure. You know, you know, Cliff and Willie are the same way. Willie Rope was overlooked by Arkansas. Absolutely. He was six four, two thirty. Turns out to you know goes to Louisiana Probably Tech. One of the best in the history yeah, of the game. That's right. One yeah. of the greatest of all time. I mean, it's just really great stories there in the state of Arkansas. 
Well, you know, we, sometimes we like to, to toot our own horn here, and it, and it makes sense, I mean, to, to do that. But people don't realize sometimes, you know, the things that this state has produced. You know, sure. Hall of Famers, um, you know, a lot of players, obviously, that have come through the University of Arkansas but are from Arkansas. And then most recently, obviously, John Tyson, Tyson Foods has gotten a lot of attention because yep. of him and Cal's relationship. But when you think about, I mean, somebody walked by me at the press conference when they were introducing Cal, and, you know, it's just a lot of people around, and they just said, hey, Bo, and they kept on walking. And I, I go, I, I recognize that. Who was that? I know that guy. And about an hour later, I go, oh, that was Doug McMillan. He's the CEO of Walmart. Wow, how about I mean, that? you don't realize. I know, that's crazy. You know, but, but you know what I mean? Like, we have so many resources and such good people in our state. And I think it's frustrating for people when uh, one of those amenities, the Razorbacks, aren't aren't well for whatever reason. They're not good. They're not playing great. And, and because you know it's here. And I think what's happened – is there's been a lot of excitement with Petrino coming back and then with Cal. And, you know, I, I was visiting with uh, John Tyson the other day, and he said, you know, I, I knew people would be excited, but I had no idea that they would be kind of like this. It feels like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. there's been a resurgence yeah. of, like, personality and confidence yeah, yeah. with, like, every Arkansas. Yep. Yeah. It's amazing that like, the Razorbacks do that for you, and it's been that way for years. It's been fun to watch. Well, also, too, I mean, you want to get your comments on these three guys. Tonight, Sports, Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame, uh, you got three Razorbacks, Peyton Hillis, uh, Jason Peters, uh, and the late Ryan Mallett. Uh, and of course, you know, all of those, what's weird about wow. that, all those are recent guys. I mean, it's not yeah. like they're from the four, yeah. 50s or 60s. Well, recent, and and almost almost lost Peyton Hillis, yeah. did lose Ryan Mallett. And yeah, Jason sure Peters talked about one of the greatest ever, Roger. Yeah. Uh, Bo, I don't know if you saw the stat. I think when he plays this year, because he's still scheduled to play, I don't know how much he'll play, but he's on the roster. No other player will have played this long at the tackle position in the history of the NFL. I think he's in, in the 20th year or something like that. And this is what, what I read. Un, and that, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And undrafted. Undrafted. Is that right? I didn't bowler, know that. Wow. Okay. And undrafted. And he was a tight end at Arkansas. Oh, I remember that. Like, yeah. They didn't yeah. Know yeah. I, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't know just a big dude that was athletic and they weren't quite sure. And, you know, one of the things that just personally I love, but I think if, if you go to one of these, um, like the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame, or you go to the Broyles Award or uh, the multiple awards, that you're involved with, one of the things that I love about them is everybody's got a story. Yeah, yeah. You know, we do the yeah. hog pod, and, and we sit down, and we just interview athletes and coaches and, and people in sports about their journey. And it's just fascinating to hear their journey. Yeah. Um, I, I interviewed uh, Ryan Hibbert the other day. Um, he's uh, the, He holds the world record in the triple jump. He's 19 years yeah, old. Yeah, how about that? From Isn't that crazy? Jamaica. Yeah. He came mm-hmm. here when he was 17. Yeah. I mean, he's just getting started. Yeah, great story. And he, and he broke a 30-year record. Uh, by jumping like 17.87 meters yeah. in the triple jump. But his story is fast. You know, yeah. but, but that's what it gives you the opportunity to do, to, to see how somebody's journey went, you know, what they learned along the way. We've all got a story, but these guys have had a story that, that obviously reached certain heights. And Jason Peters is one. Like, I think of Peyton Hillis. Peyton Hillis could have easily just got lost in the shuffle yep. with yep. D-Mac yep. and, and, and Felix. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, Peyton Hillis – is on the cover of EA Sports Magazine. <laughs> yes, yes. Out of nowhere. Yep. You know, out of Conway, Arkansas. Yep. Um, it, it's 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 fun to just just to see these stories You're and right. these guys get recognized. You know, when you mentioned that, you mentioned Mac of uh, uh, McFadden and uh, Felix. You're right, Peyton. You you mentioned either one of them. You got to mention the triplets. It yeah. was all three and, of and them. And he, he could. You wonder if he if he had not been there at the same time, he would have probably gotten more touches. And maybe, probably maybe. Been, Why not? He, yeah, he was, of course. You know, there was some controversy there, you know, with Houston and him and and all that. But you're you talk about an impressive th- three headed monster. Yeah, Petrino would have used a guy like that to be able yeah. to catch the ball uh, uh, in the backfield. You talk about Peters. I think at one point, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't he with the Cowboys for a minute? Uh, I don't know. He, he might have been one year. I, 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 I think so, and and I think at, if if I'm, I think it's amazing. I think you're right. I think for years. one yeah. minute he was the second oldest active NFL yeah. player at one time on a team. Who was the first? Uh, I don't know. Tom Brady. They uh, were okay. they were, yeah, they were both still yeah. playing at yeah. the I think for like a half a, a half a well uh, somehow they yeah, were still. He was with the Cowboys. 
22. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah, so, for, for just yeah, a minute until he got Kobe. injured or something happened. And he, and he comes back and still plays. And Davis, he still right? does what he does. Yeah, it was wild to see them. So, I mean, him being around. And I mentioned it yesterday, Bo, uh, and, and you alluded to it, him being a tight end in college. I think how uh, that, that coaching staff that recognized this guy's got something. We're, he's not going to be a tight end in the end. We're going to put him here. And look how he flourished, I mean, to, to do what he did. Yeah, nine-time Pro Bowler, a really incredible story. And there's a lot, you know, there's there's a lot of stories like that, but not where you hang around in the NFL. Yeah. And, and that's what he's doing. He could well, have quit the, ten years and, ago. And then the other thing with Ryan Mallett, I, you know, this, this was the year of losing Razorbacks. Remember, we lost Ryan Mallett, we lost Alex Collins, we lost uh, Charles Ballantyne, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all young, mm. relatively young guys, and just you know, it's amazing how we hold up sports figures. That you may not know personally, but you've heard their name, you watch, you've cheered for them, and all of a sudden, Alex Collins is what thirty-two. Yeah, and it's when a fifty-year-old same way, yeah. young, young guy, and you know, fifty, sixty-year-old man uh, goes back to being ten when they yeah. see their sports uh, uh, icon. Did you have much time around Mallet, uh, Bo? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, just doing uh, storytelling and, and covering the Razorbacks um, when, when Mallet was there. I mean. What an arm! Yeah. Uh, what, but but you know I think what people didn't realize until he was gone was just what kind of football IQ he had. And yeah. I, you yeah. know I heard Tyler mention that earlier, and, and and other people have talked about it over the years. But you know Mallet kind of sometimes came off um, to people like he maybe wasn't right. that smart for whatever reason, but brilliant football mind. And you know what he was doing at Whitehall as a coach was was pretty remarkable too. I mean, yeah, he's a yeah. football guy. He's yeah. to have a football coach. I mean, still just hard to imagine him not being here. Um, but like that arm talent was. I don't know if you'll ever see anything quite like that at Arkansas again. Well, it's funny you bring that up, uh, uh, Taylor Green. A lot of people said that's you know. Sort of reminded them of Mallet because he's so tall in the pocket. He's a six six. I mean, he and Mallet are around the same height, and and uh, yeah. I, I don't know if he's got the Mallet arm, but he's he's got a he really got an impressive he's got an impressive arm strength. And the one thing different than him and Mallet is that this kid runs a lot faster than Ryan. Ah, Ryan okay. was right. You didn't want Ryan tucking and running it. He was not your guy that was going to yeah. pick up no. five or ten yards. No, so he knew it. <laughs> he did know it. Uh, before we let you I, go, I remember yeah. though sitting. Yeah, go ahead. Sitting in the press box watching Mallet, like right when Petrino really started taking off. Mm-hmm. And you probably remember this. Like, Mallet would throw the ball, and it felt like he was going to throw it out of the stadium. Yeah. And he would throw it so high and so deep, and Greg Childs would just go running down the field and somehow catch up with it. I mean, it was just wild yeah. to watch him throw deep balls. Yeah, it was uh, it was impressive. All those folks will be honored tonight. We'll visit with Terry Connor Johnson a little bit later about the all the names going in. D three text line says uh, Matt Jones has said that Jason Peters was the best athlete he'd ever played with. He said he's never seen anyone yeah. that size catch an alley oop. Uh, yeah, I've never seen yeah. a guy run like him. Yeah. Though I, I've always told the story. I, I showed up at practice one day and said, "Who is that dude running with the running backs and quarterbacks at six three two two sixty? He goes, it's a tight end named Jason Peters. I'll never forget it. And uh, I played with Steve Atwater, who I consider probably one of the greatest athletes that I've ever played with. But I think Peters is right up there with him in terms of just athleticism. So right. tell yeah, me how Matt, Matt yeah. Jones saying that. Statement. Yeah, that's I mean, right. Matt yeah, Jones sure. Good yeah, that's right. I've never played with Arkansas, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, tell me how old you are without telling you how old you are. Uh, I saw Jason Peters <laughs> play high school football. Yeah. Uh, Queen City and yeah. Atlanta, Texas, that? going up against each uh, other. Because you, yeah. you, you, you've got family down there. My oldest right. boy played against him, yeah. Uh, before we let you go, Bo, uh, so uh, I was noticing today that Reba McIntyre, there's a story about her and her boyfriend, uh, and her boyfriend has a nickname for her. He calls her Tater Tot. Mm-hmm. Uh, apparently, they went to a uh, wine bar, and she ordered Tater Tot, so that's what stuck. So I was just wondering your dating life and your married life and all that. Has there ever What's been a, a pet name? There's ever been a yeah pet name or nickname yeah. that either Bo Bobo, that, either that she calls you or that you would call your significant other. Sweet Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Ro- Rogers is love lover. Uh, you know what? Roger, you guys, Ro- Rogers is, guys, is love lover. <laughs> you guys, you guys love just laying all the traps. Stay <laughs> straight. Set you up Day with straight, all Come this on. sports Let talk, and then boom. Let me hear it. Give What's me something. Give me name? something. What is it? I, I don't. Uh, I don't have anything. Stop it. Stop well, it. I'm going to do some investigating, my friend. You're sugar bear, son. I've, I've already told Roger, my my, my, girl, my girlfriend, uh, we, we figured out not a long time ago, I was never going to be your sugar daddy. So 
I am sugar cube. Sugar yeah. cube. Uh, my my, sugar my cube. financial level is sugar cube, and I, of course Roger. Well, is my, love yeah, her. I mean, on your phone, uh, my, uh, it's it's sweetie. Uh, to my yes. wife, what I call my wife, I call her sweetie, or I, I or I use the Yule Brenner from uh, 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 Ten Commandments, my sweets. My sweets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you have a name that you call your wife he, a pet he's, name he's or not, even on not, your phone? He's not giving Come it up. On, he's not giving it up. Let us inside, Bo. <laughs> Let us inside. I really don't have any. I really don't have anything good. Where my mind went was when I was like 13, 14 years old, and I was playing in a church softball league. And they called me Tiny. <laughs> well, Roger understands that. Shut up! <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. Well, Bo, I, tell, I, tell, I tell you what we're going to do, Bo. So, everybody, 661-1037. Let's give Bo, what, what would Bo's uh, lover name be for uh, for his significant Bo, other? Bo's lover name. Yeah, we want Bo, Bo's lover name. You might not want to keep listening. <laughs> we'll see what oh, we, we, can, yeah. we, we can see what That's we can come it. up with, Bo. And Tiny's is high. come up with my own. <laughs> You better hurry. <laughs> uh, all right, buddy. Thanks for being with us. Have thanks, a great Bo. weekend. See you guys. See you. I uh, do want to uh, thank UAMS Orthopedics and Sports Medicine for sponsoring Bo. we got to mention, too, Justin Moore um, is not on, on concert tour this weekend because he's got a, a, a concert okay. Sunday night, the oh, private man. one for all the folks. And uh, Coffin by Designer, Coffin Lumber, is a sponsor of that event the next day, the 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 golf, they're well, big, thank big you. supporter. Yeah, thank you very much. Now the uh, uh, it's not open. The concert's not open. No, it's to the not. Public, yeah, right? that's a private so where is it? night. It's a, that's at the, the, the hall. Yeah, but you got to pay to get in. You know what? I say people show up anyway. You, you know what? You can get a ticket, and then the golf tournament will be broadcasting live Monday. The question is, we, uh, Josh, will we do back-to-back golf tournaments with Justin Moore Monday and John Daly in Nashville Tuesday? We don't know yet. We're it's a pending decision. It is a pending no, decision. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's, 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 it's less than fifty yes. percent. It's less than fifty because then we have to come back after the tournament. That's what we do, and then go. That's to, what we do, uh, Roger Wednesday. Scott. I know, I know, <laughs> but it's tough driving a marked vehicle that long. All right, without stepping on toes. We'll uh, check our so, text line six six one one zero three seven. Can we get checked to drive us? D three Auto. I want to thank them for sponsoring that. It's seven thirty here, morning mayhem. Kevin Kelly joins the zone each Wednesday presented by Winter Rock Athletic Club. The indoor pickleball facility is now open. Join the club today and save 30% off joining fees. This is Sports Center. Tonight, the field of 16 teams for the 2024 NBA playoffs will be set after a pair of play-in games. First at 6 o'clock on ESPN, it's the Miami Heat and the Chicago Bulls. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the East, the Boston Celtics. The Heat will be without Jimmy Butler tonight. In the Western Conference at 8.30, it's the Sacramento Kings on the road against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans will be without star forward Zion Williamson. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the Western Conference, the Oklahoma City Thunder. The NBA playoffs officially tip off tomorrow afternoon. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center. Buzz weather with KARK's Pat Walker. A stray shower is still going to be possible today. We'll have a cloudy sky and much cooler. We'll see temperatures only to the mid to upper 60s. Tonight it stays cloudy, about a 20% chance of a shower. And still a little cooler. We'll drop down to around 52 degrees overnight. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. Riverfront Steakhouse Special, dinner for two for $60. 10 ounce filet, fried shrimp, two sides, and our famous salad bar. Only $60. Good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. What's up, everyone? It's Christian Weaver for The Zone. On Friday, Justin, DJ, and I will all be in the same studio for the first time this week. We'll be joined by Nancy Holtis, thanks to the Gangster Museum of America, to talk about what's going on down in Oakland. Tom Murphy will come on in the second hour to talk about all things Arkansas sports. Then we'll talk to UCA basketball commit Lane Taylor. In the final hour, Philip Martin will come in to tell us what movies to watch this weekend. It's all that and much more. Friday in The Zone, where sports and entertainment come crashing together. 
Hey, folks, it's David Basil out here at Fletcher Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sherwood. It's Ram Truck Month, and Fletcher Dodge has big discounts on new Rams. Up to $11,000 off new Ram 2500s and up to $10,000 off new half-ton Ram. But that's not all. They've got 0% financing on new Ram Bighorns for 72 months. Or how about $10,000 off new Jeep Gladiators? And they have new 2024 Jeep Compass 4x4s for only $424 a month with zero down and no gimmicks. They're getting new inventory every week, so come in and let them know what you're looking for. They're ready to make you a deal on a new Dodge Chrysler Jeep or Ram. And don't worry about your credit. If other dealers have told you no, come see their credit professionals at Fletcher Dodge and let them help you get into a new vehicle to get you to work or school. For the best selection, lowest price, and best buying experience, go see my friends at Fletcher Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sherwood. Or you can shop online at FletcherDeals.com. It's Ram Truck Month and Fletcher Dodge has big discounts on new Rams. Red Tape. One in three businesses will get caught up in it, and they'll be penalized by the IRS for mismanaging their payroll. Because when you're handling payroll, HR compliance, and those constantly changing tax laws, that red tape can get sticky in a hurry. At the payroll company, we free you from that tangled mess and get you back to business. The payroll company. Less headaches, more than payroll. Visit morethanpayroll.com to learn more. Tackle your outdoor projects with Greenway Equipment's Lawn Patrol Package. Handling is effortless with the John Deere 1023 East Twin Touch Foot Controls with a hydrostatic transmission and four-wheel drive with power steering. The 60D Driveover Auto Connect Belly Mower makes mowing easy. And the 120R Quick Park Loader is perfect for dirt moving and mulching projects. With 0% APR for 84 months and a six-year powertrain warranty, it's a deal you can't miss. For more information, head to your local Greenway or visit GoGreenway.com. With approved credit, see dealer for details. Want to see our beautiful faces? Catch Morning Mayhem streaming live every day on YouTube, X, and Facebook. Just search 1037 The Buzz. Justin, get your ass up there and sing me a 10 win season. <laughs> hey, I'll sing all damn year if, if we win 10 games. I promise you. Five guys be waiting on me. Yeah, pow. Can we mark the tape on this? <laughs> Uh, man, 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 man. That's Justin Moore. I think Justin's really infatuated with uh, uh, Coach Cal. I think he really wants to. Uh, he, 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 I think he's just really. I'm gonna be honest that. with you. He wants him to call the Hawks. Is what he wants him to do. <laughs> he is exactly. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not so sure that Justin hadn't sent him a a, a direct message pick. Somebody says uh, Lee Singer of Journey is Filipino, not Japanese. Roger, come I'm on, I'm sorry. Man. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I don't follow him that much. Uh, other NFL Hall of Famers with Arkansas ties. Thanks to Tom McCog, uh, Don Hudson. Lance Allworth, Cortez right. Kennedy, and Bill Berge. Although Bill's not from Arkansas, Cortez. Lance was from Mississippi. Cortez was from Arkansas. Right, right, right. Don Hudson was from Arkansas. Don Hudson so, was from uh, Arkansas. Those are good ones. Uh, I do uh, want to thank everybody, Roger, yeah. again yesterday um, for the trip down to the Star, uh, Wright Lindsay and Jennings Law Firm, and then uh, Greg Hatcher and Simmons Bank. And it was a great day being a part of the Cliff Harris Ward down there. Great concert last night. I'm telling you, it was, even though I'm not a huge Skinner fan, and I really am not a fake Skinner uh, fan. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was really good and a lot of fun. It was great to see a lot of our listeners there last night. It was some, made me want to get out and listen to it some more. I, I, you know, you know, you know, know what? There's, when you listen to some of that Skinner and you listen to uh, uh, the guitar, if you close your eyes, you I, I'm thinking for you, you What's might that? be able to feel some of that humidity. Uh, that's down in that area with some with a little sticky. Too bad down uh, in Florida. Well, because well because of, the yeah, Florida boys, all that, yeah, those because are all of that music. Thirty eight special. Go, that's where they're from. Uh, Almond Brothers, all so, those yeah, guys from Jacksonville. You can feel it. Um, we are here at <laughs> Coffee by Design West. If you want to be a part of the show, six six one one zero three seven. Uh, we've got the we've got two Wartmans. We've got the junior and the senior, yeah. and both play ball for the Razorbacks. Steve well, big. Steve Wartman played with, with me, and Justin Wartman played uh, under Bobby Petrino. Were you surprised, Justin, when uh, when Petrino got got, got the opportunity to come back? Yes. Yeah. Originally, I, I I didn't know how that would be received. Yeah. But, um, yeah. With with Petrino's offensive mind and and the desperation that, um, you know, filling that filling that void for the OC, um, I think it was necessary. Did you Did you walk on? Or did you receive a scholarship? Which Which did you? Did you I was a walk on. It. Yeah. At, how How were you treated as a walk on up there? Was it Was it? It was know, fair. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, sometimes fair. Roger, over the years, you know, some programs are better than others in dealing with yep. walk ons yep. and the way coaches treat you and the way players treat you. I always, are you Are you expendable? Is uh, that what you're saying? Well, I always the way I always looked at it is if if there was a walk on, I always tell people 
you better treat if you're like a team captain or a starter you better treat that walk on just like he's a, a, a starter because you know what that's what you're supposed to do it and, and one of these days that that uh, and this will actually happen one of these days that walk on may be hiring you and then there was actually a story i'm not gonna say who it was that that i know a walk on that had the opportunity to hire a guy that was an all-conference player later in life and yeah. so that's and that's what you hope you have respect from all your teammates yeah you definitely i mean i think that when you go into it with a walk-on mentality um you have to really love that program yeah well and, and you, really you, you came from cabot so you were tough yeah. i mean you came from a program that's tough nose and dealing with a tough coach yeah. like coach malhan absolutely and i had you know the opportunity to play at a few other schools but I wanted to be a Razorback. I love, I love yeah. that. Yeah, and instead of you know, you have the opportunity to, get to be, even get a scholarship to other schools, yeah. but you choose to walk on. And I, I you know, I value that. I, think I that, value that a lot that he wanted to be a Razorback. Yeah, I think there's a, in, in this day and age of portal, that's what we're saying about some of our, and, and, and more prominently the basketball players because there's there's one and dunners that are coming in from out of state, and then they're in and out. They don't value being a Razorback. They value come and do a program for whatever reason and moving on to the next one. Got no problem with it. Right. That's what you want to do, but you value being yeah, a Yeah, it was, it was like uh, the transition period between the Nut Crew going to Ole yeah, Miss. Yeah, yeah. Love James Shebest. Yeah. Who, uh, who yeah, my teammate. Yeah. Yeah, right. uh, love Coach Nut. The, really the reason that kept me in Arkansas outside of being uh, – wanting to follow my dad, really, and be, yeah. be a Razorback right. was Tim Horton. Yeah. Great guy. Um, Tim Horton stayed and was he came down to Cabot, presented me, hey, this is this is what we got. I know you have, you know, old Miss coming too, but we'd love you to stay in state. Are you and you're glad you did? And I'm yeah. very pleased that I did. Yeah, you, had, you got to wear the as you know, we're saying you got to wear the hog, man. You if, you go, the hog. if you go to our cameras, you can see uh, Justin's helmet. Really uh sort of space age looking, Roger, compared to what mine look you look like. Oh, and yeah. uh it's always cool when you can put that up there and say that was your helmet. No, now no. listen, I don't know, we're we're out here, you know, when you when you schedule to have us out here. Did you know that you were going to have a dude out cooking fried eggs in your front, in your front door? Fried I mean, egg sandwiches. Yeah. yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> so, for those who just tuned in, Chuck Gatlin. that up? Chuck, I don't know. Chuck Gatlin is uh, is our promo guy. He's out there cooking fried egg sandwiches for free. Petty Jean Bologna. Yeah, Petty Jean Bologna. If you want to go out there and try one, you can. We did, They're good. We They're did, good. I did this with Stanley back when we were competing against you and Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we called it Stanley's Friday Egg Friday. And we'd go around and we'd cook fried eggs. And, and people would come up and, and get them. So, but, but, you know, with Chuck's reputation, that may... They hurt him a little bit. I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, the uh, The other thing uh, here in this store, you basically, I, I love your one of your your sayings. You can build it from the floor up with Kaufman. Yes, it would be Kaufman Lumber, which has been around since the fifties on yeah. Asher. That thing's still there, Roger. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. And then I remember. Look, I told you, remember the commercial. Oh the yeah, dude you, with the, Have uh, you ever seen those commercials that Roger that. was talking about? No, I haven't. No, well, I, let me hear the. Let me hear which one. I can't tell you. I, I don't know what the slogans were, but uh, it was a dude that it, it, it was real easy. If you called the Kaufman guy, you could be in a tuxedo. Yeah. You're ready to do whatever because Kaufman took care of everything. Yeah. Is what it was. So, and, and I remember that. Yeah, that was uh, again going way before your time. Your dad bought uh, this 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 company. I don't know what was it. Uh, Ninety five, I think. Yeah. yeah not, so he kept the name Kaufman. Kept the name Kaufman. Skinner. <laughs> kept the name Kaufman. What's crazy about Smart your dad? Move, what's what's crazy? What I'm saying. Your, da- knew. your dad was just working here. He, 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 in other words, at the time before he bought this, he he was not in in at that level to be able, but he to buy this thing. But I guess after a few years, he had the opportunity. He did. And and, yep. fa- and and made the choice, and and obviously you guys are flourishing. He needed something for you to do. And this, listen, That's this correct, yeah. this store has absolutely everything in it. I mean, there's nothing. Chips. <laughs> I see some uh, uh, USB cords right there from DeWalt right there. Are those for actual? Or will they be for phones, or will they be for actual tools to no, charge up? They're DeWalt's into everything, including NASCAR, I guess now too. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Um, they're for your phone. Okay, yeah, very good. I did, okay, very good. I didn't know that. If, because there, so many things are electric now, and there's something yeah. like that uh, flashlight you said was yeah. a chargeable. Yeah. Oh right? yes. Yeah. Hey, like speaking of flashlights, guys, I brought you guys something here. A what? Oh, oh, oh my God! They've been eyeing these things since y'all got oh, here. Oh my gosh! Dude, wow! It's thing? the Nebo Da Vinci. The it's Nebo the Nebo da Vinci. 18, 18,000 lumens. That when right. you get over when you get over fifteen thousand lumens, you better watch out. Well, you, well, you know what this is going to do now, don't you? What? Going to be on the backyard all night. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. So that this, is very well. Oh, so you guys nice. have a, all. I mean, this this thing weighs about ten pounds. I mean, it, it is a, uh, a, a high end uh, yes. flashlight. Oh, it is indeed. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. It, uh, what are they, guys? So it's well, a it is a flashlight. What, how do you, what would you, how would you get describe that it? Right there, Justin, it's like a like a newer form of a mag light. Yeah, it's heavy. It's long. It's what you see. Maybe law enforcement. With there it, it on camera. There, there it is. Put it uh, on the camera. Here we go. I mean, it's heavy Boom. too. It's look what it did to the. Look what it did to the thing. Well, you know.
you know what hit me the other day? I mean, you need to have one in your house, and, and if you don't, this is a – but anyway, this is a line you guys carry. Yes. And, and uh, you're walking around the store, and you find – I mean, you guys have bikes. I mean, are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, you, obviously you have uh, vans, lawnmowers. Uh, uh, you, what, you, what was Roger talking about? Roger wanted to buy one of the big, your big garbage. Have you seen the kids' toys over here? We've got uh, Josh for you. We'll get some su- t- kids' toys for yeah, Josh. Go look at that. That's nice. Well, I'm <laughs> glad you guys got flashlights. So you won't fall on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and well, there you go. Look, there it is. There's the charge. There's the oh, charge. Nice. The charge yes, right there. Nice. I love that. That is. A, I was gonna look at the toy. Uh, patio furniture, outdoor grills, a, a big green egg, all those things. Right. It's. It, you know we. Nice. When I think about, you know, kind of what we want to carry in here, we want to keep it quality product, obviously, yeah. right? But a lot of it, just what I want, what, 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 you know, you learn over the years, not just what your customers want, but like, hey, I think that's what cool. would like you a, like? Yeah, exactly, absolutely. And if it's if it's reasonable, you bring it well, in and see how it does. Yeah, it, it's also called Coffin by Design West because you guys have experts that will help you if you're doing a house redesign yeah. or a room redesign. That's what you guys could do. That's correct. Yeah, we've we've actually got a girl in the field now that will come. You know, oh, that's on cool. site with you. So Very you can, nice. Because so, in the showroom is one thing. When you put them out in the field. They'll actually come to your place. You yeah. can see it, and, and that really is helpful. Lighting, flooring, hardware, home interior, Thanks all those things. All those things. Yeah. Thank well, thank you, you so much, Justin, for yeah, this delight, man. That very, is awesome. Very I cool. Can't wait. You know what? It, it's like, it's like uh, 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 your pistols. Hope you never have to use them, yeah, but that's... if you got, if, but if you if you need to, you got you got the best. Have you ever know, have you ever gone up to your house and just you just sort of you didn't tell your dad you were coming over and you found him walking around in his old Razorback uh, uniform? Does he ever do that? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. The, with his jersey <laughs> and his shoulder. I would back. I would love that though. I wonder if he's got his stuff. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I still have my helmet. And I don't think I, I don't even know if it could. You have anymore. your mouthpiece. I have my mouth. The yeah. mouthpiece that I had in 1985 is still on that helmet. He found it about five, six years ago. <laughs> gave it to RJ. RJ put it in his mouth. RJ oh, did no. do and that. And there was still he? grit in it. <laughs> from I still, some dirt. I, I still have the marks on my helmet from the Arizona State game, my last game as a collegiate player. Uh, isn't that crazy? Yes. And uh, of course, you know, look, the helmets are your so. Necro, you got your neck row? The hell? Oh, oh. Whew, that goes. The helmets are so much nicer now. Look, look at the broke his look, look at the padding there, Raj. Look at oh that. no, yours yours was just uh, a, yeah. just a. We cover. actually yeah. had uh, straps, uh, oh, canvas wow. straps, uh, and suspension helmets back in the seventies when I was a young kid. It's amazing that we can even spell today. Are you glad you had that protection? Did you get hit hard enough one time? You go, my gosh, if I didn't have that one's pretty clean. But yeah, there's there is a couple stories I could go into with that. Did you like the white helmet with the red hog like this, or do you, you like? The I always like. I, I thought the all white uniforms were really cool. Yeah, and I did the other. Did you that see Ro- special, yeah. Roger yeah. noticed on the uh, on the. Uh, on the, on the game, the scrimmage the other day, the red and white, the quarterbacks wearing all black. I mean, and it looked pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Uniform. I mean, I, I, there's there was a, a black helmet at one time. I kind of dug the all black. Yeah. If they I, did the black helmet one time, I'm still a. a we don't a, like a, a we don't purist. like the anthrax. Do we like black better than the anthracite? Uh, totally. Or if you don't 100%. if you don't if you don't like if you don't like the anthracite, you're not gonna like the black. I, like I don't the know. Bla- no, I do. I like the black because when I saw the anthracite, it was the sugar bowl. Yeah, uh, uh, and it to me it looked like Ohio State after that point with right. some of those colors. No, yeah. uh, and the anthracite I did not care too much for that. Do you have? What do you have your jersey? Do you have it hanging up anywhere? It's in the office. Well, the Sugar Bowl jersey is in there. Very, oh, very oh, nice. Oh, wow. Of you know, you know, so you played with Officer with DJ? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We were there. We were there. We were there. What is the one thing you say about that game? Wait, uh, scoop, scoop and, score. and score. score. Everybody says the same thing. Scoop and score. Because and now, of course, I look yeah. back and go, you know what? Maybe they shouldn't have let those. Uh, uh, guys play after all. Hey, you know? Oh, that's Julian right. Horton will never live that down. What's that? What's that? What's that now? That the, the player who should have scooped yeah. the score. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Josh, uh, Josh, Arkansas had a had, it right there had the chance to beat Ohio State, which would have been what 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 we would have ended up that year record wise. What would it have been? You remember? Because you lost eleven and one or eleven and two. Le- yeah, Something I mean that was that. Oh, yeah, wow. And then the next year you come back, you win eleven games. The next yes. year yes. was that now? Which Bowl? that was Cotton Bowl. Sure, sure, yeah, Sugar Bowl. You I guess. know who did beat Ohio State in the Sugar Bowl? Uh, boo! Yeah, boo! Somebody, somebody said. Oh, right, here it is. Six six one one zero oh, three seven. Let Josh have it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, did you see the the uh, text line text about the stadium? I did. I, I don't get it. What makes it look like a Waffle House? I missed it. Uh, just the, red, the 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 golden black. And you're, <laughs> you're, putting up, you're putting up like 
I guess they're making it look more like a stadium stadium, you could yes. say. Yes. Not as open. And yes. so it looks like now like a restaurant. <laughs> like a Waffle I House. I love it. I love it. We were worried. Hey, come to the Waffle House and get easy wins. All right, Ben? Well, hey, listen, we, we've House been there, there for 10 years and hadn't gotten a win, Dad Gummit. Just Chuck says we were wearing the Anthracite unis with, with red helmets when we beat Florida in Yeah, I remember that. 31 to 10. I remember that. I don't hate those uniforms as much as anyone else. I dig the white helmet. I like that. Anthracite, I just wasn't. Yeah. I wasn't Go crazy black. about it. It. Back in black. Uh, I think black, uh, again. Yeah, look at all those quarterbacks. It's a one-off. One-off. You know? It's a one-off. One-off. It's almost like, you know, Leonard Skinner. One-off. One-off. <laughs> what would we say? Leonard Skinner, a dupe. Uh, uh, it, it's a, 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 a foe. Foe Skinner. <laughs> foe Skinner. F-A-U-X foe. All right. It is a 746 live here at Coffin by Design. West will visit with Terry Neither. Gunner Johnson about uh, the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. Coming up, we'll visit with Danny West. Danny said there's some new recruits he's got to mention today. Heather Baker I also gives us a weekend their names. rundown. I know. Oh, yes. All right. Six, four, uh, 745 rather on Morning Mayhem. Roger Scott for Family Markets. Are you tired of the same old grocery store experience? Then it's time to switch things up and shop at the neighborhood family markets in Pangburn, Malvern, and Shannon Hills. Our stores offer a unique shopping experience where we know our customers by name and offer a wide selection of fresh, locally sourced meats and produce. And you can even grab you a hot cup of community coffee while you're there. On selected items, you can mix and match any five items for only $24.99. And if you're a Valero Gasoline customer, store points on your Family Markets reward card and redeem them at the pump to lower your price per gallon at select stores. At your neighborhood family markets, we're committed to providing a personalized shopping experience that's focused on our customers. So come on down and see why we're the best choice for your grocery needs. With fresh food, great deals, and friendly service, we're sure you're going to love shopping at the neighborhood family markets. So come on, stop by today and check us out. We're the family markets with stores located in Pangburn, Malvern, and Shannon Hills. The way grocery shopping is supposed to be. Family markets. Only Saracen Casino gives away a brand new car every month. And not just any cars, but the hottest cars on the road. Like for April, a Porsche 718 Boxster from Gossip Porsche in Memphis. You need to be driving a super cool Porsche Roadster, and you can. It's easy. Just play your favorite casino games and rack up entries, but only at Saracen Casino Resort. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Gambling problem? Call 800 Gambler. Congo Fireplace and Patio, Arkansas's premier casual outdoor furniture store, is having their huge spring sale. With Arkansas's largest selection of outdoor furniture, there's no better time to stop by and save on name brand dining groups, seating groups, chaises, gliders, bar and counter sets, with new collections arriving daily. Plus, Congo always has the best selection of grills and ceramic smokers in the state. The spring sale is going on now at Congo. Family owned and operated for over 100 years. Shop local and feel the difference. Congo Fireplace and Patio, I-30 Bed. The Can-Am sales event is in full swing at all Bradford Marine and ATV locations. 2022 Riker Rally Motorcycles with up to $2,000 in discounts and financing as low as 1.99%. Always ride responsibly and safely and observe applicable rules. Remember that riding and alcohol and drugs don't mix. Do you recycle? Sure you do. Or you'd like to. Recycling is easy because you don't have to separate recyclable material. We'll do that for you. Just throw it in the cart. Loose. No bagging. To do recycling right, you need to know what should go in your cart and what shouldn't. To learn more, go to MyDoRight.com. At MyDoRight.com, we'll show you how to do recycling right. Do right and do it the right way. Hi, I'm Hunter Bell from Bell Chevrolet, and I want to tell you the real reason it's better at Bell. Our people, our family, and our community that drives us to be the best. We're proud to offer our biggest inventory and lowest prices on every single vehicle from the all-new Silverado to the all-electric Chevy Equinox. We're going to find you the perfect vehicle with a buying experience like nowhere else. Our commitment is to you every day. Shop Bell Chevrolet and bellchevrolet.com today. Together, let's drive. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. 
Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. See Dan Cook in North Little Rock, Steve Fisher in Stuttgart, or Jay Vandover in Little Rock. Rock out with American style sushi experience founded on great food, true love, and rock and roll. Rock and roll sushi. Deliciously twisted flavors and a rock and roll vibe that'll blow your mind. Rockandrollsushi.com. Now with six locations in Arkansas. Tune in each week when Susan Irwin Prowl shares her keys to the weekend music events calendar with Justin and DJ. Brought to you by Willie D's and Big Red Dog Productions. Big Red Dog Productions is your gateway to music excellence in Central Arkansas and beyond. Visit entertainersguide.com to see the weekly calendar and submit your shows. This is Miss Arkansas Corey Keller, and you're listening to Morning Mayhem on 1037 The Bus. Josh's parents, good morning. Hey, Josh, your mother and I were out on the catamaran sipping on a martini made with the tears of homeless people and thought about you for a second before we headed back to the shore for the oyster bake to the Vanderbilts, you loser. That's awesome. Come swim! <laughs> Come swim! Nope, it's not Will Ferrell anymore. It's, it's Justin, Justin Moore! <laughs> That is, uh, our man, J.M. How about that? I'm By the way, you. speaking of Will Ferrell, somebody said, Roger, you sound like Will Ferrell a few minutes ago when you said uh, you could feel the humidity down in down in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, Plum. you could feel it. Yeah, play that one when you can, Joshua. Uh, also, uh, does Frank own a Chevy dealership? Does he? Um, in, in Missouri, I think he probably does. Uh, if I you're still not, not here in Arkansas. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what Arkansas. Just call over there and ask them. They, they maybe can find the vehicle for you. Uh, we're here at Coffee by Design West. Um, we're talking, we're asking too, what is the, uh, what is, what is the little names you, you call your significant, significant other? Bobby I still Joe, think you're holding out. Bobby said, Bobby Joe says, wife used to call me big 10. Now she just calls me tiny too. Um, all right. So here, uh, Josh, what do we have to give away? Do we have anything? Uh, I would need to go. Let Chuck, me do we have anything? Chuck, do we have anything? Do we, we have the do prize we... closet right here. Avid brothers. Avid brothers. <laughs> the old Avid brothers. I don't know. Don't don't you have another Do pair have, of uh, Florida baseball tickets? What is it? Two, oh, tickets is to the Florida game? Tickets, man, is it two pairs? Or, uh, well, the twenty-seven. What did you say? God, do we? I don't know. Do we? Do, Josh, did he, we gave we gave away one pair this week, Chuck. Are there two? Yes, we, we gave away to one pair already. Have three pairs. Well, right. We better uh, move on. We the twenty-seventh game. Why don't we go Corkies? <laughs> <laughs> we, we know do, we do, got do, we do Corkies. Let's do a Corky. Okay, here we go. And we'll figure so, out what we got. So for a gift certificate, Corkies, I'm getting ready to hold up something Thank in front you. of the camera. Uh, I'll be the first person that responds if you want to win this Corkies and tell me what toy that we're holding up uh, from Coffee by Design. Right, it is, okay, it is so cool. Ready? Right. I'm holding first you. one to call. First one to text. To text. First one. Six six one one zero three. Let me go on here. Let me see where we are. If you want to win the, if you want to win the, uh, the uh, uh, Corky certificate, right? And you get what? Are you going to push it? Pull it up? I'm and pull it, it down? down. I'm going to pull it up. Then I'll push it down. What's it? Want me to count? Yeah. What? Three, two, one. There it is, right there. Take a look. What? That Roger would have loved this to be a kid and have one of these. It is. Uh, it is a small. I'm sixty, and I still it's want small, one. Small, and it makes it makes noise with. Put better. it down. Yeah, that's it. All right. All right. Very good. Six six one one zero three. How cool is that? Are you it, kidding the, me? The blade even goes around. Yeah. Yep. You, I know. Watch it. Uh, so I'm sure somebody's already texted us by then. Uh, coming up here shortly, we'll find out. Look who, at the all, safety. Uh, I know. They have a safety on it. They, they have they have a, a, a weed, weed eater and a, and a, and a, a blower. Blowers, they have all those things. They're fantastic. A couple of things, Roger. It's National Cat Lady Day. <laughs> yes. Uh, you, you don't like the cat lady, do you? The guy the office talks like a cat. You know what? He, he just, the, the guy in the office that talks like a cat just texted me, and he said he wanted to do something. Uh, for you and Josh, because he was there last night yes, with you. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so, uh, that's uh, uh, Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> Josh, I don't even have to say mark the tape. That is uh, that goes on the board right there. Thanks, guy. Uh, it's also, so National Hanging Out Day. Do you like to hang out? I don't know if I, I'm, I'm so busy. I never like. I, I just never hang out very much. Well, you well you, you're always uh, uh, with that thing right there, and everybody yeah, knows true. it it's now. Ridiculous. It's attached to you. It's also National Dance Week. What is your go-to dance move, Rob? Dude, I sent you a couple of IGs. I wish I could tap dance. I always yeah, wanted I know, to tap dance. I know. Yeah. Those two guys I think that you should I do it for Oakland. I think you should do it for Oakland. I could do it. My go-to dance. Uh. Uh. 
But I, I, <laughs> I think it's a box. I, mean, I think it's, it's more boxes. Yeah, there. It's more boxes. There. Uh, also, get some. Get some. It's also yeah. National Clean Out Your Medicine Cabinet Day. If you've got kids, it's something you ought to do too, and uh, get some of the drugs that maybe you have in your uh, in your cabinet that you haven't gotten rid of. Um, I want to mention too, Arkansas is at South Carolina uh, yeah. tonight, six o'clock. So uh, obviously, number two, Arkansas, uh, picking up two good wins against Texas Tech this weekend. You got the Razorback women hosting number 15, Alabama, on the hill. Other uh, big news, Kenny Payne, who was fired at Louisville, is yeah. going to be on the coach of, staff of Coach Cal. He's been with you for 10 years, recruited yeah. a ton of NBA yeah. players. Yeah. Yeah. And so I think that's a good hire for him. Absolutely. Uh, they are the gymnastic team's over. The, the Razorback gymnastic team, the season's over yeah, with. And thanks they, to Rebecca. When I mentioned the pommel horse, she, 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 she uh, kindly oh, let me know, hey, girls don't have pommel horses. <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, neither did I. Didn't I didn't think about it. Why not? But thank why goodness. Why don't the girls for, have pommel uh, horses? Rebeccapedia. Why don't the, the women have pommel horses? Because it's not. Uh, Josh, because, do you know why? Yes, I because it wouldn't are. look it wouldn't look ladylike if they were on it. Is there anything in, in, from, from an anatomy standpoint? Yeah, that from would anatomy. Make, that, would it that, make it difficult? Well, I don't think that. I don't think. I, I, I don't think, want to be like the guy who said you can't swing a golf club because you're a woman and he got fired from the broadcast. But well, no, no. I just think that it, there might be something. It's not ladylike to be able to do the palm horse because you're spreading your legs. I stuff. think so. Even though now that I think about it, <laughs> is that what you're but you don't have junk. Right, six, they six, don't six, have one. the junk to damage. <laughs> do gymnastics? Do gym guys wear uh, uh, cups? Not, not a cup. They, I'm sure they would have it packed in. Oh. They'd, have, they'd have it tight. They'd have it tied. Okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know if women. I don't be. know. If, why don't? Well, that's a good question. Why don't women have the? Why don't they perform on the pommel horse? I don't know. I, you I, don't I, know I, what the pommel horse is, uh, Josh? No. You don't. That's shocking. If somebody with your sports knowledge, you don't know what the pommel horse is. But they have the ball. I don't know. Yeah. Wait, Wait a minute. Ball. Have the, that listen. Don't. No, they walk pommel, on the beam, pommel, but they are, have we ever seen woman on the pommel? Maybe is it pommel or pommel? Is it pommel? Is it, is it pommel? It's a pommel. <laughs> you say hey, pommel, pommel, pommel. Pommel is one of the most difficult uh, the, the ones there is besides the rings. Yes. The rings are number one. Because the rings, they said, what are we going to do with them rings up there? Put them on this beam. <laughs> yeah, the, the pommel horse. Pommel? Pommel. Pommel, pommel horse. Pommel. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's one of the more difficult. Well, why can't oh. women do it? Are they oh. not strong enough? It's the upper body strength, I bet. Is that what it is? I bet. You said it, not me. I'm just saying. You said Caitlin Clark could do it. Yeah, he could do it. If she had to... I could do it. <laughs> Somebody said, "Well, women do balance beam." Yeah. Okay, why, why well, they, do they do that. Pommel horse? Guys do balance beam. No, they don't. No, they don't. They don't walk across a <laughs> balance no, beam. Because why? Because it looks it, too effeminate. It, it does. It does. You said it, not me. <laughs> it's too high uh, for uh, me uh, anyway. Uh, do, hey, do we have a winner, uh, Josh? I'm glad the hour's ending. Do we, we do have, have a winner. <laughs> eight, eight, oh, here's one. Small and makes noise. Eight it's eight Roger. Roger. <laughs> it's dogs for fresh style, and you can find it at Sissy's Log Cabin. Their selection truly has everything for anyone at a range of price points. Shop the latest trends from designers like David Yerman, Lagos, and Roberto Coin. Browse timepieces from brands like Luminox, Tudor, or Tag House. Hour. Find the perfect diamond. Discover amazing estate pieces you won't find anywhere else. Whatever you're looking for, I guarantee you can find it at Sissy's. To match their incredible selection, they also have the best service. They always treat me like family. No one is more friendly, attentive, and invested in making sure you get exactly what you want. They'll even make a custom creation for you if you don't find exactly what you're looking for in their expansive collection. Really, the whole experience is best summed up by the Sissy's promise of unmatched quality and service. Ready to experience Sissy's for yourself? Shop online at sissyslogcabin.com or visit any of their six locations in Pine Bluff, Little Rock Heights, Little Rock Promenade, Jonesboro, Memphis, or Conway. Listen every Wednesday when R.J. Hawk joins his old buddies on Morning Mayhem. Presented by Natural State Wholesale Flooring. See everything that Natural State Wholesale has to offer at naturalstatewholesale.com. Radio for Arkansas Sports Geeks. By Arkansas Sports Geeks. All day, every day. 103 Three seven the buzz. K A B Z Little Rock. Buzz News with KARK's Claire Kreitz. The Arkansas Supreme Court ruled in favor of additional testing of the West Memphis Three evidence. Damian Eccles, Jesse Miss Kelly, and Jason Baldwin were convicted in the 1993 deaths of three boys. DNA testing did not find any evidence linking them to the crime. However, they spent 18 years in prison under an Alford plea despite claiming innocence. Arkansas State Police concluded the two officers involved in the shooting in Hot Springs were justified for firing back at their suspect. It happened last month during a trial 
traffic stop on Albert Pike Road, both officers have been released from administrative leave. Two crypto mining resolutions passed in Senate committee and now head to the Senate floor. These bills would give local city and county governments more power over the sites once they're built. They also offer various solutions to reduce the noise issue. This is Claire Kreitz for the Buzz Radio Network. Anywhere in the state, dial 888-8888 for Rainwater Holton Sexton. They'll help you weather the storm. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center. Buzz weather with KARK's Pat Walker. A stray shower is still going to be possible today. We'll have a cloudy sky and much cooler. We'll see temperatures only to the mid to upper 60s. Tonight it stays cloudy, about a 20% chance of a shower. And still a little cooler will drop down to around 52 degrees overnight. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. Riverfront Steakhouse Special, dinner for two for $60. Ten-ounce filet, fried shrimp, two sides, and our famous salad bar, only $60. Good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Thompson Electric presents Jackson Wells each week in the zone with Justin and DJ. Thompson Electric, since 1983, providing innovative electrical solutions for your business. To learn more, check them on the web at thompsonelectric.com, or you can search Thompson Electric on Facebook and Instagram for more information. As we gather under the general April sun, let us all share an important message from our law enforcement officials. From April 19th to April 21st, Arkansas will witness a collective effort to safeguard our roads during the drive high, get a DWI blitz. Now, this isn't just about enforcement. It's about protecting each other. Like a vigilant guardian, law enforcement is stepping up to curb drug-impaired driving, ensuring the safety of every traveler. Whether obtained legally or otherwise, driving while under the influence poses a grave danger to all of us. It threatens not not only the driver, but also their passengers and fellow road users. Our roads should be pathways to cherished destinations. Like scenes of tragedy, it's a simple truth. Impaired driving, be it from alcohol or drugs, endangers lives. THC, the compound responsible for marijuana's effects, slows reaction times and clouds judgments. If you feel different, you drive different. Drive high, get a DWI. Let's drive with care, Arkansas, for in our hands lies the power to save lives. A message from the Arkansas Highway Safety Office. Crawfish season is finally back at Eat My Catfish. We've got fresh, live crawfish, and all you have to do is just add the fixins. Be sure to come see us or order online at eatmycatfish.com. Eat local, eat fresh, eat my catfish. The $79 garage door tune-up extended through April. Is your garage door too loud? Is it whining for attention? Overhead Door Company of Little Rock will make it all better. They'll perform their garage door tune-up and safety inspection for just $79 extended through April. That's just $79 for up to three garage doors and openers. You need this done once a year, so why not now and for just $79? Schedule now at overheaddooroflittlerock.com. The king of Arkansas sports talk, Randy Rainwater for Bet Saracen. In Arkansas, seven out of every ten dollars placed on a sporting bet app is with Bet Saracen because Bet Saracen offers more ways to win and more ways to get paid and faster. Find your winners on Bet Saracen and look for my double R prop bet specials. I pick them and you win them. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports wagering app. Gambling problem? Call 800-522-4700. Hi, it's Frank Fletcher from the Fletcher Dodge Store here in Sherwood. Folks, if you're shopping for a new car or truck, I hope you'll come see us and give us a chance to earn your business. We have huge discounts, 0% financing available, and we'll give you $1,000 over Kelly Blue Book value for your trade-in. Folks, I guarantee you a hassle-free buying experience. And if you've had credit problems in the past, listen to this. We have an easy pre-approval process. Just go to FletcherCredit.com to get started. You can be pre-approved in minutes. It's really not hard. FletcherCredit.com. Folks, we're also still buying cars every day. If you got an old car or truck you want to turn into cash, bring it to Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood and ask for Chris or Andy. Shop Fletcher Dodge in Sherwood before you buy anywhere else. Shop in person or shop online at FletcherDeals.com. Thank you. Mark your calendar for the Criminal Justice Institute Strikeout Opioids Day at the Arkansas Travelers Game on April 20th. Explore the Arkansas Overdose Prevention Program booth for essential prevention resources and learn about naloxone. Dive deeper at narkansas.com. 
Whiskey Myers. Friday, May 3rd, Simmons Bank Arena. Whiskey Myers. With Lucas Nelson and Promise of the Real and Reed Hot. On sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Whiskey Myers Live. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem. Ethan! Live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studios. I don't want them to gain another yard. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. You bitch! Here is David Basil, Roger Scott, and Justin Moore. All right, it is 8.06 here in Morning Mayhem. Uh, a couple things. Uh, I know we're going to visit with Terry Connor Johnson here in just a second from the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. That event is tonight. I'm really honored to MC that. Got some great names we'll mention here coming up. Uh, do we have a chainsaw? Oh, sorry, a winner for our uh, toy mit, uh, viewership on the uh, on the cameras there, Josh. We do. It's Karen Sullivan. She is our hey. winner. Very good. good job, Karen. It is a mini chainsaw, and yeah. it's the coolest thing ever, Roger. Yeah. Uh, you would have loved that as a little kid. I would love it Because you, you put a battery in there, you pull the cord just like it's a regular no, it's chainsaw. A charge. It's got a little charge. Uh, it it yeah. makes noise, a little, little the plastic. Goes uh, around. They yes. got a blower up How there. How cool is that? that? They got it all. My, my, my uh, grandson, Beckett. Goes around with Zach. He's got a little power mower. He's got oh a little my gosh. blower. He's you got all that stuff. You're, tra- you're bringing him up early. Exactly. The where you son, you know, you, now you go to the real thing. Hey, and hats off to Skill for marketing. I know, you know, I know. With that I name know. brand. Absolutely. I mean, that, that is, I mean, down to the just smallest detail. Absolutely. I know a lot of folks uh, did text us, so thank you for thank doing you that. Thank you for we watching us that. and listening to us. Thank um, you. Also, Jackson Martin, uh, the, their bro- brother, uh, brother-in-law. Justice brother-in-law. Yeah. They got kids. They got two little kids over here. They're bringing them to, to get sand. Got to get sand. To get sand well, for the play box. We have a play box at our house that the that the guys come in and and they will eventually empty that thing out by taking it out like he's got his little cup, putting yeah. it on the the uh, patio and making roads. Look, look at it. Now they just they're going around in the cart. Oh, look at all the sand. Look at they got play sand bags. Yes, of course. Look at that. He's look at look how happy he's done. What's what's his name? To sa- Barrett. Hey Barrett, do you get your sand? You ready to play the sand? Look at him. He's just Absolutely. woke up. He's like, hey, listen, yep, yep. just get me back to the house. Exactly. Throw me in some sand. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Yes, yes. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, Roger, two things. Uh, Steak Burger Friday today was something that you sort of helped start and grow. You, you know what? The butcher shop. I, I sure did. But you did. I mean, I that was a big told... deal back Absolutely. in the day with uh, it doesn't... Al and now Kevin. It's, it's not happening if I don't get involved with it. <laughs> uh, I, I yeah, we need to tell Josh that. what that is. Josh, so, so this thing at the butcher shop, Steak Burger Friday. Have you ever had a steak burger, Josh? I have. And But you have never had a steak burger from the butcher shop, have you? I have not. Here's the difference. You go to a place to get a steak burger. Uh, they have slivers of steak on the burger. What they do at the butcher shop is all of the trimmings that they get from the steaks that they make, they take those trimmings and they ground them up. And they grind those up into gra- they ground. They ground it, and that becomes the burger. It's so 100%. Good. St- now, I don't know if they put any fat in it. They may. Uh, it's 100%. So good. Oh. It's outstanding. So that's, that's uh, and I used to do the fries. I don't know what it costs now. It used too. to be ten bucks. I don't but, know but what it, it is now. It says Friday at the butcher shop. It's and they do it every Friday starting now. Well, I don't know if it's every Friday okay. or is it it's today for sure. We somebody know. needs to let us know because I thought it was maybe once a month. Somebody okay. needs a Valentine. But, it, but it's today. Right? It is yeah. today. Okay, so go by and see them. Obviously, they sponsor Bill Vickery. So it's not Appreciate the end of the them. month, is it? Someone says, Sue, what's up with the background flute during the KRK weather? So we that is actually, you know, I found out <laughs> that is DJ Williams. He is We've part got of the NBC about, about the music on this thing, right? We, we, because we said like a rainforest. DJ One of Williams, like a rainforest. DJ Williams, uh, uh, Bob Crossan, and uh, Pat Walker. They have a little trio that they uh, that they play in, and DJ very smart. I, I don't plays the flute and. Uh, 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 symbols. We like the news. It, it does sound like Don Johnson's visiting the rainforest. Yeah, it's, you're it's you're you're, Miami Vice you're, stuck on, you're stuck on you're stuck on the yeah you're stuck on the Miami Vice. I'm stuck on the rainforest angle. It is a little different. You see if you can pull that up for us a little bit later. I want to hear that again. It that sort of put me. I I've like never I, heard it. I feel like I should have my shoulders being rubbed when I listen to it. Is that why your shirt's off? I don't know. Uh, let's check in. Let's go to the Hodges Glass Little Rock Glass Hotline. 
uh, and talk with uh, Terry Connor Johnson. By the way, we are here at Coffin by Design West on Highway 10, just past Taylor Loop. They can build it from the floor up here. You can check them out online at coffinlumber.com. They've got their, it's basically their spring giveaway, three items over $1,000 each. All you do is come by and sign up. They've been doing, they've been taking, you know, yeah. uh, entries all week. Here, look. Yeah, the, the, there the, it is. Brick green egg, steel blower and trimmer, and a, a thousand dollar flooring credit. Let me tell you, yeah. that steel blower and trimmer, that's uh, uh alley. that's a uh, 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 close to five bills. Yeah, yeah. That's electric jack. Terry, are you there? Me Good too. morning. I am here. Uh, Terry Connor Johnson, the Can you uh, hear me? yes, the executive director of the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. You had the reception last night. How many years you've been doing this now, Terry? Uh, this is my ninth year. Ninth year. Got a great class tonight going in, and uh, I know every class has a little bit different feel to it. And what 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 would your what's your takeaway from the class that's being inducted tonight? Well, it's just it's very diverse. We've got a lot of great people in it, and uh, very appreciative. Uh, sorry, I'm getting a phone call, but. Um, anyway, it, it's a great class, and you met probably all of them last night. We have a couple of them that aren't going to be able to be here, which I'll explain when I talk about each of them. But did you have a good time at the reception last night? I did. I was. Uh, uh, Greg and I had just gotten back from the Star in Frisco doing our Cliff Harris Award, and so we rolled in there, and it was, it was over at Cash because of the Lunar Skinner ZZ Top concert where you guys normally have that there in your Hall of Fame. But we did it at Cash, and, and Rush Harding always puts on a good show. And, yeah, it's, it's a good group of folks, a Good, as you mentioned, a good cross-section of a little bit of everything. Uh, and just, why don't you go ahead and just mention who the – and, by the way, too, I'll go ahead and say this. Glenn Day, who is going in, he's playing right now, Roger, yep. coming up with John Daly. With Daly yeah. How about that? They teed off at 7 o'clock this morning, he and, and Daly, and they, he's going to be able to make it tonight. I think he's coming in. I think he may be flying in privately, but – but go ahead. I just Shows want to make what sure what that means to him. You can go online probably and follow what's on the uh, Champions Tour with John and um, and uh, Glenn. Go ahead. Yeah, Glenn actually um, requested an early time to make make sure he could get back for the uh, banquet. So he's going to fly in here. He's going to be here at four thirty. <laughs> Hopefully, nothing happens with the flight or anything. And uh, so, yes, he made it. He made it work. I mean, he you know pulled out all the stops and made it work. So we're very appreciative. His wife Jennifer have been filling in for him until he can get here today at 4.30. Uh, I didn't know yeah, he was yeah. uh, matched with – I didn't know he was matched with uh, John. Uh, yeah, how about, how about that? Outstanding. So yeah. give, give us the list of names for everybody. Well, we've got Coach Carla Crowder, who coached high school girls basketball for 40 years. She retired recently. She has four state championships at Bryant and one at Cabot, so outstanding coach. And she also played basketball at Arkansas Tech. And what's interesting about her, she never played full court. She ah, played the half wow. court how about, game. How about that? And the, she, they still recruited her because she was this great defender. And so whenever they wanted, you know, to stop the high scorer, Carla was the woman for that. So she, she's a White County girl, which is I am from Bradford, so I'm really excited to see her go in. Yes. And, of course, we just talked about Glenn Day um, playing. And he played at the University of Oklahoma, and then he turned pro in 88. He won his first PGA event in 99 at the MC Classic. And he's also a golf course architect. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, so does very well with that. And then um, Coach Al Flanagan, Central Arkansas, everybody knows who that man is. He was also, a lot of people don't know, he was a star basketball player at SAU in the late um, 60s. Right. He was a two-time all a I see, and they went to the NAI National Championship two times. He actually still has some records down there. Then he started out coaching at Dunbar and ended up at Parkview, where he won seven state championships and 11, 11 conference championships. S Roger, so seven coach. state championships. Of course, he followed up uh, uh, Rip, right? He was, uh, he, was he the coach right yeah. after Rip? So Rip has started that tradition at Parkview, and you think there might be some drop off, but no, with Al Flanagan and uh, win seven more times. So right. outstanding. Well, you know, and he had two sons. One played at Auburn and yep. one played at Ole Miss, I believe. And then he had a grandson that he actually coached at Parkview and won one of those state championships with. So they're like a basketball dynasty, right. basically, that yep. family. Yep. And then another great uh, basketball player from White County, Butch Gardner, who played at Harding from 73 to 77. He was first team all AIC four times and was a three-time All-American. And he still holds the scoring record. Now, that's from the 70s and still wow. holds it at Harding. 
and he still listed him 56 categories on the Harding record book just wow. for season, career, rebounds, everything. Just 56. It's just crazy to think about that. Yeah, for sure. So very happy to have him as part of the class. And then Jeff Glassbrenner, he's our first para-athlete that is being inducted. And I don't know if you got a chance to talk with him last night. I did not. He was a fabulous guy. He played wheelchair basketball and scored 63 points. To give you background what happened to him, he grew up on a farm. He was out with his father. An accident happened. His leg got caught in the machine, and it basically cut his leg off. Uh. So, he, you know, he, they told him, you really don't need to be doing all of this, but he didn't listen to them. And so he went on to be um, a great wheelchair <laughs> basketball player. He actually scored 63 points in the 2004 National Championship, which, from what I understand, is still a record. And if it wasn't enough, then he became an Ironman triathlete and has done some of the toughest Ironman triathlons in the world. And then he became a mountaineer. And so in 2000, Crazy. he climbed all these ridiculous places. And in 2016, he became the first American amputee to climb Mount Everest. Yeah, Can you imagine, Roger? Yeah, could you imagine that? It. Yeah, I, I, I can't do that no. with, with two legs, and he's going up with, with one leg. Yeah. I mean, that is cr- exactly. Everest. Where people die climbing that mountain. So, yeah, very where, impressive. Where bodies yeah. are still and, there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That you see. Yeah, that's right. And his, he had to stay at base. You know, you go to base camp to kind of acclimate. And they had all kinds of horrible weather. And he was at base camp for a long time until it cleared up. And then he actually made it to the top. Yeah. So, very, very impressive. Yeah, I've never and been And then we have though. Ed Harris. Mm-hmm. which he, he grew up playing amateur golf in Arkansas. He played for over four decades, winning over 100 tournaments. He was senior player of the year six times, and he never really had an opportunity to attempt to play professional golf because he had to work and to support his family. So you just wonder what he would have done if he would have had, you know, the financial support to do that. He's not going to be able to attend. He is, I believe, 93 and has some health issues, so he will not be there tonight. Gotcha. And then we have Peyton Hillis, former Razorback. Everybody knows Peyton as the Razorback star. In high school, he was ranked as the number one fullback in the, of the nation. And at the U of A, he um, blocked for Darren McFadden and Felix Jones. McFadden had three 1,000-yard seasons, and Jones had two. And that wouldn't have been possible with, uh, without Peyton. And then he went in to play in the NFL with the Broncos, Browns, the Chiefs, and the Giants. So excited to have him here. And, you know, he had a, a, a near-drowning death accident. Do you all recall that? Oh, in yeah. Florida? Oh, and, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, he was trying to save his son and his niece, but was in ICU for like six days. So we're glad that that Peyton's here with us. And then Eric Jackson, um, you know, Oakland, he worked there in administrative positions since 1978. He was a general manager for 30 years. And Eric helped develop simulcasting, which would be used by all racetracks eventually. And he also helped found Insta Racing, which mm-hmm. broke, broke, broke Oakland out of their slumps in the yep. 90s. So he's done some amazing things for Oakland. And we're really excited to have him. And Oakland is our presenting sponsor. And Wayne Smith is actually on my uh, board of directors. Oh, that's fantastic. Listen, and, and then we have Eric, excuse me, Eric Jackson's wife taught me English how, good. How about, how about that? <laughs> yes. Oh, she was my teacher, oh, yes. Okay. She's a wonderful lady. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She is. And they're both big hikers, and they do all kinds of outdoor activities yep. together. Just really nice people. And then we have Ryan Mallet, and his mother, Debbie, will be representing him. And he was in high school at Texarkana, Texas, and he was ranked as the number two quarterback and the number four overall player in the nation. He signed with Michigan and then transferred to the U of A in 2008. And after an outstanding career with Arkansas, he was drafted by the New England Patriots. But unfortunately, did you know who he had to play behind? Yeah, Tom Brady. Yep. Tom Brady. So you don't really get a chance to play a whole lot. But uh, as all Razorback fans know, um, Ryan tragically died in a swimming accident in Florida in um, June of 2023. So very sad for that. But his, his mother is just super excited. And, she came in the reception last night, and she saw the big banner of him, and she got real emotional about it, but in a, in a good way, you know. So she's very excited to be here to represent Ryan. And then lastly, Jason Peters, who won't be with us. He's not going to be able to be here. He's a Queen City, Texas native. He was recruited by the Razorbacks as a defensive tackle, but ended up being a tight end. 
and then he was picked up by the Buffalo Bills as a free agent in 2004. He didn't even make it in the draft. And then he went on to play with Philadelphia, where he won a Super Bowl. He's a seven-time Pro Bowler, and at the age of 42, he's currently the oldest active player in the NFL. So that's my class of 10, Um, and we're very excited. Go ahead. You're good. Go ahead. You're good, Jerry. Go ahead. Uh, anyway, we're real excited. And of course, we're excited to have you as the MC, and uh, we're just looking forward to it. And our tickets, you know, we can't you can't buy tickets anymore. That's been shut down. But we will live stream it on our Facebook page, the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame Facebook page. So if you're not at the banquet and you're interested in watching and listening, you can do that on our Facebook page. Yeah, that's what some some of our listeners. I think that's a great thing to have. We do that with the Touchdown Club. So if you don't have a ticket, man, all you have to do is go to the Facebook page and watch the whole thing. I think that is outstanding that you guys do that. And I know, it, you guys, this is a fundraiser as well. In addition, you know, you guys generate funds out of this. So I know you got a lot of great sponsors and you've got your golf tournament you do each year, and that's a big one too. Um, so uh, anyway, job well done as always. Look forward to having a great group tonight to be inducted. Can I shout out to my sponsors, please? As long as it, there's not, uh, if there's less than 60. <laughs> okay, there's less than 60. <laughs> yeah, who, who you so need to mention? presenting sponsor is Oakland, as I mentioned earlier. We know them. It's on our board. Yes. Yes, very Big fan, well. big Y'all fan. a lot of time over there. Yes. And then our platinum sponsors are Arvest, which Rodney Phil is a senior VP. And yes. And my board president. And Fence Brokers, Chris Walker. We know Chris. Yes. yes, we love him. Yep. Good guy. And then at the very last minute, the Jones family and the Cowboys jumped in and did a platinum sponsorship. How about that? We got them at the very last minute. So they're not going to get a whole lot of advertising at the banquet, but, you know, they have been a longtime sponsor of the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. And then our gold sponsors are the Hatcher Agency with Greg Hatcher, who was my former board president. Uh, Russ Harding uh, and Cash Restaurant, who did our wonderful reception last night. Had a great time there. And then Simmons Bank, which I know he Simmons Bank was a big sponsor of y'all too. Yep. Cave Foundation and Delta Dental, and then our In Kind, our Farm Bureau, who does the printing of all our program books, have been doing it for years. I can't even put a monetary value on what that is. Uh, CWP, CWP Productions, who does all of our video production and, and lighting and all that, and Content Titan, who does our videos for us. And then Dr. Doyne and Nancy Williams. Nancy has been a longtime board member. They're wonderful. And she designs yeah. our program book. Yeah. yeah. Great, so great, great good folks. sponsors there, longtime sponsors, and we couldn't do it without them. Uh, Terry, a great job as always, and we'll see you early tonight. We'll have a fun time. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks, I wanted Terry. to say one other thing real quick. Yeah. So I went in the rest the bathroom to get something, and I came out and was listening to the app, and all I could hear was a cat singing when I came out of there. I don't know what. We know what. You're, you're blessed if you did. Josh, I don't know if you've had a chance to pull that yet. It is, uh, we, we have a guy, uh, the, the guy at the office that talks like a cat is one of our regular uh, uh, guests. And he was front row. He was front row Skinner last concert, night at yeah. He was really in, inspired by Sweet Home Alabama, and uh, it, was a, it was a great performance. <laughs> I'm so glad you got a chance to hear that. Yeah, um, he's a big fan. Me too. I, I hope I can replay that at some point. <laughs> we'll get it for you. Thank, thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate Connor Johnson. That. Thanks, guys. Uh, of course, you know, Ter- thanks. Terry was an All-American. She yeah, was. She, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Think, nice lady. Two- hard worker. Yeah, you know, it's got to be tough. It's got to be tough for Ryan Mallett's mom, you know, because, oh. you, know, you know, he's just so darn young. What was he, 30? Was he 35? Yeah. I, if I if I'm not exactly, mistaken, yeah. let me let me, let me me figure out. Now, Roger, sure. what's a – Josh, can you Google? Let's Google. Let's Google the date and see when, when Ryan Mallett passed because – I want to say, if I'm not mistaken, it's been less than a year, right? It's I just been over make, a year. It's been over a year. Because I was trying to think. I think, no, 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 it was June 27th. June 27th, last year. So, so. Not it was, even a year. So, not, so here's the deal, what I remember. We saw him a year ago. That's what, that was my point. Yeah. We, yeah. we were at Justin's. It was for uh, the tornado. The Sunday, no, no. Yeah. Oh, was it at that one? Hall. It was at the at hall. The for, hall. It's we for, were at the hall. I think it was for the golf tournament, though. He did too. He did the. He did the. He did the. Yeah. Oh, it, it might have been the tornado. I thought it was. It was tornado it, relief. Maybe it was not. The governor was there too. I don't. I, Do you I, remember I, seeing? Were you there for that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was there. <laughs> <laughs> I, his, <laughs> I'm telling you right. You, you thought you paused for a second. <laughs> no, because I'm sitting there going. When you're talking about the, the golf tournament, I'm thinking that uh, the golf tournament concert wasn't at the hall. It was. 
It was? It was. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. I don't know that. Yeah, it was. I don't know why it would be there. It why wouldn't it be out there where he has no, the tournament? No, they, they, they did it there. It, you know, I do want to punch you right <laughs> in your skirt. But do yeah, you, do you, uh, so if you are watching on, on YouTube, you can see you can see this. If you're not, Roger and Baz <laughs> usually will sit shoulder to shoulder and look at each other. Roger turned completely <laughs> Right here. He is, like com- yeah, he is completely turned to the away it's, from the camera. <laughs> because I'll tell you what. Because I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this. Uh I knew Satan was coming this morning, so I'm trying to watch it. Uh, I'm trying to watch. Red, no, but here's the other part. So it was that because we, you know, we, where were we not too well, long ago? This is April. The tornado, uh, that 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 concert may have been this month, right? Because the tornado was the end of no, April, no, 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 there's uh, no question. No, there's no question. So that I think that's what it was, and here's what I remember too. And we saw him at. The football 101, the previous we had, we, that, that's right. season in 22. That's right. Yeah. So, so that's what's right. crazy, what I remember about uh, Ryan being there, I know we got to take a break here in a sec, is that, uh, and Reggie said, yeah, it's witness, listen, he said, passed during the high school dead period. And uh, well, that's a, a, obviously a play on words there, too. Yeah. Um, I remember he got on the bus with Justin. Yeah. And, and he just yeah. kept, he, he ended up, yeah, and finally, I, I remember telling JR, the handler is the jr we got we got to go get the is that the one where justin was standing on the sofa uh, on the yeah. on his uh, chair to uh, I take think a so. picture Thank okay. me. but i just re- i just hey remember, i just remember ryan you know ryan was a type to go in there and just hang out and talk and which yeah. is all fine was fine with, with him. Him. But yeah but they had to go ahead and get, all right come on you just got to get up here and play in a minute i remember uh and I uh, remember. but ryan i tell you ryan was uh full go in life and well uh, we saw first time we you know we, we started uh, running into him at the daily golf tournament when we were yes, doing uh, shows yes, up there yes. with him and her. and there was one year ryan came in saw us broadcasting and obviously they'd been up uh, uh, uh putting uh, uh in in the early hours uh because he came in saw us turned right back around and left he did yes, he, he did. did he was not getting on the radio with us but he was a good guy he was a razorback uh uh yeah well, well very we'll, accommodating we'll, to we'll, us we'll honor him tonight one of the yeah. greatest ever play at arkansas uh, i see uh laura beth is in the store now i guess the justin comes in the early part and laura beth comes in the, the uh, later sure, in the day sure, sure, we'll sure. get her on the uh on the show here in just a minute when we come back we'll visit with danny west who will give us some update apparently we got a couple of recruits not not basketball Football? But football, yeah, we'll let uh, oh. Justin Moore take us to the break. It is 8.30. Tickets are on sale now for the 20th annual Double B's Barbecue, Saturday, May 11th, at the downtown Riverside RV Park in North Little Rock. Go to buzzbecue.com. This is Sports Center. Tonight, the field of 16 teams for the 2024 NBA playoffs will be set after a pair of play-in games. First at 6 o'clock on ESPN, it's the Miami Heat and the Chicago Bulls. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the East, the Boston Celtics. The Heat will be without Jimmy Butler tonight. In the Western Conference at 8.30, it's the Sacramento Kings on the road against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans will be without star forward Zion Williamson. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the Western Conference, the Oklahoma City Thunder. The NBA playoffs officially tip off tomorrow afternoon. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center. Buzz weather with KARK's Pat Walker. A stray shower is still going to be possible today. We'll have a cloudy sky and much cooler. We'll see temperatures only to the mid to upper 60s. Tonight it stays cloudy, about a 20% chance of a shower. And still a little cooler. We'll drop down to around 52 degrees overnight. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. Riverfront Steakhouse Special, dinner for two for $60. 10 ounce filet, fried shrimp, two sides, and our famous salad bar, only $60. Good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Get the inside scoop from the hill when Homer's Ace Hardware presents Arkansas second baseman Peyton Stovall on 103.7 The Buzz. Every Tuesday, Peyton joins Roger, David, and Justin on Morning Mayhem. They'll talk college baseball and whatever else comes to mind. It's Peyton Stovall every Tuesday morning with Morning Mayhem on 103.7 The Buzz. Made possible by Homer's Ace Hardware. Need help? Ask Homer at any of locations, Searcy, Beebe, or Cabot.
Hey, it's David Basel for Edwards Food Giant. On Morning Mayhem, we love talking about family-owned businesses here in Arkansas, and that includes Edwards Food Giant, the meat people. For the past 60 years, the Edwards family has been taking care of Arkansans with grocery stores across the state, and even after six decades, they are continuing to grow. But if you ask my mother, Mama Bass, it's not the number of stores in the Edwards Food Giant chain or their amazing meat and deli departments. For her, it's simple, customer service. It's now become one of her favorite places to shop just because of the way she's treated. Of course, the prices are always outstanding at Edwards and the stores are always immaculate. Then you throw in new additions like curbside pickup and their great website edwardsfoodgiant.com. It all adds up to make the Edwards experience easy and rewarding. Speaking of rewards, you can also shop, earn and save with the Edwards Reward Program. Ask about it the next time you visit or read about it online at edwardsfoodgiant.com And just like a great Arkansas family owned business, Edwards also loves to give back to their community. Find the Edwards Food Giant nearest you today. Only Saracen Casino gives away a brand new car every month and not just any cars, but the hottest cars on the road. Like for April, a Porsche 718 Boxster from Gossip Porsche in Memphis. You need to be driving a super cool Porsche Roadster, and you can. It's easy. Just play your favorite casino games and rack up entries, but only at Saracen Casino Resort. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Gambling problem? Call 800-GAMBLER. Hey, it's David Basil, and the annual Luxury Pool and Spa 20% off store-wide sale is going on now through this Saturday. Don't miss it. This sale includes everything store-wide, including patio furniture by Fisco, rebates on pool lines and Bacquetil pool chemicals, and even spas like the one I have at my house are discounted lower than truckload pricing. Daily giveaways include PK Grills and Luxury Pool and Spa $150 gift cards. It's a 20% off store-wide sale going on now through Saturday at Luxury Pool and Spa in Conway and Russellville. Check them out online at LuxuryPoolArkansas.com. This is Quinn Grovey, and you're listening to Morning Mayhem on 1037 The Buzz. All right, our man uh, Justin Moore will be performing uh, Sunday night. I think that's a private deal. You might be able to get tickets for it for his St. Jude Classic uh, Golf Tournament, which will be on Monday. Uh, one of my goals this year, and I don't have very many goals because I don't want to, you know, put a bunch out there and not get them done, uh, is to do a Razorback song to one of his yeah. songs. It, it, I'm almost embarrassed that you haven't. I'm almost taken aback that you haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. How long have you been wanting to use that phrase? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, I'm taking aback. A couple of things. Uh, we are here at Coffee by Design West. In a few minutes, we'll uh, we'll let uh, Justin show us some of the cool things contraption some guy i think it's a guy thing it it's gets a you total that, guy yeah. thing are you kidding you can smell this it, it, we're talking about light bulbs that will continue to work once your electricity goes out you know like, what i like said witchcraft. let me tell you something thomas edison's bones are rolling over I right know, now I there's know. no way he says uh, a couple other things uh, according to uh, michael marion let's see this real quick hot wheels monster trucks on october 26th and 27th on sale today at 10 o'clock saw him last night That's great job almost with Every four or five months. I know, months. I know. That's how big those how things are. You got right. that right. Yeah, great job last night. 7,000 plus for Leonard Skinner and uh, ZZ Top. Also, uh, Andrea and Jeremy. Andrea's going to call a little bit later. Luxury Pool and Spa. They've only got two days left. Of the their, sale? Uh, annual uh, s- uh, sale there at Luxury Pool and Spa. In, they uh, have sand Russell. there, too, if you need it for your area. They, they you, do? Oh, you sat, it was right behind you. Oh, pallets of it. I didn't even realize yeah, that. I knew for it was the chemicals. Playground. I didn't know they have sand. They're standing there, it. Jerry. I saw it. Uh, and I know we've got some some good news coming up with uh, Danny West on the recruiting trail. It's not basketball. This I know everybody, everybody wants to know about basketball, but I'm uh-huh. telling you, this is when all these activities are happening with, uh, with the transfer portal and all that. So let's yeah, check yeah. in with Danny now. He's known across the state as the king of recruiting. He's a sea of knowledge when it comes to the future of the Hogs. And he's jumping into the mayhem on the buzz. From Hogsports.com, it's Danny West, presented by H.J. Trailer Sales. Visit them online at hjtrailersales.com or visit them in Hot Springs on Albert Pike. Good morning, Danny. How are you? Hey, good morning. I'm doing great. How are y'all doing? We're hey, doing Danny. great. We're on the road. We've been on the good road morning, two, two, two weeks now, pretty much every day, and yep. I think next week is about the same. Mm-hmm. But that's what we do. We, we go to the that's people. We're we take it right to the people. RTB, Danny, Danny, raising the bar. Hey, uh, where are you guys at again today? I'm sorry. We're at Coffin by Design uh, in West Little Rock. Uh, Coffin by Design West. It's, I don't know if you remember Coffin Lumber. Coffin Lumber's been around since the 50s. Yeah. Uh, but they, this yeah. is a different kind of store. It's got everywhere. It's got everything in it. Well, it's 2.0. D, are you a, is it DIY? DIY. Is that, yeah. Are you a DIY guy, Danny? 
Absolutely. Okay. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I get on all the YouTube and, uh, and and try that out. But, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not very handy, but, yeah, yeah, I try to DIY everything I can. Yeah, well, well, I've you. got to listen. I've got to do more of that. Uh, uh, I mean, I go I, to YouTube that, for some things. I'm impressed that people can go to YouTube and figure things out. Jessica does it. My, I well, I mean, they, do without it. it's I, a, I mean, they, they're, they're telling you what to do. You still have to have some sort of. You know, smarts about well, that. Well, I'm, say, I'm my, not even my, smart my, enough to follow instructions. My cousin in Panama City, I think, built basically a house like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. Off of YouTube. Off of YouTube. I'm, and, it, and it's a great place. He's just, some people are smart enough to pick up stuff like that. Listen, i got to go to YouTube to say, is you know, does this uh, machine need two-in-one <laughs> oil? And then they go, hey, stupid, if you've got to ask us, you don't need that machine. So, so, Danny, how crazy has it been these first few days of the transfer portal this week for football? Not too bad. You know what, Baz? Honestly, not too bad. It's not too not too crazy. Um, yeah, I guess we're already on Friday, yep. and this thing opened up on Tuesday. So, I don't think it's been that bad. They've they've had a couple of visitors come in so far. Really, at the linebacker spot. I guess we can start there since that's uh, the most recent news. But um, yeah, so far a couple of visitors. Nakai Hill Green is a, a transfer out of Charlotte. He's got two years left. And that's kind of a trend we're seeing early on with the, uh, with the linebacker targets anyway. Both of the guys I'm going to tell you about have two years remaining instead of just one. So something to keep an eye on there. But we'll start with Hill Green, and that's hyphenated. But um, this was a four-star recruit coming out of Baltimore, St. Francis Academy in 2020. He signed with Michigan, uh, spent his first uh, few years there. And then last year transferred to Charlotte. Wanted more playing time, which, you know, is a solid – um, valid reason to transfer nowadays, and it worked out for him. Uh, he blew up. He had 73 tackles, nine tackles behind the line. He had a couple of sacks, a forced fumble, really made a name for himself. And then in the off season, in December, uh, he entered the transfer portal. I want to say he actually verbally committed to UCF, Gus Malzahn and the boys down there. <coughs> and I think they had a couple of coaching changes, so he's back on the market. And Arkansas went after him, got him on campus uh, – Two days ago, he left out really early this morning. I want to say before 5 a.m. this morning. But Arkansas is in a really good spot here, boys. Um, I, I would tell you they're in the driver's seat at this point. And, uh, you know, uh, the, the scary part is, fellas, once they leave, if they haven't committed to you yet, man, that's a, you're taking a roll of the dice there. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, once you take them back to XNA and they get on that plane, yeah. uh, who knows what they're going to be offered at the next official visit but as of this morning arkansas is in the driver's seat and probably the team to beat for uh hill green and he'd be a good one you know he's 6 2 232 um i, I know nobody's going to be blown away by a, a charlotte transfer but guys this is what they're after they need depth they need experience this guy brings both and he's super talented as seen in the the previous uh recruiting rankings he was a highly coveted kid coming out of high school so he's not just some scrub that you know um you know no star type kid that ended up out of charlotte with no offers this was a big time guy so uh that's nakai hill green and then i want to tell you about today's visitor showing up this morning is larry worth that's larry worth out of jacksonville state again small school two years remaining as well he's 6'4 220 now this one is kind of that under-recruited type of guy, really didn't there have many was. options coming out of uh, Jacksonville, Florida. I forget his high school there, Baz, but um, uh, anyway, he's 6'4", 220. He also has two years remaining, and uh, keep in mind right now, they've only got eight scholarship guys. Those guys are brand new, never played. Right, right. Uh, you know, Xavier and Sori. Xavier and Sori! I love it. But, um, yeah, you got a couple of guys there. If you could get them both. Uh, I think that would be ideal. I think you would have to make room for him. Um, you know, it's uh, it seems like to me that was it the first year or the second year when we got the kid from Alabama, the the linebacker from Alabama. It would have been uh, 2021. We just haven't gotten the um, we haven't we haven't gotten the he's the only have we is he the only five star we've ever been able to convince to to get the transfer portal. Have we had another five star beside him? Uh, a couple, a couple more. Who are the Dayton other ones? Hazelwood. And, and oh really my gosh, you're right. Who's ranking? He 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 didn't, and he did Hazelwood and he did not Hazel turn out. He right didn't now. he did not he did not produce much. I remember that. Be uh, quite honest. Yeah, 
I'm not sure the. Uh, yeah, I know what you're getting at there. I think they had how much they paid. How they much they the yeah. How much they paid if mm. they did not get their money's worth? I can tell you that right what? now. Um, anyway, I just, I just, I had, I've noticed we, we really not in the, uh, we haven't been in those, those those discussions with some of these kids from the, the Alabamas or the, you know, Georgias or we, we got a couple kids from Georgia, which, uh, uh, you know, um, but, but it's not the most important. What about offensive linemen? You think they'll go out and try to grab another alignment or two? Yeah, I think two, uh, Baz. And here's the thing. I would expect some visitors coming in pretty soon on that regard. But um, the thing is right now, there's a kid named Branson Hickman that we've talked about here on the show, the SMU center transfer. And uh, I want to go ahead and tell the listeners, because we've talked about him for so long, I don't want people to see his announcement, uh, which I think is coming on Sunday, and, and be caught off guard by it. But as of right now, I'm not expecting Arkansas to be the, uh, the choice on Sunday or Monday whenever he makes that decision. So to answer your question, I think he's off the board. I think you'll see him go after an interior guy. I think they want two guys, tackle and interior. But I can tell you, I've talked to people this week that tell me they feel much better about that center position out of spring than maybe they did going into spring. And that's because of Addison Nichols, the new transfer from Tennessee, as well as Amari Wiggins, who uh, came in from the JUCO ranks last year. They like Amari at that center spot right now. Now, you know, it's not a finished product. I'm not going to sit here and tell you they've got, um, you know, uh, Frank Ragnow out there at center. They don't. But I think they feel better about it. And with that, it's allowed them to open up that second spot and go get a tackle as opposed to trying to go get two interior guys. Uh, we're visiting with uh, Danny West, brought to you by H.J. Trailer Sales. To appreciate Trey and uh, his company uh, sponsoring Danny for so long. You know, that brings me to a, a point, Roger. Uh, and, yes, sir. And, and uh, Danny. You remember when when uh, Sam Pittman was the offensive line coach for Belama? I do. And, and w- w- we was had the it, biggest had, line, yeah, in biggest all line of in, in NFL. Didn't wasn't so it was it was Sam Pittman was Ragnow's coach, correct? Yes, sir. Why why is it now that we just we're not signing? It doesn't seem like we're signing the offensive linemen like we did, like he did under Belama. Hmm. The, the comment is it because. It was Bielema and Sam, or just Sam doesn't have the same effect as a recruiter, as a head coach, or maybe because we've lost some games or whatever. What, what's your thought on that? Probably a combination, Baz, but um, I think you hit on it with your second one there. Uh, anytime you take a guy like Sam Pittman, Sam is a closer in the yeah, living room. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. And, yeah, yeah, head yeah. coaches still get to go and do that, but not nearly as often as your position coaches. And, uh, you know, nobody, in my opinion, uh, I've covered a bunch of them, some really good recruiters here and as far as position coaches we're also recruiters sam might be he might be the goat as far as i'm concerned that i've covered but when you take a guy off the field and out of the living room as much as as he is now and you know you got so many different duties it's impossible for him to be the same type of uh that he used to be as a one-on-one type recruiter with mama and daddy and and the recruit himself. So I think there's something to that. But your your third part there too, if you lose some games, they're just not uh, they're not as sexy of a brand right now. If I can say that. I got you. Eight forty three yeah. on a Friday morning. <laughs> so, yeah, I think there is something to that a little bit. I got you, uh, Danny. Uh, uh, and I, and and maybe I didn't understand it uh, correctly when you said the uh, cat from uh, Branson Hickman from SMU was off the board, uh, and somebody didn't hear that. Did you say? Off the board, does that mean he's ours or we're not going after him? Oh, yeah, I want to clarify that. Um, I, I think Arkansas is out of the running for okay. that. I think that was their call. Uh, uh, quite honestly, as of a few weeks ago, I think they cooled on on Branson. No no character concerns there. Right. Right. Uh, throw mud on him, but that, that's just the decision they they made on Arkansas's end. Gotcha. Now, I do think he's visiting Oklahoma, so I don't think he was coming anyway. I think he's going to visit Oklahoma this weekend. We know Texas uh, uh, Texas Christian was up there, TCU obviously. So I don't. I'm not sure Arkansas was going to get him anyway, but they are pulling out of that race. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, last thing, Danny, have you been able to tell again as we continue through this process of learning about NIL? And of course, you know it's official now that a kid can go from school to school. He doesn't have to sit out. I mean, uh, the, the court's ruled that way in NCAA now. They're, they're going to obviously get that approved. You see anything different, you know, this go around with money in terms of transfer portal, different than maybe, you know, the last year or two? Is this anything, the dynamic change, more money, 
faster, whatever. Have you seen anything different or is about sure. the same? Not, not a whole lot, just honestly, uh, from my standpoint, which, you know, granted, Baz, I don't get a whole lot of intel on exactly what everybody's making and yeah. offers and, yeah. you know, stuff like that. But so far, I mean, uh, honestly, it's been a little bit slower than I anticipated throughout the week. I, I would have expected a few more visitors, so I'm not sure what that tells you one way or the other. But uh, we do keep hearing that NIL is on the rise and that more money's coming in and, and donations seem to have a – an uptick, so to speak, here lately. But um, just from where I stand, um, I haven't seen a ton of difference yet. Now, that's not to say these next two weeks, you know, we're still in the middle of a 15-day uh, window here. Now, that could change, and maybe you start to see more of the first type of guy that I talked about today, former four-star types that really get everybody excited. Everybody cares about the the rankings, right? So <laughs> maybe we'll see a few more of those. But so far, it's just kind of lacking a little um, star power, if you will, and that yes. I think some of that is based on the four and eight mark. Can you imagine up against that? Can you imagine right now? I'm just telling you. Imagine, imagine this. All the ones he just mentioned. Uh, David Basil, we're going after him. He's wanting a hundred thousand. Uh, Roger Scott, who is at uh, was at TCU. Cheap, yeah, he, he's asking for <laughs> two hundred and eighty-five thousand. And my mother a job. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 these people out here working. You know, wait a minute. This guy's 19 years old. He's he had 50 tackles at somewhere, and we're offering 285 thousand dollars. Good lord! I think people would lose their minds if they heard how much money. And then, listen, maybe there's somebody who's produced, who's a you know a, a Torp Award winner or whatever, or up for the Heisman. Right. But some of these guys who really haven't Is done much. Saying, I mean, are are you giving some of it on? Uh, 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 I don't know. What's, what's your measure? What, 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 where's the value to give that much money? Somebody really hasn't done enough. I guess it's what the market will bear. But that's what I'm saying. I think if the and people, you get any of it back. If the people knew that this is what the, mar- what yeah. the market is, I think they'd yeah. go, this should not be this high. Because we don't hear that. It's fans. We don't really that's hear right. a lot about that. Unless yeah. we talk to yeah. Danny or you yeah. or we hear that. We still think about going after this player. What happened? And Again, it's still so foreign for us to even be talking about. Larry Worth out of Jacksonville Larry State. Worth. And Branson Hickman, we're going, you know, we're, 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 we're going after those guys. They played a couple of years already with the other schools. Yeah. There's a chance they could come here next year. That's why we talked about, like with Justin, he wanted to be a Razorback from get-go, following his dad's steps and all that. Some of these guys, we're just a stepping stone. There's there's a a price tag on both those guys. That's what's interesting about it. Uh, uh, Danny, thanks so much as always, buddy. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Y'all have a great weekend. Thanks, Daniel. You You too. Do you want to thank uh, uh, Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Danny, are you there? Yeah, hey, yeah, can I mean, we ask him a pet name? Does he have a pet name? Does your wife have a pet name for you, or you have one for her? You know what? Big Daddy Dan. Big, Big Daddy, Daddy Dan. Dan. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Listen, that oh was Oh, my God. Yeah. Stop the fight. Stop oh, the yeah. Fight. Oh, it, oh you know my what? God. You dang right, you're Big <laughs> Daddy <laughs> Dan. Yeah. All right, great job, Love Danny. It. Thank you, Thanks, Danny. buddy. All right, brother, All right we'll come back uh, here to Coffin <laughs> by Design West out here on Highway 10 just past Taylor Loop. It's 848. There, a homeowner, Roger Scott for Leaf Guard Gutters of Arkansas. Are you tired of dealing with clogged gutters, climbing ladders, and worrying about potential damage to your home? Well, listen up to me now. Leaf Guard of Arkansas has got you covered. Introducing Leaf Guard, the only true one piece seamless covered gutter system on the market, guaranteed to never ever clog. With Leaf Guard, you can kiss goodbye to all the hassle of climbing up and cleaning out all that muck and mud and shingle grit. No more hiring someone else to do it, or worse yet, risking serious damage and issues by doing nothing at all. Spring is finally here, which means it's time for Leaf Guard's famous ugly gutter event. LeafGuard will swoop in, take down, and haul away all those unsightly gutters at absolutely no charge, and you'll receive an incredible 60% off installation on a whole house LeafGuard gutter system. But wait, there's more. Ask about the 0% financing options and additional discounts for seniors and military personnel. Do not let ugly gutters ruin your home's curb appeal or cause costly damage. Call 501-664-5400 or visit LeafGuardandMore.com to schedule your free estimate today. LeafGuard of Arkansas, protecting your home one seamless gutter at a time. Mark your calendar for the Criminal Justice Institute Strikeout Opioids Day at the Arkansas Travelers Game on April 20th. Explore the Arkansas Overdose Prevention Program booth for essential prevention resources and learn about naloxone. Dive deeper at narcansaw.com. Let me tell you about my friends Carl and Ken. 
This place is sus. Let's go to Tunica. And so they did. And immediately, they became winning. Hey, baby, what you doing? Winning. Hey, baby, what you doing? Winning. And not just gaming, either. They just winning, dancing. Boy, the fifth Or enjoying a world-renowned meal. Winning! No matter what you're doing in Tunica, you're always a winner. Learn more at tunicatravel.com. Hey folks, Trey Johnson here with HJ Trailer Sales in Hot Springs. Spring is coming and everyone is getting ready to get outside. So if you need your trailer serviced or repaired, let us help you out. Or you may be needing a trailer to get your golf cart to the golf course. Or you need a trailer for work. Or if you just need to buy a new trailer for recreational use. Let us help you at HJ Trailer Sales with one of the best service departments in the state. Visit us in Hot Springs or check us out on Facebook or at hjtrailersales.com. Hi, I'm Hunter Bell from Bell Chevrolet, and I want to tell you the real reason it's better at Bell. Our people, our family, and our community that drives us to be the best. We're proud to offer our biggest inventory and low prices on every single vehicle, from the all-new Silverado to the all-electric Chevy Equinox. We're going to find you the perfect vehicle with a buying experience like nowhere else. Our commitment is to you every day. Shop Bell Chevrolet and bellchevrolet.com today. Together, let's drive. Whoa, Howie, that's a lot of diamonds. What's going on? We're about to launch the biggest natural loose diamond event we've had in the history of Robert Irwin Jewelers. Any shape, any size? Yes, natural loose diamonds for any budget. Plus, get a free men's wedding band with every natural loose diamond purchase. Zero percent interest for up to five years. See a store for complete details. It's the biggest natural loose diamond and bridal event this weekend at the West Little Rock location in the Pleasant Ridge Town Center. Robert Irwin Jewelers, home of the meant to be guarantee. Upgrades are welcome. Willie D's Rock and Roll Piano Bar open every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Cold drinks and dueling pianos, Pete Nightclub downstairs hosts karaoke on Tuesdays, and DJ spin on Friday and Saturday nights. Visit WillieD'sPianoBar.com. This is Pat Bradley. If you're bench by injury, get the state's leading orthopedics and sports medicine specialists on your team. UAMS Health offers surgical and non-surgical care of muscle and joint pain and injuries for all ages. Our treatment plans include expert rehabilitation services to improve mobility and get you back on the court. With clinics in Central and Northwest Arkansas, UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine also provides team coverage for colleges and high schools. Learn more at UAMS mshealth.com Tune in each week when Susan Irwin Prowl shares her keys to the weekend music events calendar with Justin and DJ. Brought to you by Willie D's and Big Red Dog Productions. Big Red Dog Productions is your gateway to music excellence in Central Arkansas and beyond. Visit entertainersguide.com to see the weekly calendar and submit your shows. Did Josh miss another curse word in a movie clip? Let us know at 501-661-1037. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem, live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studios. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. What? God, uh, Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> What? <laughs> the cat guy. Weird. Can you believe oh that? Oh, my gosh. The guy at the office that talks like a cat doing Sweet Home Alabama as a tribute to Leonard Skinner last night. That's exactly Thank right. You, Josh. And he wants to be a part of that. Hey, last that night. That is so good. Well, listen. He's that at the end. You just bring it home. Anyway, go ahead. He did, no, that's all, listen. He wants to be a part of that. He's going to start an all Skinnered cover band of nothing but he and some of his yeah, cats. Yeah, real quick. Last night, thanks to Seth Barnes, Lawrence Dodd, and Kendall Hancock uh, uh, for coming out, hanging out with us, and playing trivia at Mainline Sports. We appreciate them very much. And Seth Barnes. Bought me a, 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 a some dessert. It was a wonderful dessert. Thank you, Seth. Thank you guys for coming out and hanging out. Yes. Uh, Laura Beth joins us. Uh, Laura, Beth Hi, Laura, Smith. Beth. Laura Beth Wartman Smith. Uh, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Listen, I got to compliment you. I remember the first time you came in and did commercials <laughs> with us. It's always an awkward deal where you have uh, advertisers and people who do business doing commercials. It's just, just not natural. And you were like, what am I doing here? Mm -hmm. You know, how am I, fi you know, how and now you do it enough. And, you know, David Dunn at Central Arkansas Truck 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 is another one where, now, nothing to it. Nothing, nothing to, to it. it. You're not nervous yeah. about exactly what it. you want to say. Yeah. And I just didn't know what to expect at first. I know. It is yeah. just an awkward deal. And then after you do it a little while, we have, we have a lot of our, our partners that do that, that after a while they go, 
We don't need you. We'll do it ourselves. Pretty much. How are things going? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Yeah, hard to believe you guys. I was talking to your dad, who we'll have a little bit later, my old teammate. You guys been here nine years. My gosh. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I mean, it's hard to believe. Of course, you know, I used to live out here in this neck of the woods, and uh, of course, continued growth out here. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure y'all, when y'all came here, that was part of the vision yeah yeah, yeah for sure yeah, I, I, was, I, I was only 21 when is that not something my gosh that's another reason you feel more comfortable too <laughs> yeah. wow mm -hmm. i love yeah. the i love your saying uh build it from the floor up you can build yeah. it from the floor up here mm -hmm. yeah because that's basically what you could do yeah uh yeah you can start out at our lumber yard on asher um where you can obviously start with like a uh, foundation and rebar and then rebar you got to have I love, I love saying rebar. Yeah, listen, don't and then obviously lumber, yes. uh, roofing, and then our door. We call it the door shop. It's on uh, West 7th Street. Uh, obviously, it's doors and windows, interior yes. and exter yes. exterior. And then out here uh, is more like the interior stuff, so lighting and flooring. Everything. Everything. Yeah, all the way yeah, to home yeah, Got yeah. snacks. Snacks. You got snacks. You got snacks. You want snacks? We got oh my, snacks. I, oh, my gosh. Snacks. You have you have toys for kids. You got that sand. Yeah. Yep. You can say, Electric yeah, bikes. Yeah, How about that? You buy so you buy bags of sand now. Absolutely. It's a, if you go back 50 years ago, we're going to start selling sand and water <laughs> in bottles. You know, who would have saw that coming? And you got a great staff here, big staff. Yeah. You have yes. to have that many people to accommodate contractors and all. Roger, I think I want to buy you this this lounge, this uh, recliner. I'm mean, not recliner, <laughs> rocking chair. Look at the rocket chair over here. Outside. It? Outside. I, oh, I, oh, very good. Yeah, yeah I, I like that. I like that. You do. You have. You don't have a rocking chair out front, do you? Uh, I can see you no. in a rocking chair. No, there's a bench out front. Yeah, She's it's got a, a bench. Yeah, out it's uh, you guys. There's nothing that you haven't uh, thought of here in this store. Yeah, no. Yeah, and so uh, also, obviously, you you, you know, you, you talk about your brother playing football, your dad playing football. Mm -hmm. Were you a sports person at all? Is yes, I was a, a competitive gymnast. Okay, okay, so perfect. Well, here we go. So uh -huh. why do women not do the pommel horse? Pommel, pommel, pommel. 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 Uh, I don't a, know why they don't do is it. it. A strength thing? Yeah, I would say it, I would probably say strength. Yeah, that's, okay, that's what the Chuck could say. And women don't do rings. He, either, said, he said there's no way women aren't strong enough mentally you, or physically to do that. But uh, you do the uneven bars. Yes. And men do the uneven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Well, men men do a single bar, high bar. They, they don't, don't do. The, they don't do a double bar. They don't no. do the double uh, whammy. Oh wow. No, just the something. females do the double bar. And okay, what about in the you, vault thing where you're running and jumping on a little? Both do that. Both do that. Both uh, do that. Yes, both do that. And men don't do the balancing beam. No. Because could, you, it, could you do the rings? Oh, she's laughing. <laughs> no. Could, could you do the rings? <laughs> no, I think that's a, a little bit more physically taxing. Okay. We learned that today. We didn't realize that. Uh -huh. What? Women don't do the pommel horse. No. It's so much fun on the pommel horse. <laughs> you can, you know. <laughs> could uh, you do the pommel horse? No, no, I would, no. I, would be, I would not be able I to mean, walk when the rest you of my see, life. Who was the fame? Was it Greg something? The scissors. Was there a Greg, the scissors. Yeah, did the scissors. Greg Lugano, oh, the swimmer. Oh, no, it wasn't Lugano, <laughs> but it was the Greg. I want to say there was. Uh, great to see you. Yeah, Thanks you for having do. us out here. Thank we'll you. get your dad on here shortly. Yes. That's uh, Laura Beth. Uh, you can find her out here most of the time sometimes yes i work from home a lot but there you go yeah you I try to Boom. Barbara, great possible. to see you yeah. all right nine o'clock thank you do you need rainwater holes in sexton anywhere in the state dial eight 888-8888. It really is just that easy. If you've been injured and need help, it doesn't matter where in Arkansas you are. Just dial 8. 888-8888. We'll come to you. I'm Mike Rainwater of Rainwater Holes and Sexton. We have been thankfully serving our Kansans for years, and we appreciate the trust you've put in us. We work hard for you, Arkansas, each and every day. Anywhere in the state, dial 8. Do you recycle? Sure you do or you'd like to, recycling is easy because you don't have to separate recyclable material. We'll do that for you. Just throw it in the cart, loose, no bagging. To do recycling right, you need to know what should go in your cart and what shouldn't. To learn more, go to mydoright.com. At mydoright.com, we'll show you how to do recycling right. Do right and do it the right way. 1037 The Buzz is your home for the Hogs and your ticket hookup. We have tickets to every Diamond Hog home game and want to give them to you. Listen each weekday for your chance to win from 1037 The Buzz. We're the original social media you don't need a smart device for. But we'll also meet you there too. 1037 The Buzz. KABZ Little Rock.
Buzz News with KARK's Claire Kreitz. The Arkansas Supreme Court ruled in favor of additional testing of the West Memphis Three evidence. Damian Eccles, Jesse Miss Kelly, and Jason Baldwin were convicted in the 1993 deaths of three boys. DNA testing did not find any evidence linking them to the crime. However, they spent 18 years in prison under an Alford plea despite claiming innocence. Arkansas State Police concluded the two officers involved in the shooting in Hot Springs were justified for firing back at their suspect. It happened last month during a traffic stop on Albert Pike Road. Both officers have been released from administrative leave. Two crypto mining resolutions passed in Senate committee and now head to the Senate floor. These bills would give local city and county governments more power over the sites once they're built. They also offer various solutions to reduce the noise issue. This is Claire Kreitz for the Buzz Radio Network. For interior, exterior, commercial, and residential painting, hire the pros at Serta Pro Painters. Get your free estimate at SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center. Buzz weather with KARK's Pat Walker. A stray shower is still going to be possible today. We'll have a cloudy sky and much cooler. We'll see temperatures only to the mid to upper 60s. Tonight it stays cloudy, about a 20% chance of a shower. And still a little cooler will drop down to around 52 degrees overnight. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. Riverfront Steakhouse Special, dinner for two for $60. 10 ounce filet, fried shrimp, two sides, and our famous salad bar. Only $60. Good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night. Edwards Food Giant presents Razorback Baseball color analyst and Drop Time Sports co host Rick Schaefer every Tuesday morning on Morning Mayhem. Rick will share his special take on Razorback Sports with the guys each week. Edwards Food Giant, the meat people, the only stop you'll ever have to make for your family's groceries. Hey, it's David Basel for Simmons Bank. You've heard me say over and over again how much I love being a Simmons Bank customer and learning about their amazing success story starting with one little Pine Bluff Bank in 1903 and now celebrating their 120th banking birthday. They have become one of the fastest growing banks in America. 120 years in banking, that's a ton of experience. The reason Simmons Bank has been around for 12 decades is because they have a track record of helping people turn their goals into plans. And that's worth repeating. Simmons Bank knows knows how to help their customers turn their goals into plans. And they're ready to talk to you now, but first, they'll listen. Simmons Bank will guide you at every step. No matter what's next in your life, Simmons Bank wants to make financing the easiest decision you make. A personal loan from Simmons Bank could be the solution you need for large purchases like home improvement projects, wedding expenses, vacations, emergency expenses, or an automobile, boat, or RV purchase. Don't wait any longer. Let Simmons Bank help change your financial life. We love our backyard. This year, we added an all-brick outdoor kitchen. We couldn't wait to show it off. But what happened? Mosquitoes. Basically, we did all this work for them. Instead of entertaining and providing food for our guests, we became the food. We wasted all that time and money on a yard we couldn't even enjoy. Then we called Mosquito Joe. After just the first treatment, Mosquito Joe gave us our yard back. Now, we're the favorite neighborhood hangout. Visit Arkansas.MosquitoJoe.com. With Mosquito Joe, outside is fun again. Is your Oaklawn thoroughbred racing action so close you can feel it? Is it the view from your trackside luxury suite? However you like it, racing season is off and running at Oaklawn with live races every weekend through May 4th. It's fun by the furlong all season long. Make your reservations today at oaklawn.com. What's your old lawn? Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Hello, Buzz listeners. It's Chris Zender, and I've got some big news. Fletcher Dodge has big discounts on all new Rams, up to $11,000 off new Ram 2500 and up to $10,000 off new halftone Ram. But that's not all. we got 0% financing on new Ram Bighorns for 72 months. Yes, I said 0% for 72 months. Or how about $10,000 off new Jeep Gladiators? And we have the new 2024 Jeep Compass four-wheel drive for only $424 a month with zero down and no gimmick. We're getting new inventory every week, so come in and let us know what you're looking for. We're ready to make a deal. We have pre-owned vehicles starting as low as $199 a month at zero down. Don't worry about your credit. If other dealers have told you no, come see us or apply from anywhere at FletcherCredit.com. Fast, easy, and simple approval process. 
and let us help you get into a new or pre-owned vehicle. Shop Fletcher Dodge and Sherwood before you buy anywhere else. Come see us in person at Fletcher Dodge on Warden Road in Sherwood or shop online at FletcherDeals.com. Roger Scott for Gravely Moors. Working hard once again, making sure my lawn is lush, weed-free, and beautiful. By working hard, I mean, of course, I'm watching Bradley Owens mow it for me. Bradley, tell the good folks hello. Well, hello. That's hello. enough right there, my good man. Pay attention. You missed the spot. What he didn't tell you is that you can take your very own Gravely Moor home today at 0% interest over 48 months. That's right. 0% interest on both residential and commercial mowers. Now, Bradley, tell them where you can go get your very own Gravely Moor. Well, you can. I'll finish it for you at Chapel Hardware in Pine Bluff or Hoco Turf in Rose. Whiskey Myers, live in concert. Friday, May 3rd, Simmons Bank Arena. With Lucas Nelson and Promise of the Real and Reed Haughton. Welcome back to Morning Mayhem. I want your blood. I want your soul. Live from the Oakland Hot Springs Studios. I want them both right now. Oakland, Arkansas's only racing casino resort. I'm your huckleberry. Here is David Basil, Roger Scott, and Justin Moore. All right, Bunger, let's do it. All right, it is uh, 9.06 here on this Friday, April 15th. Coming up here in a few minutes, we'll visit with Steve Ortman, who is the owner of Kaufman uh, by Design West and Kaufman Lumber. My old teammate, Razorback, will visit with him. We're going to visit with Heather Baker here in just a second. A couple things before we get to Heather. Roger, two things. Razorback song idea. This is from one of our listeners. Yeah. Uh, you take the song, uh, More Middle Finger, mm -hmm. and, and and you incorporate Spirit Fingers. I was trying, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Spirit Fingers. Listen. More Sprinkle Fingers. <laughs> no. Let them fly. No, uh, I, I wrote it down. I, my, as you're being pro Sprinkle Fingers. My computer went down. Okay. Uh, and so I hadn't been able to respond, but I like that, and, I, I, and I've written I like it down. It. Thank you, thank you. I like it. Here's another one that says, what about Roger doing a song about uh, uh, To Viva Las Vegas? Viva, let's see, Viva Aloy. How do you pronounce it, Josh? It's the Vahima. Vahima? Yes, it's Vahima. Vahima Aloy. Vahima Aloy to Viva Las Vegas. Yeah. Can you do that? Sure. Let's do it. Mm. Vahima. Vahima <laughs> Aloy. Oh, pretty darn good right there. Somebody also says, okay, so the new weather music probably needs to change. We're getting a lot of input on the weather bed. I actually just had a conversation with, with Justin Acre about this. What it, it's just not newsy and weatherish enough. Yeah, which, people are commenting on it. Do you have it handy by, by chance? I do, actually. I do. Hit it real quick uh, before we go. Which one you want first? The, the weather. Let's see the weather. Here's my first time uh, here. Turn this down. All right, weather, Hang tight, weather. Heather. And this is... And the weather is behind it. Is I'm that what you're doing? Jazz hands. It is jazz right. hands. That's a... You know what? Lava well, lamp. Here's the Lava lamp. beautiful yes. day by you two is the is the last bed we use. This is obviously a generic. At least it sounds like it's, a generic. It's song, like a, it's, yeah. it's like being in a rainforest. I'm waking up. Would you miss, Would you get my neck a little bit more? Listen, listen. <laughs> Pat Walker, oh, we love, we love Pat, and yes. DJ Williams. They they are, are playing a, in that. They're in a band. They have their own little. NBA, it, it's the Team Twenty band that they do. <laughs> and DJ plays three of those instruments right there. That's a lot of. Mixing. I don't mind the news. Hit the news real quick. The news is fine. All right. Da, 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 yeah. da, da. That's because they have to get blood and guts. They got blood and yeah, guts. That. So they, so this is the bed to all of that. Yes. Okay. This I don't know if this is newsy enough. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind the da 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 da. da. It sounds yeah. like a, like a beginning of a, like a game show. Like you know or, or Law and Order. I think of the beginning of Law and it, Order. Law and Order. Yeah, CSI. Yeah. One of those. Yeah, CSI. That's what yeah, I think. That's absolutely of. right. Well, why don't you try some Skinner? <laughs> <laughs> Let's check in with Heather real quick there, uh, Josh. <laughs> she has the busiest social calendar in the state of Arkansas. Her insight on what to do across the state is unrivaled. She is the go-to person when you need an event promoted. It's time to talk to the queen of promotions from AY Magazine and Arkansas Money and Politics. It's Heather Baker. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Happy how, Friday. how are you doing? Did you go? Did I see you in the front row of, uh, I did see Don Grisham last night from Natural State Wholesale on the very front row right in front of uh, uh, Van Sant. Well, who did you go with? I went with Jessica and her family. We oh, were, okay. Yeah, but, 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 but Don Grisham was front row. Did you go to Skinner last night, well, Heather? Did I see Don's you in the front row? Don's not good if he's not front row. Right. 
I did not go last night. I can't know if I can I see Heather at a Skinner and ZZ Top concert. No, or no, it's not no, her no I mean not not for enjoyment, for work. Well, for yeah. work, but not for enjoyment. That's not you. That's not you're more oh, of a One Direction. One Direction. Yeah. Oh my gosh, never, never, ever, ever <laughs> One Direction. I That's do not it. like They're boy okay. bands. They're Heather, okay. Heather, what is happening around the state? I know we've got the big Justin Moore golf tournament uh, Sunday and his performance Sunday mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. Who, by the way, that uh, Coffin by Design or Coffin Lumber is a sponsor of that uh, event. Uh, what about you, what about the rest of the weekend? What do you have going on? Well, there's actually a ton of stuff going on. We'll have again all of the uh, sporting events and all of the music series on aymag.com. But we'll start with the lanterns at Wildwood Park. Um, this is a magical experience. If you have not checked it out, you need to head over there. It's a very popular outdoor festival, and they light up lanterns all over Wildwood Park. Have you been to that before? I have not. It is completely magical. They do world cultures, fantasy land, all through the United States city. But they're, they're like white lanterns, and they light them, of course, and they put them all over the park. But there is a ticketed fee for that. We'll have information up for that. And it goes through um, this Saturday. We have the Travelers are playing. I did go see the Travelers this week already. Fun. I got to sit in the Centennial Box and um, hang out there and eat some hot dogs and nachos. So check them out. And they'll be playing all the way through Sunday. Tonight, we have the 66th annual induction of the Banquet to the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. Yes. Um, great athletes being put in there, for sure. Uh, um, we have Argenta Arts District will be having their art walk, and that is tonight. I love Argenta. I love how safe it is. I love the restaurant. It's just got a great vibe. If you want a great date night, just stroll around and get some, some great bites, some great food. They've got comedy down there, great new bars. So much fun, but they'll have the art walk going on, and that is tonight. Um, last weekend, Ryan and I went to – we did go to that um, car and truck show because she wanted to hear all the sounds. She's all about yes, stereos and yes. sounds. But this weekend, we have the Truck Cats and Tunes, and Park Plaza Mall is putting that on. They are starting to have a lot of events at Park Plaza with these, these new owners. They're trying to kind of reinvent the wheel out there. No pun intended with Truck Cats and Tunes, but it's Saturday – from 11 to 5, um, tickets are $5. Kids 12 and under will be um, for free. Um, per, the proceeds of all this will go to Arkansas Food Bank, which is a great benefit as well. Um, and then our friend over at um, the Trap Center in AGFF Shooting Center in Jacksonville will be honoring um, Mr. McCollum from Max Curry Wings this Saturday, and they will be having an amazing trap event if you love that. Um, I do like going there. I might not have been as easy top, but I could shoot some traps really good. And um, they'll be having a event at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, and you can check that out. We'll have all that at awmag.com. I love the fact, Heather, that, uh, you know, obviously you could spend an hour talking with us about all the events on the weekend, but people can go to awmag.com and, uh, and find everything. I mean, you, you can see everything, and so plan your weekend accordingly. Very nice. Absolutely. And, um, and you made a – you made this issue of Arkansas money and politics as we're in seeing the Junior Achievement Hall of Fame Gala coming up on May the 9th and inducting Mr. Doug McMillan into the Hall of Fame for Junior Achievement. But um, if you haven't checked it out, we have Sheffield Nelson, Gary Jones, and Matt McCarty on our cover telling the important story of Junior Achievement and the ants that just hit the street. Yeah, it's funny, uh, Heather, we've got uh, uh, Steve Wartman here with, with, with us, and Steve is my old teammate. And uh, Steve's gone on, Roger. Steve's gone on to become a successful man. He's an entrepreneur. He's a Timber man. Doug McMillan, he was also our age. He's a, he's a billionaire. Yep. And what are you and I doing? Well, you're with me. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> we're, is that uh, where you we're, are? We're, we're, we've talked for a living for 25 years yeah. with our mouths. So, yeah. uh, yes. And we can't use this. We can we can, we love the stuff that's in here. I, I look, it makes us feel masculine. I look forward to doing that event with you, Heather. That'll be a lot of fun. Pet name. Oh, yeah. What's your What's your pet yeah, name for each other, yeah. for you and Ryan? What What's the pet name? Uh well, he calls me my honey. I mean, it's one of my license plates on one of my cars. So okay. he's like my honey. And I and I have to call him everything but his name because if I actually say his name, like I'll call him babe or honey or anything. But if I say Ryan, he knows he's in trouble. And he and he actually has kind of like an anxiety about it. He doesn't want anybody <laughs> to call him Brian. So I, just I get it. Babe. Does he want me to call him babe? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he wants? You can call him babe. Everybody uh. Also, I'll, next time I see him, I'm going to call him Sweetie. <laughs> All 
All right, Heather. Oh, I'm I have to give a shout out to Steve Workman. I've got to get a Steve, yeah. uh, shout out to Steve Workman. Um, been calling on him since I created Arkansas Wild back in the day, but they have, Kaufman has come a long way and they have that beautiful showroom right on Highway 10. It's got everything you can imagine in it, but they've got the most beautiful accents for your home as well. Well, thank you, Heather. I appreciate that. All right, Heather. Have a great weekend. Thank Thanks, you. Heather. Have I'll a good. Y'all have a great one. Right, bye bye. Uh, Steve, good to see you, buddy. How are good you? Good. Uh, what, 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 what graduating? Were you, did, were you up there? Were you? Was your first eighty two? Eighty three. Eighty three. Okay, I was trying to think. So you're, you're, you graduated in eighty two from Moralton High School, and who else was in your class with you in eighty three when you came in with as a Razorback? Who oh, was so you had Greg Horn. Greg Horn, uh, yes, great kicker from uh, Russellville. Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones, who I saw yesterday with the Cowboys. Yes. Uh, who else? Anybody else? I oh, was trying to Derek think. Derek Thomas. Derek Thomas. I saw him wow. at Dean's funeral. Derek and Thomas, um, uh, was Marshall Foreman in the 83? Marshall Foreman. Monroe Mitchell. Okay, I'll remember Monroe Mitchell. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. You can't giggle and not. And no, no, no. I hadn't heard that name in a while. Oh, yeah. okay. Kevin okay. Anderson from Ke Marlton. Kevin Anderson. Yeah, yeah, you had two Marlton guys, that, that, that which, you know, small town. Get two Razorbacks. That well, was there's a, one up there from Moralton now well, that's leaving. I, I, I brought, brought that up. Yeah. Do you, are you familiar with him? Have you been around and know much I'm about not. him? Too bad that didn't work out yeah. for him. You know, yeah. he leaves, comes back, and thinks he's going to be the, yeah. the guy to, to, to so follow. So did we. Yeah, I, th I think so, too. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, we had some good times together, We had man. some good times. Yeah. Good times. And we were just talking about it, hard to keep up with the guys we played with it back is. in the day. And, you're, 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 you know, I think your story here, I remember my understanding was you were just working at Kaufman and worked your way up over I don't know how many years till you got in a position to, to make a, a run at buying the place. How many years were you with this before you were able to, 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 to buy it? So I started at, you know, started at the business in 86. and, and Doing uh, what? Driving the forklift. That's what I said. The lowest level you could be driving a forklift at Kaufman, and then how many years later? You got a lift stuff. Yeah. Nine years later, uh, moved into management. Okay. And then uh, four years later, got an opportunity. So I'm, I'm I'm knowing that. So somebody says, somebody says, Steve Bortman just bought Kaufman. I said, what? I said, wait a minute. He just bought Kaufman? And so great great success story. And then obviously, you know, it goes back to 1952 or three, 1952. right? 1952. Yeah, 1952. And it's still on Asher. You still get that same location. Yeah, what do. Is, then do you remember the commercials with the guy in the he's, tuxedo he's, and all he's, that? He's seen it. We do. So Mr. Kaufman built the business on service. And the point of the commercial was, was whatever you needed to finish your project, uh, he would make sure that he would find a way to get it there. So uh, limo shows up, guy gets out <laughs> the tuxedo idea. and delivers one nail. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's a great idea. So, so it's a great yeah. concept. I knew I remembered yeah. that. So, I knew I remembered so, that. So did you take it from that? Were you part of that that became this to, to move all the other uh, items you have? I was part of that. Uh, you know, I was employed there at, at the time the commercial was. Sure, 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 so sure. Forth. But, yeah. uh, but yes, I mean, you know, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, to the next level. Are you happy? Yeah, you have been here nine I mean, years out here with this. Like this so good, it's like coaching. You got to surround yourself with good staff, good employees, which we do have, you know, and and they do a great job. And you know, you just have to. Uh, well, you're raising wow. the bar out here. I mean, you, you're yeah, doing full no, design. No. Yeah, I love the, the the sort of the slogan that you use. You can build it from the floor up. I mean, everything from your, you know, obviously from 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 lumber and uh roofing and doors and windows and all the other things interior as well yeah the store is a little unique justin and james have done a great job purchasing you know want two items yeah and listen, so you got, you, listen bobby tucker said he could see uh, roger in the in the camera yeah your electric bike and, yeah. and was looking at that i mean you, i mean why do you have an electric bike in there why, why in the world would you have an electric bike in there you don't know <laughs> somebody's gonna buy it though no, we rent it Oh, you rent it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. Who knew? Um, hey, so, Roger, what is yeah, that? It just hit me. What is significant about Steve's class in 1983 at U of A? 1983? Because it, yeah, in 19, if, I, if I've got my math right, yes. What's significant about his Razorback class in 1983? 1983. Uh, was, it, was it a coach or a bowl game? I'll give you a hint, Roger. I knew if it. I'm not mistaken, it's, it. it's the last class of New Hope. It's <laughs> the last it class I've recruited. And after Does that scare you when you hear that? Once I recruited <laughs> Steve Workman, I knew I couldn't do any better, so I got out of here. I went to the University of Minnesota, and then we went to the University of Notre Dame where I won the national championship, Roger. But yeah, you were the last class of uh, Lou, right? right? That's right. Yeah, wow. that was uh, – so what do you remember? What, 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 what are your memories of playing uh, football? You know, uh, you know, practice with Coach Oates was, yeah. was uh, pretty unique because, you know, yeah. we had to stretch – inside because yes. the turf was so hot yes yes and he would walk around with that towel around his neck yes oh, i mean wow. you know be 100 degrees and that, and that bucket cap 
and he, a bucket cap and had that whistle, but he wound up this way and this way. Is that right? And then yeah. all of a sudden he'd disappear, and you're like, where'd Coach go? And he'd be 30 rows up in the yeah. stands. Yeah. Coach, that 83 was a horrible year. That was the year I redshirted, and that was the year that Lou got fired and just right. did not – it was 6-6, six and six, I think, that year. And yep. Coach Hatfield came. So, Coach Hatfield last night. Did you? Yeah, he still looks good. Yeah, and two completely the kind of coaching staffs between the two. Oh, well, yeah. uh, with your son and talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, he was with the, Petrino. The, he yeah. was talking about the questions that, that, that Petrino. I could imagine Holtz being the same guy. You had to be on your toes if he ever opened his mouth to you. That's exactly right. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and it's, Justin was saying the same thing. So yeah, listen, he was there's, prepared. There's, there's no question. Look at that little kid over there. He's, <laughs> he's taking everything off that shelf. Look at that. Is that the cutest thing ever? There's a lot of similarities. Uh, uh, if you just joined the show, we got Steve Wortman, who is the owner, and one of my old for, former Razorback teammates, a linebacker. A lot of similarities between Petrino style and, and Lou, his temper. Oh, a a lot of similarities. It. Now, the Bobby Petrino now maybe is a little bit more. Uh, you know, Has to be a little bit more, you know, laid back. But when he's time to he's time to rip in you, he's going to be like Lou could do. Oh, exactly. So, pull pull your helmet down and who who, 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 who uh, recruited you, Steve? Who was the guy that uh, was Ken Turner? Ken Turner, mm -hmm. who wow. uh, you know, Ken and Jesse are both you know getting up in that age where. And we're not going to have them around much longer. Of course, y'all went to the to the celebration service of Dean Weber. Mm -hmm. Tough to, to lose Dean. Dean was such a staple for us all those years. And so. Remember um, his son swimming in the, in the I, whirlpool. Yes, that's right. Exactly. His son would be around. Exactly right. Really? And, uh, yeah. Of course, Lou's, Lou's son was up there, too. What's the, the he's coach of football now? He was a youngster. Oh, when we were up uh, there, yeah. I don't know. What is his name? And, and I want to mention also, too, that you're a big supporter of Justin Moore's event this weekend. We are. You have been for, for several years now. Great, great. You know, we we love playing in the tournament. It's a great event. Yeah, uh, Justin does a great job. And you and usually not only that, Steve. You guys have done. I've, I've emceed. You know, that's what I seem to do more than anything. I emcee a lot of events, and I've seen you guys there to to support other great charitable causes too. So you, you're you're all about giving back as well. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. You know they're going to come and knock on your door. You know you know they're, they're you know they're coming. Uh... We get knocks. Of course you know Steve, skip holes. Skip holes. Yeah. Of course Steve. That. You know Steve's. Yeah. He doesn't want to sit there in front of everybody. And what? The outstanding linebacker, old fifty three. That what you, what to, can uh... you tell us? What can you tell us? <laughs> How about my mustache and neck roll back in the day, Steve? And it, it always shirt. <laughs> exception. <laughs> I'll show you. You got some? And I was, oh, nice. And I, was, uh, I, I had the best, was he just had the best the, tan on the team. Do you have the type of stain here that would match <laughs> his skin color back then? Josh, no. Josh. Is, I, no. no. Jo yeah. Josh, one of the things, I, I felt like I had to take pride in being from Panama City, that yeah. when I came back from summertime, I had to be pitch black dark. Uh, well, and you, you would compete, you said, with those guys down there, with the guys down in San Padre that would come up. Oh, yeah, those Texas beaches. guys, yeah. yeah. No, Texas, it, nobody like, Which, so, so, I have rarely had a shirt on. <laughs> of course, and still wearing a neck roll. <laughs> not anymore. Uh, what, what, do you, what do you got here you're going to show us here? Do you have a picture? This is a picture of him, I think. Oh, I, I thought was, you were looking to show you what, you know, kind of, you know, dealing with business and so forth and so on. This is what this is what it does to you. So it goes from this. Look at look at oh, that. Wow. Yeah. Look this is what I remember about Steve. Well, well, let's let's have that for a second. This is what I remember about Steve exactly. is that look right at look at the jaws on that guy. Air, look yeah. look at the cheeks. The, oh, the, wow. the square. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Yeah, put it up here. Put it up here. There so he it goes is. from that to this. Yeah, that's okay. That's oh, all right. That's, that's all that's, right. That's on the camera. You've you earned it. that, Jack. You've yes. earned that. Well, that's, look at that. You, you have your jersey up anywhere? You have your jersey for yeah, hell? I've got, awesome. We just moved, and I yeah. just found a box that had a bunch of stuff in it that, I, you know, I even forgot I had. Yeah. Now, see, look at, see, look at his helmet. That was it. That was just it. What's the hog? Look at that. Just play. And, 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 look at this and when you see helmet. your boys and all that with yeah, the there's, helmet. There's no lines in that helmet there. And no. now you see all these aerodynamic no. and safety. Was there any even padding in there? Was <laughs> it like gauze pads? Is that all? Yeah, it Steve, was? Steve remembers. <laughs> now, Josh and, I, and Roger <laughs> sure me say this. We would go down. The, the Frank Royals complex was up a little. It was elevated above the field. And it was inside where we would somehow stretch. And we would walk on the field. And, the, and you could see the. <laughs> The heat waves about six to eight feet. It was so hot, and then they had to start w you know, watering down the field. They would water the field down. The it was so humid. And I think the other thing oh, is, 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 is we had those metal. That was the feet. worst thing they could probably do. Well, Dean put metal plates in the bottom of our shoes to help us with turf toe. Mm -hmm. And it was, of course, you measure metal in the bottom of your shoe, and then you're out there in a 120 degree turf, and it was and your just, feet are cooking. Oh, but it was horrible. <laughs> so then we start wet, the skin, it's a griddle. Roger. Then we start wetting down the field. They were slipping all over the place. It was just a disaster. And Holy uh, cow. But about, and and again, the padding under there was nothing like it is now with the rubber balls and all absolutely. that. It was just concrete. How about Lou? A Lou though, still being around, still speaking, still doing some TV stuff. You know, he's got to be mid 80s now, but. Uh, 
You, you got a funny Lou Holt story that comes to mind or when he jumped on you or chewed you out any? Or did nah. you try to stay out of his... Uh... You know, like I said, when, when he would correct you, he would pull that face mask down. Can't and, do that anymore. Can't you grab wish, face mask. Yeah, I can't do that you, now. You wish you had a uh, shield on because he would... Like that? He would, yeah, the spray. Spit. He would well, spray on you. The other thing, if you were on the front row, if you were That's on the front funny. row of a meeting, you were going to get spit on. Oh, my you remember, God. You remember what else we had to do when he came in the room? You remember that, Steve? Oh, sit straight up. So, Roger, it would be, if you're sitting in the minute, the, the minute everybody would be sort of kicked back with right. loop, you would, attention. Well, you never told that story yeah, before. Yeah, you would come to attention. If you were... Yeah like this yeah there's no gangster lane you would you would no, out. You really would come, you would come to attention Why hey, quick, you never before, that? before we let you go i know so obviously you got kids running around here doing fun things you've got toys so obviously you want to make this kid friendly obviously yes. your business yeah, yeah absolutely. and for families too, and family too right? yeah sure. and your grandpa watch this roger what is your what is the name they call you pop pop uh, look here pop Ro pop hey it's all pop pop roger there it is. is that, was that one of yours right there? Yeah. What's 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 it? What's his name? That looks like Rhett. that picture. What is it? Rhett. Rhett, come here. Come here, Rhett. I called him an it. Come here, come here, Rhett. Come here, pop. pop that pop. looks like that picture of you. Look at that face and that hair. Look at he don't want to. Look at he don't want to be a. Come here, see pop pop. Uh, uh, Steve. So Roger's a pop pop. I'm a pop. Both pop. of you are pop pop. Absolutely. Uh, uh, oh wow. <laughs> That's all right. Oh my god. We understand. <laughs> we understand. He saw the headset. Headset scaring. Oh yeah. Wow, he uh, well, that's a small. Look one. at look at that face. Look at those the the lips there. He's that's a pop pop playing football. He took he took <laughs> off everything on that shelf of the uh, over there a minute there ago. There he is. Look at, look at there. Away, uh, well, hey, we're great to see you, buddy. Uh, congratulations you. on all your success. <laughs> Thank you. What hey, I think board. it's great you're giving back too. By the way, speaking about giving back, uh, it's your big spring giveaway. You've had you've had draw you've had uh, where you can sign in and do this every yeah, day this there, week. Yeah. For here, the big green egg, the, the still blower and trimmer, and the thousand dollar floor credit. You're going to do the drawing at 10. So if somebody still gets in here before 10, they can sign up for these. Absolutely. No yeah. purchase necessary. No purchase yeah. necessary. Uh, so we will see you um, Saturday, Sunday night. Sunday You'll night. be there Sunday night. Sunday night. Yeah, and then we'll see you at the golf course uh, on Monday. Monday we'll be out there broadcasting Monday. 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 Yeah. We okay. first went, we were going to be in the bus, Justin's bus. Mm -hmm. Bus ain't going to be there, I guess. Then we're going to be on the uh, we're going to be on the outside on the little area overlooking well, the putting. I need to know that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. We're going to be. 40, deg 40, 40 degrees or 50 degrees mm. is what they say it's going to mm. be. So I said, well, we're back inside. Back so inside. We've, we've gone from one point to one point to the next. Okay, so. very good. Smart play. Yes. Smart play. All right, we'll take a break. Uh, thanks Thank you, Steve. Steve. Thanks, Thanks, Pop, Pop. Thank you. Appreciate Pop, Pop. it. Uh, we'll take, Thanks, a break. You. take a break. Come back. We'll check your messages. 661-1037 is, uh, is the number if you want to text on the text line. Who is this? Na -na 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 -na. Listen, I want to hear more of the uh, God the Office talk to the cat dude, Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i think it's time for another album he needs to do some work. <laughs> another, another album all right 9 30 chris walker yeah. right now cannot stand up <laughs> <laughs> Join us for the 20th annual Double B's Barbecue, May 11th. Teams from all over will compete for the coveted Jim's Razorback Pizza Grand Champion Trophy. Get your tickets at buzzbecue.com. This is Sports Center. Tonight, the field of 16 teams for the 2024 NBA playoffs will be set after a pair of play-in games. First at 6 o'clock on ESPN, it's the Miami Heat and the Chicago Bulls. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the East, the Boston Celtics. The Heat will be without Jimmy Butler tonight. In the Western Conference at 8.30, it's the Sacramento Kings on the road against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Pelicans will be without star forward Zion Williamson. The winner of this game will take on the number one seed in the Western Conference, the Oklahoma City Thunder. The NBA playoffs officially tip off tomorrow afternoon. I'm Josh Neighbors for the Buzz Radio Network. Weather from the Fletcher Weather Center. Buzz weather with KARK's Pat Walker. A stray shower is still going to be possible today. We'll have a cloudy sky and much cooler. We'll see temperatures only to the mid to upper 60s. Tonight it stays cloudy, about a 20% chance of a shower. And still a little cooler will drop down to around 52 degrees overnight. For the Buzz Radio Network, I'm meteorologist Pat Walker. Riverfront Steakhouse Special, dinner for two for $60. 10 ounce filet, fried shrimp, two sides, and our famous salad bar, only $60. Good Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night.
Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Wes Moore. The Arkansas Razorbacks are headed to South Carolina to take on the Gamecocks. Coming up Friday on Out of Bounds, we'll preview Arkansas-South Carolina two-ranked teams, Hagan Smith on the mound. Plus, Steve Sullivan will join us at 210. We'll get his thoughts on the series, plus a look back at the spring game and Calipari. All that plus what's trending coming up on Out of Bounds Friday from 1 to 4. Join Joe and me. Roger Scott for Gravely Moors. Working hard once again, making sure my lawn is lush, weed-free, and beautiful. And by working hard, I mean, of course, I'm watching Bradley Owens mow it for me. Bradley, tell the good folks hello. Hey, everybody, how's it hey, going? right there, Bradley. I don't want you to stop what you're doing. What he didn't tell you is that you can take your very own Gravely Moor home today at 0% interest over 48 months. That's right, 0% interest on both residential and commercial mowers. Now, Bradley, tell them where they can go to get their very own Gravely Moor. Well, you go That's there. enough, my friend. I'll finish it for you at Dacus Rental in Searcy or Haynes home center in Moralton. Craig O'Neill here. Heard Wednesday mornings on the bus, which, as you know, is all talk. Now, if you want all performance, that's Genesis of Conway, the newest luxury automotive dealership in central Arkansas. You pull in, and immediately you're impressed with a line of sedans and SUVs, and all of them award winners. I'm currently driving the GV70, and know this, it's the greatest car I've ever been in. Go see them, or check out genesisofconway.com and discover the future of luxury today. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The lotto jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for problem gambling help on Smith & Wesson revolvers are built to suit the demands of the most serious firearms enthusiast. And for a limited time at Max Prairie Wings in Stuttgart, receive a $50 rebate on Smith & Wesson J-Frame revolvers or a $75 rebate on Smith & Wesson K-Frame, L-Frame, N-Frame, and Governor revolvers. This offer expires April 30th, so hurry before time runs out. Max Prairie Wings with the best selection, the most competitive prices, and all the ammo you need. So make the short drive to Stuttgart today or online at maxpw.com. This is Pat Bradley. If you're benched by injury, get the state's leading orthopedics and sports medicine specialists on your team. UAMS Health offers surgical and non-surgical care of muscle and joint pain and injuries for all ages. Our treatment plans include expert rehabilitation services to improve mobility and get you back on the court. With clinics in Central and Northwest Arkansas, UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine also provides team coverage for colleges and high schools. Learn more at UAMS mshealth.com hey everybody this is nfl hall of famer dan hampton and i love hanging out with paz and the boys on the buzz tune in every morning so you can get the news just like i do my god uh, sweet home alabama <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, pretty. There it is. Hey, uh, Kate. Kate Moore is is loving this. You know, she loves got the golf stuff. There's a lot of kids around the country that love got the golf stuff like a cat. Well, there is. As a pop pop, it's incumbent upon me to have the guy in the office that talks like a cat, Turkey Guy. Yes. And Mr. Pterodactyl. <laughs> we and have, my, we uh, haven't asked Josh um, in his dating life, <clears throat> what do the girls call you? What's your little pet name, nickname, yeah, Josh? Do you have different names for different chicks? Or by, vice versa. Well, yes. Here's here's my, my general rule with this is uh, they cannot call me Joshua. That is, that is, I call you that a lot. Do it. Oh, okay. Allie wants to do it all the time whenever she's mad at me. Every girl's always wanted to do it all the time whenever uh, they're mad at so, me. So, two things they're on not that. Allowed to, that. That's reserved for Joy. Was that was that uh, Roger? Was that you, Roger or Justin? That as Double R called you Joshua yesterday. I think it was, was it Double R or you? I mean, it was it Justin? Or I you? call him Joshua. Uh, as, as as double, as double R. R. Well, I text him. I text him. Double R is okay. funny because Double R always makes the name. Yeah, I've always yeah. said it. he's always said he, you may not even have it. Just like Ray Tucker. Rage, and that's why I started doing it, or the rainwater I know does it, is because Ray told me one time, my name's not Raymond. It's just that he will add I, everything I, I, to I, it. I, I, he I, will I, take a Larry and call it Lawrence. Lawrence! <laughs> uh, couple. Joy gets to call me Joshua. I'm trying to think. I don't really do you Do you have names for your girls that you date? Yeah. Uh, what do you call Allie? 
Sugar cup. Mm. What sugar cup? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm a big, I'm a big baby guy. I'm a big, a big ba- baby, baby. You're a baby guy. You're a baby. Um, you, don't, you don't have a ne- pet name for the buttocks. Couple things here. What? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Jennifer Ma. Hey. I saw your hand right. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just I don't know. Let's stop it. So <laughs> remember Jennifer Ma, who won the uh, or either second place in the chef competition. The uh, yeah, yeah, around yeah, the yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah. She's donating a uh, a chef dinner for ten at the Goodwin Manor. Uh, for Justin's event that that Sunday night, she thinks it will go between five and ten thousand dollars, all going to St. Jude. Uh, but I was going to say, do, do you remember about Jennifer the 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 crazy connection that her husband had? Uh, do you remember Josh? We talked about it on the uh, show. It was a it was a uh, the cakes. No, it, it was no, pies? it was a mafia connection that huh? her husband had. Yes, I don't because know. we were talking about the, uh, the Godfather. And and it was uh, uh was it Luca Brazzi? Luca Brazzi, that's yes. Exactly. Okay. So apparently, Luca Brazzi's uh, grandfather is, is 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 somehow connected to his to her uh, husband. The, He's like fourth cousin or something. So he, well, he her, was in the mafia. Her her husband. He was is, in the Colombo mafia. Uh, in this Colum- the Colombo mafia. Yes. That's what it was. How crazy yes. is that? I tell you, yeah, crazy yeah we got to get her on the show and talk about. Get him on the show and talk about that. Well, listen, you guys want to do it? I can do it for <laughs> you. We we'll get a hold of. We have been on the road now for basically two weeks, yeah. and we're going to be on the road pretty I much know. all <laughs> next week too. We don't, we don't see Josh oh, anymore. I, the, listen, the eclipse last week seemed like it was a month ago. I cannot believe that was last Monday. I mean, that is not you know Monday. Uh, yeah, not this uh, Monday, Monday, but week. it was last week Monday. It'll and be two uh, weeks. This so we listen. We love when our sponsors want us on the road. We're glad oh, to do it. Definitely. It's not easy to do, and it. And oh, you do a great job in handling it. it. We, listen, Josh is Josh has more to, prolific yeah, on the board. Yes, it all takes effort, but we appreciate you guys hanging with us. And yes. Sometimes the show's a little crazy. We appreciate you still listening. Yes. One of the, one of our stops, uh, Roger, was Wednesday at Luxury Pool and Spa. Yeah. One week out of the year, they do their annual sale. I think we've got Andrea on the line for the last time. Uh, Josh, and let's go to the Hodgins Glass Little Rock Glass Hotline. Andrea, uh, did you guys uh, have a fun day on Wednesday with us, or were you ready for us to get out of your hair? <laughs> oh, we always love having y'all. Y'all are a blast. We're, we're ready for y'all to come back. Uh, so I do think y- y'all need a little break. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you've you been giving away stuff every day. Tomorrow's the last day of the annual sale. Uh, anything you want to share? Do you want to share any winners? You've been giving, you've, you've given away ten thousand dollars so far this week. Yes, we got. Wait, I didn't, I didn't get the call in yesterday, so I was going to announce the winners for yesterday and then today, uh, today's winners. Okay, go ahead. We'll have another drawing for tomorrow. Um, so the winners of a hundred fifty dollars gift card uh, to Luxury Pool and Spa were Tim Hill and Todd Rayburn. Uh, Tim Hill is out of Russellville. Todd is out of Greenbrier. And then our PK Grill winners the last couple days are Kenny Munn out of Houston, Arkansas, and Chris Ward out of Greenbrier, Arkansas. Okay. Another Greenbrier. So, yeah, so but, congratulations. To yes. <laughs> Yeah, you know, appreciate them coming in. Those those grills are really really nice. Um, no, they are. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I, I know you got to know how to use them. Yeah, use yeah, them properly. Yeah, yeah, you would know how to do it. No, yeah, well, yeah. I'd have to learn, but I, I don't know. I don't cook. You do. You, you cook a, more than enough anybody. to utilize everything that it does. I don't yeah. do the smoking. You could, and you all could that. go on YouTube and figure it out. You know uh, what? I'm just start <laughs> going on YouTube to do it. Andrew, congrats. Hope it's been a great yes. week and hope you have another day, good day today and tomorrow. The sale ends tomorrow, but uh, go by and check them out. Check them out online, but go into the store for a chance to register to win. So uh, it's been fun. Uh, have a great week and a uh, great weekend. Thank you all again for everything. We Thank appreciate you. It. Thanks, Andrea. Y'all have a good weekend. Thank today. you, Andrea. You Thank too. You. Also, we need to mention again something that you helped create and grow into what it is is Steak Burger Friday yeah. today. At, at, uh, let's give another one away. At, okay, let's give let's one away. Let's give one right, right now. For Butcher Steak Shop. Bur- you know, and here's the deal. You know, I don't want you going by yourself. I want you and a buddy to go to Steak Burger Friday, and they are fantastic. Let's do this. The way we do it, we'll have to get the name and number from Josh, yeah. and then we'll share it with uh, Kevin. Absolutely. Case. Yeah. Absolutely. So what do we do? What do we do? from one of your questions last night? From trivia, you want to throw out one of your questions? Uh, absolutely, okay. I'll do it right now. Here we you, go. you better first call person it. to call six six one one zero three seven. Six six one one zero three seven. There is only one. There is only one. What is the only capital city in the entire country that has over one million people? The only capital wow, there's city. only one capital. Only one state capital That's city. That's almost hard to believe. I know it is, but over a That's million. what the king of all trivia does. Now, you can Google but the Google first person. First one to call, 661 That's right. Um, okay, so let me think about this. Yeah, you think about it. Josh, I'll send you the. Uh, uh, are you 100% sure on this answer? I'm positive. Okay. 
Wow, that is shocking. I know, I know. So there are 49 state capital cities that have less than, of course, you know, obviously. Well, some of them are a million or, or oh, 900,000 or whatever. Pull, pull, pull call board. Pull uh, call let's go, let's like go, to let's go to the first. Yeah, let's yeah, go, go to the first one. First one. All right, caller, line one. What's your name? Andy. Andy? Yes. What's the answer, my friend? Buddy, I think it's Phoenix, Arizona. It is Phoenix, Arizona. Wow. Oh, there it is right there. Andy, you How did you know that? friend. Yeah. How did you know that, Andy? Oh, Google is my friend. Oh, okay, look at there. Well, that's, that's okay. Andy. You that's know it. what? Google you, just ruins everything. But, here's the, but, now, but now you know. Now you know there's only one state capital city. I'm just shocked by that. Over I'm a shocked million, by that. Over a million people. Andy yeah, thank you. Thank you, Josh. Hey, listen, information. Take care of Andy. He gets two. For him and a buddy to go to Steak just, just Burger Friday. Name number, yeah. How stupid am I? Where I'm like, call or line one, you're on, as if he knows what line he's on. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. It's the God. theater of the mind. No. You can make as it anything you want. Clue what line he is. <laughs> you, can listen, you could tell him it when sounds they had good. Hey, call it sounds you were good. on the VIP line. Josh, did you know yeah, that? Exactly. <laughs> did you know that answer, Josh, that it was Phoenix? Uh, no, actually, I, I did not know that. My guess was going to be. Uh, Chicago, because I know that it's, it's pretty sure. Good. Uh, last night there was Chicago. L- uh, last night a lot of people. Yeah, it's, not, it's not the capital. No, it's not the capital. Yeah. Right. Well, last Spring, night Springfield. So yeah. yeah. Right. So there were there there was a lot of well, other. Well, give ones me another one, Roger. That would be close to a million. Can you zoom off the top of your I, head? I look no I'll, off the. Okay, let's just start naming can't. off state yeah. capitals: Tallahassee, Florida, Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, Jack and, what, and, and, and look at Little Rock, Arkansas. I looked yeah. that up just 100, to say. 190,000. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's not even yeah. 300? No, no, no. Okay. All right, so the next closest is Austin, Texas. Yeah. People have 183,000. Okay, so it's, right, it's knocking at the door. Exactly. Again, not a huge city. There's The metropolitan cities aren't capital cities. Yeah, about that. I think that. that's a fascinating deal. The third it one's is. really fascinating. Said it, what Colum- is, go ahead. Columbus, Ohio. How about that? What I've is been, that? I've been there before. It's 700,000. Okay, there's 900,000. Right. San, San Diego doesn't there. have a million people? Is San Diego's San not state capital. capital in California. What is that? What is Sacramento? It? Oh, Sacramento. I'm sorry, Sacramento. Yeah. I get yeah. it mixed what up with that. What is Sacramento? What is Sacramento? It's probably close to a million. It's got to be. I guess the thought being. No, it's 530. Oh, wow. It's not wow. even wow. half. I guess the half. thought being maybe, you know, it's not that important that the that the largest, your capital city has to have Me. your largest population base. Yeah, absolutely. And, you and know which j- one surprises me? Atlanta is less than 500K. Sacramento, listen, Sacramento wait, 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 was chosen and Atlanta. How much is Atlanta? Less than 500,000. Wait a minute. It, and that's got it, that airport? 98,000. Atlanta, Georgia? Yes. That sounds wrong. A that, lot of, well, here's the thing. A lot of people don't – I believe Atlanta is – I'm not sure it's Atlanta County, but I know it's like Fulton County. It's Fulton a County. A lot of people live in Marietta County. Wow. I know. I know. Todd County and I, Marietta. Find out what, what the metro population is for Atlanta. I, it's right. got it's got to be over me. What about in New York State? <clears throat> what's, uh, what's the capital? It's Albany. That's Albany, Albany. Albany. Albany, yeah. New Albany York. is the capital. Yeah. 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 How about that? Yeah, That's it's a great question. It is. A, it's a fun one. You learned a little something. If, if, on that if, when, right I, when I think of Phoenix, Arizona, what, what, what comes to mind? Uh, Glenn Campbell. Yeah, that one. Or yeah, the yeah. Cardinals. I also think of Phoenix. Phoenix. Tommy used to play. Oh. Uh, uh, Arizona. Na, 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 na. And then the other one is, uh, the, the, what's the other song with Phoenix in it? Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix, if you will. No. No, that's not. That's it's Phoenix. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it Glenn Campbell? Uh, by the time, time I, I get, get to Phoenix, Phoenix, she'll be rising. <laughs> that's it. Phoenix. Al Pacino Glenn sings that in uh, Heat. Al Pacino is that, is that sings right? Phoenix? Yeah, yeah. by the time I get to Phoenix. I didn't know Phoenix, that. Arizona. That's it. Is it? That is? That's. What is that? That's uh uh that's it's a country uh, song. Yeah, it is, and that is uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Tony Pride. How about that? Yeah, I got that before oh, you. Is anybody going I got that to San Antonio or Phoenix, Arizona? How about, nailed it. How about that? All right. Old fifty three pull Look one at out you of the coming through yeah. on something wow. like that. Useless information. That's not your department. That's know, mine, and you pulled it out. Hope I'm not dumbing you down. Uh, we'll go oh, ahead. Yes. It's okay. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and take a break and come back yeah. and wrap it. By the way, so di- Ch- two, Chuck two has shut down the Friday uh, operation. It's over. You it's know, over. <laughs> thank you. Ch- are we not in trouble with the health department by doing that? Do we nah. not have to pass some kind of nah, uh, nah. deal? Yeah. <laughs> they like them too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Health department people got to eat too. I was looking at some of the birthdays as we go to break here, Roger. You know whose birthday it is? Elliot Ness. Who was the best Elliot Ness? 
Well, there's only one for us. Only one. And that's only, uh, I mean, uh, with all due respect to Robert Stack, we got to go Kevin Cobb. Yeah, he was so good. All right, so here's the scene right here. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna? Aren't you gonna check me? I just told you that. All I told you that I I was uh uh what do you call it? Uh, law enforcement. Treasury yeah. officer. Well, why would someone say they are that? That is not. That's one of my <laughs> great nice. scenes, right there. It's also uh, Dick Sargent's birthday today. And it's not his real name. It's Richard Cox. He it was on Bewitched. It is. It yeah. is uh, he changed his name. He was the original guy offered the job of Darren Stevens. Yes. But he was in a movie and tur- and couldn't do it, so they went to the other one. And then when Dick York couldn't f- fulfill it anymore because he had hurt his back and he got hooked on pain rel- painkillers and it just messed him up, they went back to Dick Sargent and it was never the same. How about that? And then uh, and d- his name was, uh, uh, and imagine what his name was. They were real good friends. Uh, uh, he and Elizabeth Montgomery were good friends. Josh, have you ever seen uh have you ever seen um uh Rocky Horror Picture Show? I have not, but I know a lot of people who like it. It's Tim Curry's birthday. I haven't seen that. It's so it's weird. It's a weird I've deal. I've never it, watched it. it. it it's What's a weird the song deal. that we know that comes um, out. What's the band? It's almost like meat, Meatloaf kind of music. It, it, it yeah, is Meatloaf. It, it is the meat because he's you in go, it. You go and you throw you throw rice and you throw all those kind of things. And, Meatloaf's uh, in that movie, right, Ralph? Meatloaf uh, is in Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, that's I, why it's I, I almost. Think, that's why he said it was like a meatloaf um, kind of song. And you go ahead and hit the. We can go ahead and hit the break and uh, head to uh, hit the music. Hit the break, uh, uh, Josh. I was gonna say the, today is also. Do we mention early in the show? It's the anniversary of two really bad things in our yeah. country's history. The Branch Davidian compound burned to the ground on this day. Eighty-six people died. Seventeen children. Two years later, idiot Tim McVeigh blew up a, a building in uh, Oklahoma City that killed 168. People, including 19 children. There's a daycare. They fried his butt. Uh, took too long to get it done. 2011. Uh, you remember who his buddy was? Is still in prison. Give me his initials. T N T uh, Terry Nichols. Terry Nichols is correct. 490 people were injured. Remember he pulled that van. It was a Murrah building, right? Yeah, M-U-R-R-A, that, that's exactly right. Yeah. Like that. How crazy is that? I remember exactly where. I was. Also, uh, uh, Levon Helm died on this day. Um, obviously, you, you recognize him the, the night we they drove it. old Dixie down and and uh, played uh, up Vernon on, Presley up in a on, movie up on Cripple, Cri- up on uh, Cripple, Cripple Creek. Creek. You've right. got the the wait. Um, you know what? And so I didn't know this, but apparently he narr- narrated the end of the right stuff. Did you know oh, that? No doubt. Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. seen the right stuff. He played uh, a guy with uh, uh, oh, the the fellow that played uh, the Chuck Yeager. He went up with Chuck Yeager. Oh, did he? Uh, in, in, in the he was also in the uh, the shooter, right, with uh, Mark Wahlberg. He was the guy who uh, had a great scene in there. I think so. Oh, that's a I great I've scene. I've never watched he was that really, movie. What? I've Wait, never seen guy, it. Guy is he in shooter? Uh, what's that? Yeah, I think he was. What? That was Levon. Which guy? Which guy? Home? Which guy was? Levon, 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 Helm. Le, Levon Helm. He was. Uh, he was from the band and uh, an Arkansas band. He uh, wrote to the night they drove and saying the night they drove old Dixie down the way and up on Cripple Creek. There's a great. I cannot. That's a guy movie. Is it? Oh my gosh! I bet you I've seen it fifty times. Oh, the shooter. God, it's awesome. It's a great. Shooter, yes. Right. It's a great. At the very end, when when uh when don't Mark, give it away if okay. I'm gonna watch it's it. It's so good at the end. Mark Wahlberg. It's amazing. Yes. Is it Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. Yes. It's so good. It is Mark Wahlberg, right? It's not about Pat Bradley. Yes. Yes. No, <laughs> no it's not. I will come back and wrap things up. 948 here on uh, Did you get morning a text from him last night? Who? Yeah, uh, this morning, 6. Roger Scott, here to talk to you once again about Sanders Ground Essentials. You know, I've had the fellas, Kent and Kyle Sanders, treating my lawn for years now. So here's my tip for you, and you can thank me later if you like. If you live anywhere in the Central Arkansas area, now would be the time for you to have them come out to your house as well. Whether it's to help you have the best-looking lawn in the neighborhood so that you can be the envy of all your neighbors, much like I am, or to help you eliminate those nasty, pesky, disease-carrying mosquitoes. That's right. Did you know that mosquitoes love to breed in places like a lot of shade, plant life, as well as as standing water. In fact, you don't necessarily even have to live near a body of water to have a mosquito problem. However, Sanders Ground Essentials can come out right your yard and around your house so that this year you'll be able to enjoy that beautiful outdoor space around your home and not have it ruined by mosquitoes. So start making your yard the envy of a neighborhood again like 
mine is and call my friends at Sanders Beyond Essentials today at 501-315-9395 or on the web at sandersground.com. Sanders Ground Essentials, let's get growing. Home Free Hoeing Golf Classic presented by Tito's Handmade Vodka and Ellen Cockrell is coming up Friday, April 26th at the Burns Park Championship Golf Course. Home Free Hoeing is a non-profit facility that provides free of cost lodging in a home-like setting for cancer patients and parents of infants in the neonatal ICU. Home Free Hoeing services UAMS, Children's, Cartai, Arkansas Urology, St. Vincent's, and Baptist Health. Lunch starts at 11 and the flight tees off at 12.30. Sign up to sponsor a team at www.homeforhealing.org or call Megan at 501-978-2900. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. For a free insurance review, see shelter agent Jeff Hodge or Jay Hellman, Little Rock, or Bo Beavis and Cabot. Do you have an invention idea but don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp today. We have representatives nationwide who will explain the InventHelp process step by step. Over 10,000 patents have been secured through InventHelp's patent referral services. The InventHelp data bank includes thousands of companies who have agreed to review new ideas. We've been helping inventors since 1984. Let's help you next. Get started today. Call 1-800-217-4380. That's 1-800-217-4380. Again, 1-800-217-4380. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identity identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Red tape. One in three businesses will get caught up in it, and they'll be penalized by the IRS for mismanaging their payroll. Because when you're handling payroll, HR compliance, and those constantly changing tax laws, that red tape can get sticky in a hurry. At The Payroll Company, we free you from that tangled mess and get you back to business. The Payroll Company, less headaches, more than payroll. Visit morethanpayroll.com to learn more. Do you recycle? Sure you do. Or you'd like to. Recycling is easy because you don't have to separate recyclable material. We'll do that for you. Just throw it in the cart. Loose. No bagging. To do recycling right, you need to know what should go in your cart and what shouldn't. To learn more, go to MyDoRight.com. At MyDoRight.com, we'll show you how to do recycling right. Do right and do it the right way. Hey folks, Trey Johnson here with H.J. Trailer Sales in Hot Springs. Spring is coming and everyone is getting ready to get outside. So if you need your trailer serviced or repaired, let us help you out. Or you may be needing a trailer to get your golf cart to the golf course. Or you need a trailer for work. Or if you just need to buy a new trailer for recreational use. Let us help you at H.J. Trailer Sales with one of the best service departments in the state. Visit us in Hot Springs or check us out on Facebook or at hjtrailersales.com. Do you have what it takes to compete in the 20th annual Double B's Bugs BQ competition? Register your team today at BugsBQ.com. Teams can compete in pork, chicken, ribs, brisket, and sauce. Spots are limited and go fast, and you don't want to miss out. Register your team now at BugsBQ.com and lock in your spot for the 20th annual Double B's Bugs BQ. Sponsored by Michelob Ultra, Gravely Mowers, Oakline Hot Springs, Tito's Handmade Vodka, Lion Legal, and LRS. Benefiting Ronald McDonald House Charities of Arkansas and North Louisiana. Can you hear Justin Moore's smoke alarm every 10 minutes? If you can, text our Southern Structural Solutions text line at 501-661-1037. Ella, our oldest, her best friend, and go, are they really sleeping until <laughs> now? <laughs> Ella goes, I, I mean, apparently. <laughs> Oh, we're going into their room now. <laughs> shake, shake, shake your booty. Oh, oh, nice transition. We've got we've got to schedule another uh, sleeping date at Justice House. I say we don't tell him. 
<laughs> to show up. You show up. What? No, we, that's just that's the what we need. More days of you all on the road. We'll bring <laughs> Chuck and we'll do some sandwiches. Um, I know we're going to check in with Justin and, and uh, DJ in just a minute. But before we do that, Laura Beth is back. And uh, we have got three winners to draw. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Uh, for both the $1,000 flooring credit, the uh, the steel blower and trimmer, and the big green egg. All worth yes. 1000 bucks a piece. Yes. All uh, right, let's go. Let's go first one. You want to go uh, the 1000 flooring credit? Yes. Now, here we okay. go. Okay. Do we, we have the names on here, right? Yes. Okay. Winner number one is? Josh. Can- oh, nice. Josh, well, congratulations. Josh Cannon. Josh Cannon? Cannon. Okay. Cannon. Cannon. Congratulations, Josh. You'll be calling him in a minute, right? I probably butchered that. Sorry, that's, Josh. That's okay. All right. You yes. got his phone number. $1,000 yeah. flooring yeah. credit. That goes to him. Next is the steel blower and trimmer. Wow. Again, worth $1,000 altogether. Hayden Sanders. Hayden, Hayden Sanders. Sanders. Congratulations to Hayden. And last but not least, the big green egg, thou- over $1,000. This is the biggie. Yes, this is the looks biggie. Like Hunter. Looks like a little Hunter. Mike Hunter. Page. Mike Page. Come on down. So, uh, yes. Well, congratulations to those. Great to see you again, Laura Beth. Yes. Thanks for going great over thank here. You. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, by the way, too, if you can't get over here, you can go online to coffinlumber.com. Yes. Uh, and if you want to get an appointment set up, if somebody come to your house, just call over here and get it done, right? Right. Or uh, drop in. Love all, lo, love all the kiddos around here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, a lot of a lot of energy. Yeah, look look at the cheeks on that kiddo. I'm telling you. Well, great to see you again, Laura. Thank thanks you. for having us out here. Yes, thank, thank you all. You, thank uh, you. Josh, let us know when uh, Justin or DJ. Okay. Uh, good morning, Justin. Hi, guys. Uh, last night I had a chance. Hello, I'll, be, I'll be emceeing the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame banquet tonight, and I met the new UCA coach and his coaching staff last night at Cash. Uh, he's a pistol. You had him on the show not long ago, and uh, – He's a, he's a, he's an energy guy, isn't he? He is uh very high energy. Yeah. He is a talker for yep, sure. Yep. Yep. Good guy though. Tonight's going to be a great night. A lot of good, uh, deserving folks going in. What's happening on the zone today? Well, speaking of coach Shulman, one of his prize recruits is going to join us today at 1130 lane Taylor, who is uh, as dynamic a player as you will find in the state of Arkansas is going to join us today at 1130 about the decision to go there. Also we'll be joined in studio by the pigskin and Philip Mark, it's been a long time since we've been in studio for a Friday. <laughs> and I guess uh, next week we're back. Maybe I think we're back at Oakland next week again. So, yeah, we've been on the road a lot on Fridays. But, anyway, it's good to be in studio with everybody. Nancy Holt is speaking of Oakland. will join us at 1045. We'll get picked for today. Some interesting storylines going into the final couple weeks of the season, too. I don't know if you guys have touched on that, but we'll do that. And then Tom Murphy with a report from the Hill and expecting some more uh, guys to be named, I assume, to the roster in the near future. And I'm sure you guys discussed the addition to the uh, coaching staff. Already. We did. So anyway, we did. Yeah. 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 Um, how was Vegas, by the way? That it was uh, productive. Yeah. Vegas. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been to Vegas. It's. Uh, I'm sure it's. It's the same as it was before. <laughs> but more. Just more. Yeah, I guess. How many days were you there? I'd say there's a sort of a limit when you once you reach a certain amount, it's like, okay, three, we got to get out of here. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like leftover pizza. What do you got? Three days? <laughs> yeah. uh, Roger. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great job, Roger, this week. Obviously on the Back road, yeah, you. on the road almost yeah, the entire man, week. Last weekend, this weekend, yeah, next we'll week. We'll do it again next week. Yeah, next week Monday we'll be at Justin Moore's uh, big fundraiser, the uh, St. Jude Classic there at. at uh, Chanel. Yeah. So we'll be broadcasting live. Josh, good job back in studio this week. It's not easy to do. And um, but So will will uh, the country singer be with us on the show that he is, morning? He, is, he, he did it. say that. Yeah, because last That'd week, be awesome. last year, it was a no-show. But, and we'll uh, finish that Skinner uh, uh, debate with him. Yeah. Because he, he, he's, he's, he's got a lot of weight. Justin, last combo. last night was Leonard Skinner and ZZ Top, and, and it, it, I just I kept thinking of Magic 105 and Tommy. The entire time I looked around, but we're all everybody's seventy years old out there yeah, to, uh, with their lighter up, you know, <laughs> or their, that's their iPhone. Yeah. All right, everybody have a great weekend. Yeah. Thanks so much for listening. We can't do it without you. God bless you. Thank you. The zone's up next. That's a lot of diamonds. What's going on? We're about to launch the biggest natural loose diamond event we've had in the history of Robert Irwin Jewelers. Any shape, any size? Yes, natural loose diamonds for any budget. Plus, get a free men's wedding band with every natural loose diamond purchase. Zero percent interest for up to five years. See a store for complete details. It's the biggest natural loose diamond and bridal event this weekend 